Hello and good evening everybody. Oh my god, I almost almost missed the timing. It is what it is. Anyway, we are taking into this lobby, diving in. Golden Age going against Lucky Nuke. We haven't actually caught up with these teams in some time now and I do want to see what's going on uh, on their side of the things, on the fence. Uh, we are, did have, sure, we have a bit of a, a curious thing over here in the CGG website. I did notice they put up like six drafts or something like this and I was sorry so confused for a few minutes trying to figure out exactly which one is which let me actually give me a second here so i can open up the screen so uh, i can show you what was going on this this no not this uh, oh 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 this no, look at this oh my god so many lobbies <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is anyway uh, we do have the correct one and it just did start up on their uh, pick and ban phase i do want to say hello to everybody hello there yuri goes and good evening sir also jagona good evening sir yeah indeed exactly you know that guy that just comes out of the shadows over there and said i fixed i fixed it's all good you know we got we got this we got this let's go <laughs> um i do also want to say hello there most and thank you so much for uh, picking up that first promotion writing first over there in the channel uh yuri goes much appreciated for also uh, being on uh, youtube thank you thank you so much i know you that youtube on that note uh, i do uh, also want to uh, take a look uh, over here what's going on in uh, the pick and ban phase we do have lucky nook on the left side and uh, golden age on the right side as we do know in the cvfr squadrons uh, we will see them picking up the map first and then going for um, the pick and ban phase for the civilizations they will have two extra bands for each um, that are not really pre-game bands because they will get to pick them after of course uh, the map has been chosen uh, we do have uh, continents and islands rich islands and the pangea standard ridges remaining as options they did take out primordial seven seas pangea classic and lakes uh, and uh, i gotta say i don't think they're actually gonna end up playing on continents and lines i am very very doubtful they're actually gonna do that uh, oh, dan once he has joined the round table good night thank you so much for the follow sir and uh, welcome welcome now also jaguna the issue was that uh, the center of gravity was affected while the construction of the tower was happening Ooh, ooh, that sounds nice i mean uh, center of gra okay it is what it is yeah, we do have uh, Rich Highlands uh, also being taken out by uh, Lucky Nuke. They did take out uh, Continents and Islands as well. So now we're going to have a game on Pangea Standard Ridges, which does spawn the mountains across those uh, continent splits, or I should say on the continent splits of uh, the game. Uh, usually, uh, normally we do have uh, four continents uh, on a map. Let's go, continents. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't meant to be, Yuri goes. We're going to need to see what they're going to do on Pangea Standard Ridges. I got to say, it, it does open up quite a few possibilities for them and it is uh, kind of the normal go-to um, map because you do get a lot of time for seeming you can place quite a few cities uh, you can sometimes get lucky and get some coastal trades with an ally and uh, sometimes you also do manage to get an east versus west which of course uh, does make the players a little bit more confident in their um, uh, game style and in the gameplay of uh, them winning over there you don't really want to be in between like three opponents right it's kind of a remap uh, token um, question over there what i should say uh, issue over there yeah uh, and we're going to need to see what will happen how they will get uh, the picking band phase uh, going what kind of civilizations they're going to go for uh, balancing out uh, their power spikes versus the other um, aspects of the game the culture the science uh, or of course just uh, straight up production uh, we do need to see what they're going to choose and i'm pretty sure gold will also be an important factor in the game we've seen multiple times and that uh, actually i received a comment uh, earlier on uh, discord earlier this morning about uh, the last game we've seen from we've seen from the wild card they kind of put themselves in a situation they couldn't get out of because of the lack of gold per turn and that was a combination of factors uh, from the beginning from the pick and ban phase that just kept on uh, adding up adding up and of course they got into that situation in which they couldn't really upgrade their units exactly when they needed to they couldn't upkeep an army when they, they needed to and so on and so forth and that's actually one of the things that of course does come with uh, i would say um, uh, more and more experience more and more games Games. the players do need to experiment these scenarios and see exactly what's uh, going on even if a first glance maybe a um, combination of civilizations do and does work well on paper well sometimes in reality that's not gonna be the case yeah uh, good night sources sorry for off top uh, which uh, winamp version am i using probably the last one yeah i don't know i've been using winamp for like forever i just don't really see why i would use ever the uh, the windows version it just 
I don't know. It, it is what it is. Um, Robbie, hello there, sir, and uh, good evening. Alcohol Pellet, also good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, let me ask you to take a look at the rosters over here. If um, we do have them in the lobby, we do. Baptist with the Jeru, Ranash, and the time to... No, Klingsia. Yeah. Uh, well, 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 that is another question that we need to answer, and it's a very good question. We, need, we do need to take a look at the channels here and uh, take a look at the tags to actually uh, see who is playing on uh, which team, because, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Ranash is Lucky Nuke. So, Ranash, Jeru, Gabzu, and Time to Throw are on um, Lucky Nuke. Yeah, uh, on, and on the other side, we do have uh, Golden Age fielding today, Baptist, Links, uh, Orval and uh, Spilke. Uh, yeah, Orval and uh, Spilke. Um, do, 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 do. We need to put up the vote. There we go. So they did pick up uh, the map. Now they're gonna go for the pre you know, for the ban phase. And uh, as you can see, we do have Hungary being taken out. The Babylon uh, Hammurabi has been taken out. Uh, Genghis Khan also Mongolia has been taken out by Lucky Nuke or. Uh, and on the other side, I'm not sure exactly why I'm using a um, connection word from Romania, but it is what it is. Uh, Golden Age on the right side, we do have um, also Gandhi and Theodora and uh, Vietnam being uh, taken out. Quite a few strong civilizations there. Uh, two of them are quite uh, good when it comes to the faith. It looks like on the right side, Golden Age actually fears a little bit more the faith. Is there somebody on Lucky Nuke that is, um, I would say, uh, very prone to going... Uh, to pick those face civilizations and uh, get them going because there's still Khmer available. Are they gonna ban Khmer now? Is this, is this an ongoing uh, ven uh, vendetta against the uh, face civilizations here from Golden Age or are they gonna stop at those to Gandhi and Theodora? Uh, can we have full screen? Uh, yes. I can put it full screen, but if I do it, uh, you're not gonna see quite a, like you're gonna see my camera on top of stuff. Pebbleton, good evening, sir, and welcome. Like, wait, look. I, I used to actually keep it like this and actually complained a little bit that, um, uh, well, it doesn't really match with the screen. You see, you're not going to see the pics on the on the left, unfortunately. So that's why I keep it like this. So you get the full vision and also, uh, also, also have the camera there. Yeah, I need to find somewhere to put the camera. Yes, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, well, I do notice we do have... Uh, so, Sumeria got taken out by Lucky Nuke. They do have one more band to go. This is the last band before the pick phase. So they're going to have four picks to go for. And Lucky Nuke will have the first pick. This is important because they will set the tone for the game. While on the right side, we do have Chandra Gupta being picked up by uh, Golden Age as a band. And Julius Caesar appears. Okay, so another face civilization showing up here. Oh, my God. Okay this is all full faith vendetta i mean you might as well take out khmer why are you leaving khmer in if you take all of these out you don't want to leave khmer in you know <laughs> he's just gonna do what the others could do anyway uh, okay well it is what it is let's actually see what what do you think they will ban here what do you think what does everybody think they will ban here uh, why no Basil the second band? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's also good. Is it actually, is it more important? It might actually be more impactful. Basil the second might be more impactful in the game. Not saying that he's going to have very good results in his uh, Empire stats. I'm just saying he might actually be impactful in the game. Of course, with the tank mass uh, fully running to somebody or two players, he can definitely do a lot of damage quickly. Oh, I think I need to put up... Uh, there we go. Uh, hello there, Papas. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Ashwin, uh, good evening, sir. Hello, hello. Uh, why? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have VLC even though I use NPC more often. Yeah, I, yeah, it is what it is. Win up like what a blast from the past is like seeing Winzip or a win run. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, they did try to uh, put some more like skins on win up and stuff like that. And I, honestly, it's still like the default one. I still like it. It's fine. And, you know, why why change something if it works? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a change up over here. Golden Age actually took a turn to the danger side we do have zulu being picked up by golden age as a ban and immediately they're gonna uh, lucky nuke did go for macedon uh zulu what uh okay interesting what a choice over here we haven't seen zulu actually stomp opponents in some time until it goes to the late uh, unless it goes to the late game and of course you do have a good uh, uh spawn so yeah kind of like the stars next to mix over there for zulu to be a, a very very big uh golden age here is gonna go for uh, rome flexible civilization 
defend it and hold against uh, Maceron. We do have another choice uh, to go for next. And let's actually see what uh, they're gonna go for in just a few seconds. Daniel Dingo, good and up on my head. Hello, that's it, and welcome, welcome. Has goal been changed in this mod? Yes, it has been. So, for, uh, for example, a quick uh, change about goal, it doesn't actually get its uh, culture bombs anymore. Uh, when uh, on the mines it does get them on the opidums because it was a bit too much of a power creep uh, of uh, too many tiles being acquired for free uh, while others would have spent a lot of gold to get those um yeah gold full sim well gold full sim we've seen last time gold full sim and it didn't win the game didn't win the game we got cleopatra here also being picked up as a choice by lucky nuke while catherine de medici the black queen is on a golden age here okay alongside the uh, rome i guess uh, okay okay let's go let's go Let, let's see who the last four bands are gonna be and then uh, we definitely need to see what are the fall of, uh, last four choices Uh, good night. So why are you asking me about uh, the version of Winamp? Is that uh, are you using Winamp also, or is that like a curiosity you have? You seen it somewhere? You probably see it on my back. Yeah, you will see it in the screen, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Ptolemy. Yes, Ptolemy. Did I wait? Did I say something else on? Uh, uh, Cleopatra? Didn't I mention Ptolemy? Maybe I didn't mention Ptolemy. Uh, Yuri goes, uh, lots of friends lady. Yeah, I mean, consistency, consistent bonuses that those uh, extra diplomatic points do matter quite a lot during the game. And uh, Magnificence, as you've seen, actually gets more gameplay now. I still haven't seen her, uh, you know, make the difference in the games, but we're going to need to take a look as more players play it. We do have more uh, data to collect and uh, try to see what's going on. Oh, the Macedon pick. Yes, Robbie. Yes it's happening we're gonna see somebody getting stomped i mean unless we're gonna see mastodon being full screen somewhere and that's gonna be a sad day it is what it is can you imagine the pressure on mastodon trying to actually get up in his science and culture and his in his uh commercials when all of his people want to do is just ride horses and go to their opponents i mean they build them why not take them you know it is what it is yeah uh, backline 3c mastodon exactly backline 3c mastodon yeah, we do have um, Montezuma being taken down by uh, Golden Age, and I do see also Kree got banned. While on the left side, it uh, looks like Cleopatra Egyptian has been uh, taken down by Lucky New. They don't want competition over here, not another Egypt. Well, I mean, there's still Ramses in the game. Not that it's preferred over uh, both of these, but I guess it is the third Egyptian nation. They, why are they not picking Ramses so much? You know, it is what it is. And well, we do have one more band remaining, and I'm pretty sure on Svenja Standard Bridges, there are quite a few civilizations that would definitely impact the game here which ones are they actually gonna want to take out as an option from their opponents this is where uh, I, wait a second this is Cree oh no Cree I see the last band was Cree they were afraid that uh, it didn't go through but it did okay it's fine yeah uh, so just uh, just a few names over here we, we got Scythia, we got scotland we got kublai's uh, we got uh, japan we got uh, still john Curtin, basil the second there are so many options right now the persians for example are still both still left open uh neither Shah and uh his brother over there um Persia. um sorry cyrus we do need to see uh i i actually stumble a little bit here in my speech pattern because of uh, congo being picked up over uh, as a ban congo is there some there must be somebody on golden age that really likes to play congo and otherwise i'm not really explaining this they had this some um, uh, yeah i mean that's definitely there's some information over here we're missing and i don't want to ask them uh, maybe after the game uh, if uh, anybody's uh, gonna remind me of this yeah uh, need a money maker yeah they need a money maker uh, ramses equals great culture an easy turn 100 120 culture victory if you're not worrying and if you don't get bombed yes uh orval signatures pick thirty. good evening sir Bonsoir, you. thank you so much there we go we got the information over here it is orval signature pick I, I was smelling something is up it came out of the blue over there you know from uh, the forest between the bushes uh, just a uh, sneaky congo got into the last band it, it, they wow okay it is what it is anyway now on the left side we got the lucky nuke lincoln and i'm picking lincoln and i do see also um, 
Uh, Philip, the, Philip the second has been picked up by like in New Spain. While on the right side we do have uh, Nader Shah and one last civilization that they need to go for. Is it gonna be Mubande? I don't think he's gonna go for the for, uh, for the other Congo, right? He probably likes Nzinga. Nzinga is the good one. Let's see if Mobande is going to be picked up. Uh, since the change, Mobande just didn't get a lot of attention. It used to be, after its uh, release, it used to be extremely played. Extremely played. Like in one out of two games, you would see uh, Mobande in, or one out of three games. It was incredible. And then uh, it got change, change, nerf, 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 change, 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 change. And now, well, I, I don't know what it is anymore. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, and we haven't seen actually the Koreas either for some time over here. It looks like uh, they fell off from uh, the pre preferences. Sejong and Seondog alike. Uh, that's uh, that's quite unfortunate because we we really like to see that gameplay. Anyway, it is what it is. We're going to need to see if uh, BBG is going to come up with something or to actually bring them back into the spotlight or maybe the players are going to start changing their preferences again. Uh, we do have uh, Tamar being picked up as the last choice from Golden Age and I gotta say, they're, they're, I guess, uh, they're trying to match their names uh, right now. Golden Age, you know, with Tamar, you want to be in a Golden Age all game long? It makes sense, total sense to have this pick. Let's check out uh, the zero MSers. I hope we don't have zero MSers here. Okay, now I can actually do a few changes. First of all, let's uh, change the map. And it is going to be Pangea Standard, SR. Standard ridges. Uh, we don't need to uh, close the screen because we don't need uh, the extra screen anymore. Beep, beep, beep. Let's go over here. And also, I do need to put up the two predictions for how many remaps are we going to have. Let's see. How many remaps? 0, 1, 2. Submission period 10 minutes. We got enough time. It's fine. And I do want to do it on uh, YouTube as well. Hello there, Jacob. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Macedon is exciting indeed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, how many uh, remaps and uh, possible options zero one and two there we go build a poll and it should be online there we go so uh, now we do need to see uh, what kind of civilizations each of the players will go for and uh, try to figure out uh, what kind of priorities they're gonna have by the looks of it time to throw is gonna go for cleopatra in the highest slot that also puts him with the highest priority when it comes to the great people to um, those uh, great merchants in particular and uh, probably later on in uh, the writers we do also need to see what the linksia is gonna do with rome of course being a flexible civilization it kind of can do anything so we do need to see why they picked up uh, rome over here so high up in the choices uh, since for example tamar would actually need to contest some uh, great people maybe they do believe that uh, well cleopatra being over there uh, so high up it doesn't really matter uh, if uh, he's a fourth or fifth or uh, wherever it is uh, to contest cleopatra we do have baptiste also going for neither shah ranash is going to go for abraham lincoln orval on tamar we got jeru on the Philip II, Gandu is going to be the one with uh, Alexander, and I do see Ola Ketal Amigo on uh, Catherine de' Medici, the Black Queen. Wait, who is uh, Ola Ketal Amigo? Who this? Ola Ketal Amigo. Oh, that's actually his name, Ola Ketal Amigo. That that is actually his name. I'm sorry. I uh, I thought it's uh, maybe something else, you know, like he named his uh, overdose. Oh, there we go, overdose. There we go. There we. I was just remembering something because I'm pretty sure he used this name you now before, and he had a different name on Discord, and I was confused. Now I'm guessing Egypt will be slot one for the great merchants. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Gamzo over here actually took a turn, a big turn. Wasn't Gamzo a big simmer? Wasn't he the one with uh, the picture at his profile with the, um, I'll say the the orange that he uh, with the monkey and the orange that he was getting from somebody uh, from a car? <laughs> he really wanted to, uh, how to say, sim in the game, you know. And now, look at him. He actually picked Alexander. This is a big surprise. Big surprise for me. Uh, wait, is uh, everything okay over here? Because I was... Oh, I see. I see uh, the stream a little bit delayed with a few seconds. And I'm okay. It's fine. 
it is what it is so on the left side we do have golden age here started off with uh, catherine de medici we're gonna go and uh, take a quick peek what's going on over the lands of her uh if we can find her oh yeah okay top right corner we do have Volaketal amigo with uh, the settler that needs to choose a location they're probably playing with uh, bcy enabled on balanced uh so it's gonna be the same let me actually double check this yes it is capital zone and balance so he's gonna get a 2-2 base if he settles there or, or uh, try to go for the citrus style uh, to try to get that extra amenity now we do have him also with uh, the scouts towards the southwest a good river network to expand into but i do believe he will have a bit of a problem here Macedon is going to be very close to him southwest of his capital not that far off uh, there's a highway of flat tiles moving from the uh, like expanding uh, spanning from the southwest to the northeast and uh, i do notice uh, they will probably meet each other sending units uh, in towards each other here and what we do have uh, a bit of a question where is the continent split this is the continent split this is not uh this is not bad for uh, france if it does manage to withstand the initial attacks and try to get to guards this is not going to be bad and it looks like he's going to have also an ally rome to the west side that might actually take a little bit of the pressure from pena on those cities so mm, he might make it he might make it of course it all depends on his choices on the timing and so on and so forth there are a lot of things that will um, need to actually um yeah, synchronize uh, we do need to take a look at tamar coming up in the north side of the map here in the middle we do have him with a few two twos i do see he's gonna have the stones to the northeast and i do notice he's getting a scout out in three times he's gonna have some spice settles to the east and to the south he's gonna have the silk settles with the coco good enough mountains to get some uh, nice uh, holy sites campuses i am actually quite curious uh, what kind of balance uh, orval is gonna have between the holy sites and his other districts i would imagine of course he's gonna get the tickets for the faith per turn but how much faith per turn does he want that's a pretty big question uh husky boot good evening sir and welcome there are good uh, ford locations by there uh over here yeah i mean uh, i guess we'll see who's gonna get this river this is the most important part who's gonna get this river if anybody's gonna get this river actually uh, all the um, cs are in the middle this is actually quite uh, curious for b uh, bbs to put them all in the middle but i guess it is what it is anyway uh, let's take a look at uh, nader shah here who's next up on our list he's on the west side of the map with a well <laughs> wow pop of tahi that he cannot get to look at this he actually needs to walk all the way around the mountains to get a city over here next to uh, that wonder that would have given him so much culture and gold well and of course the era square but i guess we're not going to mention that uh, we do have um, also nader shah having a decent amount of territory to uh, expand his cities towards the north he's gonna need to uh, trade punches with uh, ranash to the northeast which of course america is gonna be uh, from the opposing team uh, and, I'm, and i'm pretty sure washington at least is gonna get a city over here that would put him uh, quite close uh, to uh, how to say to the persian river which again i'm pretty sure he's actually gonna settle now we do have him with a few coastals that he could benefit from i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be that big of a problem uh, to uh, try to get more cities it is more of the housing and the delay that you get from actually trying to get more housing in your city now uh, we do have uh, to take a look at the rome he was to the northwest of macedon and yes i do see that rome is going to get the scout out in three turns so we do have him with a warrior expanding his vision towards the west side towards bologna while uh, i do notice he's going to have relatively safe cities in the southwest since there are quite a few city states he's probably not going to care that much about uh, protecting these cities over here definitely one next to the die style another one here maybe on the maze uh, you do have to the east this important um a landmark i would say the river is kind of a landmark here it is the separating part between these two nations and i'm pretty sure it is uh, going to be contested whoever gets this river gets a faster uh, resupply line towards his opponent uh, main cities and this is going to matter quite a bit if you put a city on this river it is much easier for you to defend it than it would be if you are attacking into it especially because of the river there is a river just look at this cutting through this land uh, in between them and at the, uh, not only at the beginning but also the late game uh, that extra plus five from the river um, defense might actually make the difference of you winning or losing uh, we do need to see of course the timings and uh, how everything is going to pump out i do have to say rome is well known for a faster timing than Macedon when it comes to horses uh, but uh, and he's not going to get a general if he does the faster timing while pella usually doesn't want to get uh, those um 
uh, Hetaris before he actually builds his encampments with the Basilico he paid, with the special building, the special stable that he's going to benefit from. So all in all, we might see a bit of a discrepancy in the timings and Rome uh, actually should have the advantage if uh, everything is, um, how to say, perfect in time. Uh, Washington has all the natural uh, uh, defense. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah, uh, big, big natural defense here to the southwest. Big, big, big. Uh, let me see uh, Macedon here and see his options. First of all, amazing campus uh, to the west side. He's going to need bronze working. He's going to get bronze working anyway, so we're not a uh, problem for him. I do notice he's also going to have pretty good cities to the west side and to the southeast east side. This is going to be a lot of territory for him to back settle. He's also going to have Jeru over here uh, to the southwest uh, to try to trade with. And again, this is going to be a safety zone for him. Uh, allowing him to focus his efforts towards the north and not to um, uh, the south. By the looks of it also, we do have uh, to take a look at Madrid, uh, three turns for a scout to come out, uh, two turns now, and I do see his second city is going to give him access to die style. I'm actually quite curious if he's going to want to keep on settling on the coast, or he's going to just choose to switch towards um, commercials and be done with those harbors. Well, we'll see, we'll see how this um, this develops here. He could even settle the die style and uh, get the other die style for two faith. Not that it matters too much, to be honest, like Spain gets the faith anyway from the trade routes, so so whatever uh, anyway now we do um, I guess it's a moment in time how uh, quickly you can actually get that faith per turn I would have him with a continent split to the east side I'm pretty sure he's interested to uh, settle a city on the other continent and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get cities far away from Madrid to get that double bonus um, we also need to take a look at Lincoln which is to the northeast of Persia and I do notice um, Washington does benefit not only from a silk tie but also from some spices the mix of production uh, is not uh, great here and I do see him um, getting his scout out in wanton here from the city of Washington. Is that actually wanton later? I think there was a wanton later scout. Did he work the culture earlier or something? Faster? No. No, he didn't. Okay. Shouldn't he have... Uh... Interesting. Because this is turn 4. He took uh, 4 turns to grow. So wait, he oh he just grew into the spy style probably. He didn't buy it. He didn't buy the spy style. He worked the two stone tile. That's why. He oh, okay. I see what it is. D Beasley, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Say, give give give. Oh, we got deadly zero zero seven. Uh, welcome, welcome, sir. Washington has oh oh I did read that. Now let me actually put up my uh, chats on the west side you know, on the left screen because I didn't actually see everything here. Okay, there we go. Uh, looking at uh, also Ranash here, he's going to have uh, strong settles to the east side, giving him a lot of gold potential with uh, so many plantations to improve. West side, easy choice to actually get next to the silk and the stone tile. And Orval just uh, boop, uh, disconnected. It is uh, what it is. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I hope he's going to get back and uh, not disconnect again. Wait, where was uh, Tamar here? Okay. Anyway, uh, we need to take a look at Cleopatra. That's the one sieve we didn't actually get to. We got uh, Rakedeto and quite a few floodplain tiles. I do notice he's going to have his uh, quite a, oh, a lot of stone tiles, actually. One, two, three, four, five uh, quarries, while he's also going to have access to some cocoa tiles and spices to the north and east, actually. Wait, these are two continents? No, this is one big continent with spices, salt, cocoa, and silk. Okay. I see, and that's a very rich continent. Well, we do have him pumping out his uh, settler in four turns, and I uh, do see one scout came out of his capital, not two scouts. He also has very far away chocolate hills, but again, very far away chocolate hills. That's probably going to be like fourth settler at least, uh, uh, just uh, settling in that direction. While we do have him also with a pretty strong second settler to the west side here on the marsh tile, he could, uh, or on the stone tile, depending on how he actually wants to get his adjacency going. Uh, he can uh, get the spices here with a plus four uh, campus that's pretty nice with another plus three over here from another city that's also easy to improve there are no resources here that would be revealed by uh, any technology you get or civic well technology you get uh, nor um, is it any like rainforest on them uh, or a forest you can just put down the campus immediately making it uh, actually i'm actually quite curious is uh, egypt here gonna go campus first or not or is he gonna stick to his uh, commercial opening or uh, something else 
I mean, I guess we've seen also Stonehenge opening with one holy site, even though we haven't seen that in some time. Still, commercials are uh, preferred. Alinxia on Relobby. Oof. They're gonna do for. They're gonna go for the Relobby. Okay. Let's uh, pull up the links. 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 Mm. <laughs> I gotta say, Jeru, uh, he has uh, quite a scary image in the background, and it's uh, on loop uh, on Steam. Oh my god, it's just every time I look at his profile, th that horror show uh, screams at me. Agreed, I wasn't expecting uh, American, they are better late game. Lincoln is a curious pick, well, yeah, it is, it is, but he does get those um, free units, right? Receive a free melee unit after completing an industrial zone and their buildings, and also those units do have um, a lot more strength, like plus 5 combat strength against your opponents. It's uh, quite well known that he could pull off a very strong musket timing, uh, even earlier with a man at iron timing against uh, his opponent. Nader Shah actually might be in trouble there into the southwest, being so close to his opponent and with a um, uh, highway that of course could be passed quicker with an army hello there alex 2005 welcome sir welcome i think we have ping to everybody whoa 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 what is this uh 1700 second ping millisecond eight whoa that's actually man that's like clicking a button going to the toilet coming back and still not ready up you know 26 wait wait it keeps going up guys it keeps going up what's going on with ranash okay it's, it's slowing down it's slowing down okay now he's 55 working he was down yeah it is what it is you know this is what happens when uh, you download stuff that you shouldn't download it is what it is you know maybe don't do it during game just saying you know Hello there, uh, Heinrich Dave. Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> yeah, good evening. Uh, Macedon is being played. Yes, Alex to phones of five. Yes. first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the stone age to man taking his first upright steps you have come okay so we were talking about washington here and i wanted to actually uh, give you an idea of how fast he could actually get to mashand with a unit coming out from washington if you take a look over here yes uh, and assume that he's actually gonna pop those units out from his capital he does have uh, and that's not gonna happen it's probably gonna be from the encampment we do have a one two uh, and uh, taking into account also the uh, extra movement from a general right so one two three uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve turns to actually get to marshall from the capital and i'm pretty sure it's going to be faster with the roads already able to uh, get those units uh, here i would imagine actually there's going to be a contest on this land the rice style for example and this one too will probably be a washington city so he's going to have another one here somewhere i'm not convinced if he's actually going to try to fit two or keep one big one uh, and uh, using that one city on the rice style he could definitely just just uh, get his city towards uh, when gets his units towards Mashad. Now uh, Mashad also can close this uh, choke point to the east side, but we've seen it before. Players just don't close their chokes at time so you might actually catch them with uh, their pants down if uh, you actually get those units there at the correct moment in time now of course the other way around it would be through the west side and that would mean uh, taking care of a city probably from persia that's going to be much closer to the american borders uh, next to those uh, deer piles and i'm uh, assuming of course um, this map is going to be chosen but uh, there is quite a strong possibility this map is not going to be chosen uh, i don't think they will get another good setup and by good setup i mean actually having macedon going against the two civilizations that could withstand macedon um rome and uh, catherine de medici if uh, the 
the roles are changed and you do have Gabzu going against uh, uh, how to say Orval or Baptiste, that's going to be a lot of pressure on the civilizations that would definitely want to prefer to do something else. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, develops here. Actually, uh, I do have to say also Orval will have quite a few bonuses from those walls, but they do not uh, completely stop those Hetaris. Very strong, but not completely stop them. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time to get uh, Tamar rolling with his units. Now, is it really America that will be the one pushing Quezia and not the other way around? It feels like Quezia could just settle over the choke and get a route, uh, get a road. Yes, yes, that could also be an oppor uh, I, I would definitely say that needs to happen, as in Persia needs to defend this. And uh, yes, uh, I'm pretty sure getting also the foot in the door over here after the mountains is going to be important, not to mention benefit from the, all of this territory here. Now, th this is a good city. This is a good city. Uh, we were taking a look at uh, Racket Dead here, getting his settler out in two turns. I do notice he's uh, getting to work those two, two twos, uh, three two twos actually right now. While I do notice he's also moving his scout towards the Gi side and starting to uh, pop his huts. He still did not discover an opponent, but I do think the others on the east did uh, meet each other here. Yes, there we go. We, do, uh, we actually have France getting a warrior right next to the Macedonian... Uh, unit the scout and i do see macedon sees let's see what does he see so right now he saw something he sees the minus loyalty on the west side i'm pretty sure this this is revealed to him this territory over here and while uh, i do notice to the northeast he didn't actually scout enough to see the pressure but he knows of course uh, france is there since he got a scout why did he buy a, a, a third scout is this gonna be uh Pillage squad. We got Gabzu getting the pillage squad ready for uh, Rome and his opponent. And wait a second, I didn't actually mention this. Look at Rome. Oh my god, did we just uh, skip over Rome's land? How did I miss Cero de Potosi to the north of Rome, giving him two? Ho oh my god, man. Oh my god. Imagine God of Craftsman on those uh, horses over there. Imagine God of Craftsman on the horses. Yes, please. <laughs> oh yes well i guess he does have the cotton settle in the north uh, he could put one uh, city much much closer couldn't uh, cannot actually get the wine town unfortunately that would have been awesome to uh, settle on it is what it is uh rome second city next to the horseman will be amazing yes exactly this one uh, he does need to get the builder quickly though to improve those horses but anyway that's uh, irrelevant right now we also have him with a few scouts uh, to the east side and to the north uh, and to the south he has three scouts actually moving uh, around here he might get a free build from Valletta this is a street charge builder at the moment you can actually see the three men right if you um if you want to take a look from uh, of, uh, builder charges without the extra information well uh, or I should say the tab over here just look at how many men he has in his unit and that's it bonjour mon ami bonjour bon, monsieur le prof de physique Okay, so Rima vote. Now we're gonna find out. This is judgment moment. Judgment moment for both teams. Uh, Golden Age on the left side, Lucky Nuke on the right side. Let me actually set up their uh, team labels here uh, so uh, everybody knows what's going on. Golden Age. Oh, 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 oh. Golden Age. Ah, Sava, Sava. Mon pro prepare a uh, uh, cast le jeu ce soir. Um... Good evening, Demo Archer. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, I like to pause the fact those four tiles are actually two, uh, three, two, uh, three base. Then amazing. Uh, wait, uh, right side we do have a lucky nuke. I need to finish this and stop uh, searching through my mind of uh, French expressions and words. Uh, and we do have a remap. It looks like Ola uh, Talamigo, Orval, Linksia, and uh, Baptiste did choose to remap this. Uh, we do need to see if um, we're gonna have lucky nuke with a map of their own. But I gotta say this uh, this is actually quite uh, interesting that they chose to remap this with Macedon being uh, next to France and Rome. And Rome benefiting from. Did he see this? I'm I'm pretty sure he saw this, right? Yeah, he saw this. He he knows. He knows where to go. Wait, why did they remap this? Oh, is this why they remap this? <laughs> oh my God, 
Is this why they didn't have this? Uh, first remap, yes, first remap, sir. First stirrings of life beneath water. Uh, cast in French, no, in uh, English. Stone Age. To map. Steps. Ah, ma. Mon français n'est pas bon pour le cast, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> it is what it is. And it's fine, you know, we, we, there are quite a few uh, French casters. It's fine. I don't want to compete over there in uh, French. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, but I do want to have the knowledge of translating as uh, much as I can. And also all, um, carry a conversation if I uh, go to France. It looks like I went to France like, what, three years now? So, yeah, I, I, I do have... I do want to have the ability to uh, uh, try to communicate. Um, it is what it is. Yes, uh, very hard to cast in another language. Yes, butterfly, 14,000. Uh, uh, it looks like a butterfly. Yes, it does. It did look like a butterfly. Or uh, something else with two feet and maybe some pose on the, on the other side. I don't know. Anyway, now we we'll do need to take a look at uh, Catherine de Medici again. Find her on the map and see her spawn. Uh, let's uh, quickly jump around and see where it is, where it is, where it is. No, wait, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Okay, there we go. Uh, on the lower river, we do have uh, Paris about to be settled. And uh, by the looks of it, he's also going to have quite a few tutus around him. Uh, we do have him with a decent amount of cities also to benefit from the extra GCC. I do notice only a plus two campus in the capital, but of course, he could get. Uh, mining to get a better one. Oh, this is a plus three he could uh, just get the gold for it uh, we also do notice he's gonna have a good river network uh, actually allowing him to get um, his cities in good positions uh, four tiles out from paris uh, to try to get as much adjacency as possible uh, pretty poke settle over here but i think he's actually gonna stay on his side of the river uh, he does have uh, nader shot to the north which is gonna be an ally not a problem there to the west side he does have um philip the second on the coast but that's kind of far away i don't think he's gonna matter he's gonna or they're gonna care that much at the beginning but taking a look at this and thinking of possibilities of courses courses could actually attack madrid at a good moment in time there are enough flat tiles over here in a single river to actually cross to get to spain i believe uh, that should be a good enough uh, time and tempo for france to actually get that attack going yeah looking at tamar northeast side we got tbilisi with a scout out in three turns we do have a tobacco tile to the northwest and uh, by the looks of it he's also gonna have have uh, quite a few tutus around his uh, territory here again with the stones in the capital he has uh, three stone tiles in there with uh, dead sea also to the north as a wonder to be honest i guess it's good there are score but not really very good tiles to work and he just doesn't have a lot of production on those now we do have him also with a city in between so many forests and mountains in the south uh, putting him a bit closer to uh, Egypt to Rakedet. I guess this is a pretty good mix over here. Let's see what's uh, going on here. So this is gonna be, they went from uh, Macedon being against two opponents to Macedon and Lincoln being against uh, Rome. Uh... I mean, you know what's going to happen, right? You know what's going to happen. Macedon can keep on pushing against Rome, ideally, and keep Rome busy while uh, Lincoln gets his men at arms with uh, the plus five and then kills Rome. Or muskets. He could, he could even wait for muskets and kills Rome. Oh, no well okay uh ho i hope that scenario is going to be avoided now we do have uh, rome over here no neither shot neither shot to take a look at where is a uh, big neither neither is here uh, looks like Masha to to base wander to the west uh, mount sinai and i do notice he's gonna get a scout out in three turns has a sheep tile to settle there to get uh, the tiles from the mount sinai and but i guess he's not gonna get oh this is a much better settle and this is faster also uh, this is fast also like one two three and four to settle on the aluminium tile getting the spices so the one threes over here afterwards yes 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 w with also a plus five campus to the west side uh, next to that geothermal fissure there are three continents next to the capital of persia and i do know this is also going to have another amenity settled to the north that's going to be the cotton tile yeah we do have him also relatively close to rome to actually set up coastal trade routes in the north rome will have the benefits of krakatoa uh, giving him the extra science and um, ability to get on that coast that's gonna be nice to trade with mashad of course i do have to say mashad persia internal trade route civilization prefers magnus over international trade routes for a long time it only works uh, those uh, those external trade routes will probably only work after a visa bunker that's where they 
are okay. Comparable. I wouldn't say better, but comparable. Now, Dead Sea is good for adjacency plus for holy site and boost to astrology. Alex2005 makes a very good point over here for uh, Tbilisi. And uh, yes, I do have to agree. Both of those bonuses are going to be nice. Uh, we do need to see again how much Tbilisi is going to want to invest into that face generation, uh, into the holy sites, into everything. And they have plus five strength on the home continent. Uh, Timo Archer, the America. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you're talking about America? Uh, do American units turn into plus five infantry late game? Yes. The the unit that he gets from for free from his uh, industrial zones, yes. Yeah, but remember, America has been uh, changed. Like even um, Teddy has been changed in this version. It's not as uh, the Teddy you know from uh, the normal game. Uh, also, uh, if you go to France, send me a private message. I can host you in uh, Nancy. Oh, thank you so much for the invitation. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, Timo Archer is plus 5 regardless of continent. Yes. Yes. On uh, America. America. Anyway. Uh, looking at Gabzu here. We do uh, need to oh, wait. Did we? Yeah. We did talk about Rome. Uh, looking at Gabzu. He's going to be to the south of Rome with uh, Pella. He's also going to have uh, Paris to the west side. While uh, of course Rome is going to be his direct north. And uh, probably the easier uh, target between the two. He's uh, going to have a few cities to settle. I mean, I was trying to take a look here if he can place two, but I'm pretty sure only one will work. Uh, he does uh, have quite a few good tiles there for tiles to work, but I do, wouldn't recommend trying to fit two cities here. Now, we do have him uh, with uh, the rivers to the north, and I'm pretty sure he's going to want to settle them. Not amazing tiles. Of course, the dive tiles, it's pretty good, but uh, all in all, he's going to be needing quite a bit of food, and uh, we do have him without that many chops. And when I refer to chops, I'm referring to the hills plus the forest on them or the rainforest on them he doesn't have a lot of these hard building those hetaris is going to be the name of the game and we do need to see how much again he's going to invest into this if he's going to go directly for uh, encampments and um getting the buildings wall of throne uh, getting drums of war and so on and so forth there are quite a few options in the game that uh, help you specialize in getting that army towards your opponent uh it's macedon he can just afford or settle yes exactly that's probably what he's gonna do here uh looking at spain on the west side he does have a continent split between the red and the white continent and i do notice madrid is also gonna benefit from a reef tile a 311 fish while uh he does have a plus five six campus oh my god actually more than one he has one in the capital here with the three mountains the geothermal fisher and the two rainforest while he also has another plus five and another another plus four. Oh my god this is perfect for spain jeru is also going to have another settle with fresh water towards the south where uh, there is a city state that fence blocking other coastal cities this is actually quite a bad city for him he needs to take care of fence somehow take it out of the board here so he can settle more and we do have him with a few cities to the north and i'm pretty sure he's going to want to get cities on the east side that's going to put him closer to persia not that it matters that much uh, <clears throat> and also france to the southeast which of course we did talk about earlier that france might want to do some sort of uh, aggression over here against uh, spain to slow him down from simming and getting the gold to his teammates uh, looking at the ranash we do have uh, washington oh my god is he gonna ask he lost pop right he lost pop is he gonna ask for the free remap yes he's gonna ask for free remap it is what it is this is it they got a free map they got a free token out of this actually wait it's lucky nuke right oh yeah and uh, he's saying that he lost the pop oh it's turn eight. Oh, oh it's one turn over oh no oh my god it's turn nine it's turn nine yeah it's turn nine it's turn eight as in that's the threshold i believe let's see actually if uh, one of the referees will uh, oh my god he's gonna he gonna be mad he gonna be mad wow forest fire stopping his settler from getting trained over here in the city of washington and it keeps on raging Wait, okay. 
it's fine. They're gonna remap anyway. All these remaps are such at safeties. Yeah, they are. It's BBG, BBC uh, isn't what you're looking for. What? what, what? Uh, so when I install uh, BBG, I need to reteach a lot? Yes, Team Archer. Yes, it's basically a totally different game. Uh, yeah. It, it's... um. If I would have to say it in a phrase, it is a rework of how the game works to allow it to have a competitive environment. While the initial game was more realistic with challenges, uh, with survivability and so on and so forth that would, you would face, uh, in reality, the competitive the environment needs water. something else, needs the a totally different balance of uh, how everything works there. Man taking his first upright steps. <laughs> Safeties. Okay, so let's see. We need to take it from uh, Catherine de Medici again. Or should we switch? Because we didn't actually talk a lot, uh, talk uh, at all actually about uh, Cleopatra. Let's let's take it from the right to the way, to the left. And where is uh, where is Cleopatra? Needs to be next to some uh, flood plane somewhere. Oh, I see Cleopatra. Okay, I see Cleopatra on the coast here. Is there gonna be any Spain? No, there's gonna be Rome on the other side of the coast. Okay. And they could do something against each other maybe later on. We do have him also with uh, quite a few flood planes, but not enough to justify a Temenanki. He's going to have a three foot tile here, which I imagine it's a rice tile. That means uh, he's going to have that one extra culture when he gets his uh, craftsmanship. When he gets uh, craftsmanship? Is it craftsmanship? Anyway, he would need the civic or something for it. Now, uh, we do have him also with another uh, city center to the southwest on the coast, and I'm pretty sure he can keep on settling the coast without uh, that much repercussion. Uh, he will have to the south west uh, like a amigo as uh, france which i uh, do see he's sharing a continent with that's gonna be an opponent of his and we do need to see how far to the south time to throw is gonna put his cities i wouldn't imagine that far to be honest now he could just stay here and uh, go uh, northeast without that bunch of a problem i'm pretty sure gabzu here wait is this free sim gabzu oh they need to remap this man yeah, they need to remap this. This is this is free sim Alexander. This is the worst case scenario you would have with Macedon. It's just it's just not made. Alex is not made for this. You know, Alexander is not made for this. A realistic, I can literally just pray and get horses to bypass walls with a plus 13 uh, uh, city strength. I think you are uh, misunderstanding uh, how those mechanics uh, did go into the game, but. Uh, <laughs> It is what it is. Uh, faith in general has uh, actually made quite a few people during the ages uh, do stuff. Like commit to a single purpose with a lot better results than uh, without faith. So yeah, it is a kind of a representation. Maybe it's not accurate. Sure, we can. It's debatable. Uh, do lucky we have a remap token? Yes, they still have a remap token. Um, now this is a small Pangea map. Yes. <laughs> Hertz on one signs. I mean, you can win it with everybody. You can win uh, also culture victory if you want with Alex. I've seen a uh, middle student do it like what four years ago. He was doing it with every sieve. He didn't matter. Like it didn't matter. He just got drilled down that uh, perfect uh, build order that you need to have. <laughs> Did the choices like nobody thought of. Like they were, he was going off fresh water for just an extra food tile or an extra melody or something like that, and he didn't care at all. And he was just winning games after game after game. One of the, I think he was one of the reasons. Yeah, he was the primary reason the culture victory was changed so much. As in, uh, I would say, um, optimized. But I, I gotta say, after seeing this, I'm not even sure if I should talk about uh, the game anymore. Because he's gonna have an ally here. Okay, he's gonna have big trades with uh, Spain. An ally to the southeast and France is gonna be southwest. Okay, sure, France might be a target, but it is so far away. How, how is he gonna get there? Wow, look, look, look how much he needs to, to travel. Like two full screens over here to get to the city of Paris. <laughs> so much water, yes. Oh, Pamukale to the south of Rome here. I see, I see. Very nice, very nice. 
you know, with Hanford, you're sort of most next to the mountains in the worst position ever, by the way. And these are uh, actually taking up the best slots uh, for those campuses. Uh, Tbilisi in between the mountains, again, bananas and stone with him. By the looks of it, he's also going to have a decent amount of setters. I gotta say, he's not going to have a lot of tiles to work, though. This, uh, I mean, sure, I like mountains, just as any, everybody loves mountains, but not that many mountains. This seems uh, terrible to actually get to work cities here. Uh, such a small Pangea and Alexander still can't find an opponent close by. I know, right? Exactly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's see. Yeah, there is a continent split here on Spain. Paris did have the continent to the northeast. And America. Does America have a target? At least America has a target. I guess the France to the east side. He is going to have a target. Mm, he has Tamar on the west as well. Okay. Not very good land, but two horses in the capital. That's going to be a lot of horses acquired. Mm. Not uh, really convinced by this land, though. We've seen better. I can't believe they actually gave up on the Cerro de Potosi tile. Uh, how to say, on the spawn, on the first spawn, on the remap. I can't believe they actually remapped it. This is what it is. Uh, legendary Lama, hello there sir and welcome, what is this bad map, <laughs> it is what it is, also good evening Urek, hello there sir, uh, sir Slashington, good evening sir, hell yeah, first uh, time catching a stream, just got into Civ 6, found you throw uh, potatoes, um, love what you do, thank you so much sir, thank you so much and welcome, welcome. How is Potato doing? I haven't seen him in quite some time, but I guess I don't really have time to watch his movies, but I definitely uh, try sometimes to uh, take a peek over here, at least at the thumbnails, you know, if I don't actually have time to watch the, the full movies. How is he doing? How is he? Are Golden Age the ones that remap the first map? Yes, sir. Yes. They, these are the ones. Wait, Chero de Potosi spawned again in a different position. Well, that's a very good banana tile. A 3-3-3. Okay, well, three turns away from finding an answer here. Uh, let's take a look at the vision. Because I'm pretty sure, first of all, they know that Pella is going to be uh, backline. They, they should know that Pella is going to be backline. They will find France. They're just one tile away from the having the vision over each other. Uh, looks like America also discovering uh, Georgia to the west side. And nobody's going to know about the western civilizations here. The Persia and uh, Rome. Yeah, nobody's gonna get the Rome is freezing, so but that's probably where you wanna have it anyway. Okay, so France did meet Spain. That also means uh, Spain met France. So we do have uh, France expanding his vision to the east side. Uh, I don't think he's gonna actually meet the warrior of uh, Egypt here. And I do notice Pella is getting a center out in two turns, but his scouts are busy going to the east and to the west. Yeah. There's nobody. Wait, where is his warrior? Oh, his warrior is to the north, I see. They won't accept friendship as uh, easily or accept delegations. Wait, AI can handle BBG about as well as they do normal game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no different from a non-BBG deity AI. Uh, I mean, uh, it just uses the game bonuses differently. The, the logic behind what it does is the same. It just uh, feeds new numbers from a BBG. Or I guess uh, your uh, empire results, your game results. It doesn't affect the uh, AI uh, otherwise. And to be honest, that's how it should be. Like, not take into account uh, something else. Anyway, uh, Riva. Yeah, there we go. There we have it. Remap. Remap. There's no... No enemy for Pella. No enemy for Pella. Now, this is also going to be the third and final remap. Now, there are no more remap tokens available. Whatever happens next to uh, happen next. And uh, let me finish up with the prediction over here. Choose an outcome. We had two remap tokens being used and two remaps of call. Of course, uh, somebody's going to get quite a few points. Let's see. Are these are actually... Wait a second. Do we have high rollers here? 
do we have high rollers let's see the high rollers unless we have a technical yeah, okay yeah unless we have a technical indeed what is the level of the teams i believe the division two but i can double check uh give me a second i need to actually find the correct channel in which it has the link yeah yeah they are uh, they are uh, division two from cvfr squadrons uh team watches some small changes but it's not like uh, they turn stupider uh, that they already are but uh, you can also use real strategy and late game AI for a better game if you want to keep uh, playing a uh, single player yes i would uh, really recommend actually trying to play in the multiplayer community if you want to get good at the game it does um, uh, help you get better much much faster and you also get uh, answers to your questions much much faster uh, having access to people that would explain why uh, why you would need to do something and when you need to do something uh, also harry 93 good, uh, good evening sir and welcome if i didn't say that uh, anyway okay so uh, i do want to finish up uh, on youtube as well the prediction uh, so both remap votes are wrong remap to uh, three remap well uh, no because i only count the t i cannot count the technical remaps that would put way too many options so uh, it's um, zero one or two on how many remap tokens have been used or uh, how many did how many remaps did we actually have with remap tokens it looks like uh, action well i guess you guys voted uh, over here last minute voted i see how it is voted past the time well it is what it is uh, YouTube is uh, of the opinion that the uh, two remaps should have been so yes yes I do that with my friends without BBG now oh, I see I see destroying a human player is much more fun than the AI uh, plus plus okay so let's take it from the uh, left to the right again and uh, see how the civilizations will have their lands uh, around them uh, we're also going to need to take a look a little bit more in depth uh, at their strategic uh, resources and by the looks of it uh, france over here is definitely going to have a good one uh, we do have him with um, one big continent and it looks like he's uh, going to have egypt to the southwest as an opponent and that's pretty close that is course the timing over here against egypt he's also going to have uh, persia to the northwest as an ally and i do notice on the east side there's pella oh my god you know what's gonna happen here right oh my god i need another coffee guys because this I'm, I'm gonna need to talk a lot of how many hetaris are coming out from pella he has no way out this is no way out where is he gonna go he he can only go through the cities of france there is no way no choice no other choice for him than uh, war uh, over uh, against uh, france from the beginning of the game and we do have uh, by the looks of it, france uh, settling in place and uh, yes he's going to need to get some gold from his teammates to buy out that three to one uh, spy style but of course he still has a two to one to work at the beginning now we do have him also with iron in the second ring and uh, france is going to benefit from his horses in the third ring i would imagine he might actually want to put the foot in the door here on the east side to try to get a stronghold going against the Macedon set up his defensive structure here and we do need to see how he's gonna try to make use of uh, the rivers and also uh, of the land uh, Tomiris is not a OP horse queen now yes it is yes it is also add pantheons there's a lot of improvement you need to practice because of uh, yes yes also yes yes and also i do have to say everything is much more interconnected now you can uh, use them uh, to increase so so much your bonuses uh tomin is still very good yes now okay so taking a look next we do need to take a look at tamar tamar to the west side of catherine de medici we do have him with uh, quite a few geothermal fissures here uh, giving him access to pretty good pretty good campuses of course i would imagine wait a second he's going mining first he's going for the tickets we do have Forval here with um, a scout coming up in three turns and of course he's gonna require masonry for the tickets so he does need to open a mining first and then go masonry well i do notice uh, he's uh, starting to explore the territory to the southwest has an ally to the northwest and uh, i do notice an opponent to the southeast but pretty far away for him to actually be worried uh, i don't see anybody to the southwest of his so i'm pretty sure he's uh, not gonna need to get that much over done over there has an ally to the northeast also that's neither and i do notice uh, tbilisi here uh, popping those scouts out will um 
Now, work at the beginning, though, 3 one, one spy style. I see. Okay, okay, interesting. Well, we do uh, need to see if these numbers change. No, he's actually working the spy style to grow at the same time as he's training his scout. Uh, we do uh, need to see also his strategic silent tile in the second ring, in the first ring, actually, in his capital, while the forces are going to be second ring to the north. Both of those uh, strategics are uh, quite easy to acquire, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be useful on uh, his um, ally here on Catherine de Medici to defend himself. Uh, looking at Nader Shah, we do have him uh, on the back line from Catherine de Medici, quite far away to the northwest, but still might actually get to interact a little bit with uh, the Macedonian army with a few units of his own to try to help out Catherine de Medici here. I wouldn't really call this ideal territory for Mashad, to be honest. It's far from ideal, actually. It's uh, very barren when it comes to uh, these, uh, these uh, forests on the hills and quite barren in the forest otherwise uh, also. To me, well, I guess uh, they're not using the forest balancing option, you know? We, I haven't seen this anymore in the games. Yeah, it is what it is. We do have him uh, getting the scouts out in one, and I do notice he's also going to have quite a few tutus around his uh, capital. This is probably a match made in heaven. He needs to pick open sky for this. Like, look, uh, one, two, five, six, seven pastures in the capital. You need to pick. You need to pick it. You need to get open sky. Seven culture just from Spashers in the capital. Unbelievable. Yeah, Fajnial, good evening, sir. Now, what are the lose uh, to win ratios of those uh, teams? Uh, you can check out, actually, wait a second. I can give you the uh, link to the challenge one of uh, Division 2. So, you can take a look uh, what did they do. Uh, I do have... Um, I would say I do have a readout of the scores uh, each week. If you have uh, followed me on uh, YouTube, I have um, I call it the score show. And uh, every Tuesday, I'm going to want to put out an episode uh, telling you guys uh, exactly what has been happening in the communities, uh, what kind of uh, results do the teams have, and what kind of uh, new teams are coming, what kind of teams are leaving, and so on and so forth. Uh, take, uh, try to take a look at uh, the overall uh, scene uh, altogether from multiple um, tournaments. So let me actually put up over here. I think there's a playlist somewhere give me a second i'm pretty sure i made a playlist somewhere so i can share it yeah yeah there we go you can uh, you can get this and then i get share the link and i can get this and there we go that should be the playlist over there and of course if you didn't actually subscribe to the channel thank you so much please subscribe and like that uh, content thank you thank you uh, helps me out a lot with that uh, youtube algorithm it is what it is um boo, 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 boo. okay i do need to get this done here and this done here I, i'm sorry but every time i do a change on the left screen i need to remake the left screen um windows Anyway, now we do need to take a look at Marshall's also strategic resources. With Iron in the second ring, he does have forces in the first ring, so both resources are quite easy for him to acquire. I do see Golden Age is not going to have a problem with their strategics. Uh, moving forward on uh, Linksia, that's going to be to the west of um, uh, Tamar, and I do notice he's going to be in between the mountains. He doesn't really have a choice, but he needs to go to the south with quite a few cities, while he's uh, definitely going to get to settle the chocolate hills in his second city. This is pretty pog over here, getting that city on the one two and uh, benefiting from all of those chocolate hill tiles he's gonna need to spend some gold not cheap but he's gonna get quite a bit of a return now uh, we do have him also popping that settler in three turns and i do notice uh, he's starting to scout towards the southwest well there is america quite far away uh, through those rivers we do have uh, to see if uh, they're gonna actually gonna get to fight each other in this territory over here or if uh, rome is just gonna bunker down trying to use the mountains as a defensive structure impassable structure actually now alexander is gonna have of course the honor of doing a lot of damage against the uh, Tal amigo now we do have him already meeting france and he knows he's gonna need to put the foot in the door as quickly as possible he knows also his own uh, peninsula uh, there is no choice for him then to go west and south and uh, by the looks of it of course he's gonna get that set out in one and we're gonna need to see him uh, his choice here i do notice paris actually is uh, late on the settler Oh, I see. Of course, uh, Pellard went uh, only one scout and uh, no, France went two scouts. That's why. Okay. Now, we do have also the city of Pella benefiting from uh, an iron tile on the east side. That's going to be uh, in the second ring. 
I don't see horses anywhere. Are those horses underneath his city center? I'm pretty sure those are horses underneath his city center. Of course, opening up bronze working. Both of them are opening up bronze working. Immediately after Catherine de Medici saw where uh, Macedon is coming from, he uh, realized that he's going to need to find his opponent and he clicked on that um, bronze working technology so he can get the generals, the encampments down and uh, make the projects for the generals. Yeah, it's a mod that allows to delete all notifications with one click each time. Wait, Trinta is the of the trash can. Oh, maybe it was. Uh, it will be added in the next season. Oh, okay. I mean, um, to be honest, uh, you might add that functionality in one of these mods because I really am uh, scared of having way too many mods running around the community. Uh, the more mods you put, the more um, instability chances you're going to have uh, between the players. In the teamers, it's not that big of an issue because I see a lot more discipline when it comes to... Um, um, how to say... Uh, the, the players uh, handling their mods. But in the free-for-all games... Uh, I don't know, man. They're, they're actually getting to like six, seven mods now. And I, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, and it does not cancel deals or other important notifications. Uh, okay. Well, in my opinion, it, it's kind of a useless mod because like it takes just a few sec uh, like a few clicks to clear this out. But sure, I mean, it definitely can be useful. Uh, we do have for like a tal amigo to the north, going to the northwest towards the eye of the Sahara and two, two, two uh, over here uh, working for him. I do have him also getting another settler out in six turns while already Maceron is moving uh, for or settling him. I don't have to mention or like a tal amigo is wary of sending a settler towards the east side directly into Maceron's face. Uh, but again. I did mention uh, also Macedon will take his time getting those units and his infrastructure up before he's actually going to go on the offense and look at the greedy greedy Gabzo he's going for the spice and the ivory settle that is indeed his best settle that he can go for uh, but we do need to see if France is actually going to get a whiff of this it doesn't look like it it doesn't look like it actually France is getting back yeah, we do have uh, Jeru also on the western side of uh, the map over here with uh, Spain actually getting uh, some uh, settlers going. And I do notice uh, we do have him also going uh, inland, not uh, on the coast. He could have actually gone on the cotton settle, but not a lot of fresh water next to. Uh, we do have him uh, also with uh, quite a few rivers uh, to give him the fresh water adjacency. You can actually see it over here. There's a decent amount of fresh water between him, America, and him and Antananarivo with the uh, mountains to give him quite a bit of adjacency. The second continent is to the north, so yeah, I am a bit uh, surprised he's actually going to settle that river on the east. Is it for the horses? Because he didn't have a single horse tile. Is it for the horses? He needs to give horses to somebody? Anyway, it is what it is. He's definitely going to want horses for uh, Alexander, so I think this is, uh, this is it. This is why. He needs to get the horses for Alexander and uh, he's going to get that builder soon to improve them. Uh, looking at his tech side, he's going pottery and uh, well, campus first with a plus four campus here to the west side of Madrid maybe. Interesting. So plus two there, uh, plus four there, another plus two over here. Oh, yeah, he cannot get the plus three easily unless he puts another district. And uh, I do see another possible plus uh, one or two uh, to the east side of uh, the third city to the north. Anyway, now we do have him also with iron next to the mountains, and yes, that's a, also a plus four campus. We're going to need to see what he's he going to choose uh, to get the adjacency from, if he's going to settle that iron uh, with a campus or not. Uh, we do also need to take a look at Dranash, that's going to be on the front line towards uh, Rome, and I do notice uh, Rome is getting that warrior right in uh, front of uh, the settlers of uh, America. Dranash is going to want to get the three para bonuses for that extra, what is this, extra food on the tiles? I think it's extra food on the tiles, right? And faith, extra food and faith now we do have him moving there on the 2-2 base and he's gonna get uh, to spend the gold for the extra bananas and the 2-3-1 next to 3 pana unfortunately two tiles but two tiles is better than no tiles so better now uh, we do have him also campuses plus three from washington campus opening to get the district discount and we're gonna need to see how he's gonna follow up and uh, if he's gonna manage to achieve the um, discount uh, looking at the uh, time to throw i do notice uh, he's creating his writing right now and already we do have france with a very banged up warrior what is this one doing here was there a pesky scout that actually appeared here because i do see a scout from egypt is also banged up well, what's going on here france oh i see they have been fighting actually here i see so france might have actually taken a unit down or something 
because I'm pretty sure he just not, you know, attacked the city of thieves mindlessly. He's not a barbarian. Or is he? Hmm. Uh, Philip, they like for the horse. Oh, sorry, for the horse. Yeah, for the ponies. Wait, it is the French version of MS Doll. It is for the ponies. Uh, surrounded by plantations in Serta Kiramin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexander doesn't have a lot of four tiles himself, so it makes sense. Yes, yes, I think it does make sense. And look at this big city. Methon already is uh, three production. Wow. Well, I do see uh, France is also going to get that extra science, which is going to help him discover those uh, technologies he desperately needs. I'm actually quite curious what kind of unit is he gonna choose, but I would assume he's gonna go for horses here. And while uh, Gabzu did manage to get his... Uh, wait a second, did he? He's going for archery right now? Okay, the right horseback. And so did he discover or not? I don't see a single encampment. So he did he discover or not his uh, encampments, bronze working? Or is he waiting for an ally to... Dis no, no, no ally is gonna boost that. Check. Did he get it? Did anybody watch if Gabzu got um, got his um, bronze working yet? Uh, Golden Age is upset with me. No, that's not me. That's the PC. That's the AI. This is me. They're not upset with me. And the AI is also friendly with me. <laughs> you know i i did an effect with uh, one of those you know how in um how to say it, in the video clips you see that star popping from the um, uh, the uh, spark you know from the teeth Ding! <laughs> yeah yeah it is what it is uh, anyway uh let me take a look here we do have a time to throw right um to the southwest he did manage to get the rice improved and i do see this time around he's gonna have a lot more resources to actually improve uh, five of these rice tiles and i do see some olives in the southeast that's not gonna matter another rice tile to the northwest uh, so a decent amount of culture that could be gathered he already got um, irrigation and started improving his uh, olives and uh, i do notice he's uh, starting to also get his monuments he's not investing into the ivory though and this uh, tickles me senses here i would imagine he does uh, want the extra production uh, to optimize his uh, opening count and this is the opening tempo in the city of thebes and uh, also interesting for well i guess he does want the extra culture that's why he's going maze towns to the southwest has access to a geothermal giving him a plus five campus here not bad not bad I was uh, initially thinking, why is he not going here? Much better production and food, but to be honest, here, okay, sure, he's gonna have a one three, and he's probably gonna need to switch that two two from uh, the northern city. But well, the extra culture is gonna be nice from the beginning, uh, and I got my answer. Macedon did not actually finish uh, bronze working. He moved a little bit away, and it looks like he's coming back on bronze working in four turns. While I do notice he's uh, finishing up his monuments to get a lot more culture, he's going early empire, and the third city is already moving to the west side a bit of a question mark where is he actually gonna settle he definitely wants the fresh water and i would imagine this wheat tile is gonna be his uh, choice of a settle to have multiple tutus around the city center and not need to actually um buy out any time spend any gold here on uh, strategic resources, we do have Racketed benefiting from a horse tank to the northwest, and I do notice his iron is a third ring out in the west side. That's a bit too far off. Etemenaki has been put down by uh, time to throw, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be very happy trying to get uh, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. That's a lot of uh, floodplains that he's going to get the extra production on, not to mention the science with the improved farms uh, on it. And we do have him also getting another builder, and I do notice Persia is going to get in to sniff around the city and see if that uh, slinger is going to throw poop at him uh, we do have uh, encampments coming up from paris and uh, Lyon and uh, ruin a uh, three encampment you know casual opening this is basically standard opening against Macedon. if you don't do this you're dead and i do see uh, Macedon here actually getting his uh, trader out in two turns to create also the pathway from his cities i would imagine methone is going to be um the start point of that uh of that uh, trader so he could actually get uh, the units much much faster through the forest now we also do need to see uh, where is he gonna put his bronze working uh, his encampments down i'm actually quite curious yeah there we go he's going for the wheat 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 uh poor lincoln yes golden yes 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 okay 
Okay, so with 1018, we can actually take a look at the city states uh, a little bit. And uh, let's see, we got one, two, three of these military city states with uh, Granada, Kabul, and then Gazargamu showing up for uh, the military. We do see uh, Venice and Muscat showing up for the economy in the game. And uh, we do have Fez as a single science uh, city state. Also, one single culture city state, Antanarivo. It looks like the game is telling us more war, more domination. What are you doing? And of course, we do have actually quite a few face it, uh, city states. Like Venta, Arba, Gnaska, and Cingueti all came to see this um, confrontation between the, these opponents. Yeah, we also have... Uh, oh no, that's about it actually. There's no industrial city-state in the game. I was about to say that there is an industrial city, but there's no industrial city-state in the game. Okay, monuments coming out from Macedon. Definitely needs his extra culture. Two turns off from Bordon's working. He might actually not get to finish the monument. And uh, right now I'm thinking maybe he should get a, another slinger or an archer to actually put some pressure on France from the beginning. And, uh, well, forget about the monument. And we do have uh, Spain actually going for another city towards the north of Seville. Interesting choice that, again, he did not choose to keep on uh, settling on the coast. Now that he actually has an opponent on the west side, he does have uh, actually an ally here, Alexander. While I'm pretty sure uh, he's not going to get to attack any of these cities inland here. They're a bit too far away for his, uh, for his mark. You know, Macedon is sending one of his uh, slingers to uh, try to do some damage against France and as you can see he's uh, throwing those rocks at the scout through the hills but not really managing to uh, over overwhelm it in damage. Well, we might actually see it die next time, to be honest. Let's see. If he doesn't get a promotion, he will get a promotion. Next hit, he will get a promotion. 14 out of 15 points. If you don't know, by the way, the experience of a unit is always shown if you click on a unit. And um, it's at the bottom of its uh, stats over there. You see a bar, a white bar that keeps on uh, filling. That's where the experience is. I never understood why they made it so small though. It is actually quite small to uh, to see. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, TK is coming around from uh, Georgia. He did manage to get uh, one of the stone tiles. And uh, by the looks of it, we do have him spamming those uh, walls out from every one of his cities. Has a bit of a problem here with the food. No, it's fine, actually. 3-1 uh, sugar with a 1-3 and a 2-2 two, two sheep. Oh, he's not using the sugar tile. He's actually using the coffee tile. Interesting. Well, I guess he does want a little bit of extra culture until he gets his tickets. Anyway, uh, start up from Rome. Makes sense with the campuses. Plus four over here. Oh, that's a plus five, right? The plus six. Six campus in Rome. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, there are four mountains. Yes, uh, you know, learn to count. Uh, and one, two, three, plus five over here. Also north of Ostia. This is the match made in heaven. I mean, he needed to actually start up with campuses. I'm, uh, wait. Did he just gave up on his uh, district discount? He started off so well and he gave up on the district discount. All he needed to do is not discover commercials and get another campus. Oh, it is what it is. And we do have Etemenanki importance finishing from the series of uh, Time to Throw. He did manage to get the uh, Lady of the Rizer Marshes on Cleopatra. And we do have the extra production points already started off uh, to shine here in the city of Rakedet. He's also going to get uh, Early Empire soon. So he's going to get uh, one Governor title, allowing him to choose Liang. Usually, of course, um, you do want Liang in the Etemenanki city so we can get the extra production on all of these floodplain tiles, making them extremely, extremely good. He's going to have have a monster of a city over there in Rakedet. I feel like the scout gets one tap before he can click on promo. It might be, it might be, but it looks like uh, actually Gabzu retreated his units and France did manage to get the promotion. Okay, interesting. We do have the encampments also starting off and by the looks of it, he does have a decent amount of production for turning encampments here. This is quite slow, 12 turns, but I guess it's faster than Ruan. Well, we'll see if it's faster than Ruan actually. We'll see. He's working the same tiles, the same two twos, right? There's no two three here. Only some extra science, which doesn't really affect this. Oh well. Now we do have also Moksha establishing the city of Pella for the extra culture, and of course we're going to see how many points he's going to get. He went for initiation rights. We might actually see something that we haven't seen in some time. Uh, Macedon going for uh, monumentality in the first round, which uh, usually you do want to go for drums of war now, especially with the war bonuses. But having the ability to get some 
faith from building the units and also converting that faith into builders and settlers uh, might actually be quite valuable here for Gamzu. You chop more units, get more faith, chop more and get another builder, chop more units, get faith and so on and so forth. It's a circle, a never ending circle of bonuses. Time to throw is such a funny name. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good evening, Colorado. Hello there, sir. Definitely need another coffee for this. Uh, we do need to take a look at the expansions here. Yes, we do have settlers coming around from uh, Rome and Antium. And by the looks of it, uh, Washington is going to get his monuments. He did put down also his campuses, two of them. Where's his third city? Oh, no third campus here from Charleston. Well, he did get an extra culture tile. And let's see if he is going to manage to get his... Uh, did, he open, did he discover commercials? Oh, my God. He did. Oh, well, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. He got one. It is what it is. Now we got a Temeranki here in two turns uh, coming up from Rakedet. And I do notice uh, Liang is... Uh, wait, he didn't even finish the campuses, did he? Oh, no, he did. He did. Okay. Uh, we do have uh, Liang establishing three. Moksha establishing also in the city of France. There's no um, Bingala. Oh, uh, sorry, not Bingala. No victor shenanigans here in the cities of France. Nor do I see a Mastodon trying to uh, pull off any victor shenanigans with uh, the promotions. Uh, while I do see Gabzu... Disconnecting. Oh. oh my god. Okay, well, there must be something here. Is there another uh, weird storm somewhere? Ooh. Ooh, holy sites a plus two the first holy site in uh, tbilisi i do see another holy site here in poti so he did start off on his uh holy site building uh Poesia did manage to get four cities pass and he got kumasi actually quite early with his uh, units very nice very nice i'm not sure how many died there but uh yeah he did manage to get an extra city that's uh, four cities that Poesia is gonna get to uh, benefit from in the back line he's definitely gonna be quite a pox simmer here you know what uh, again the land quality is a little bit uh, lacking i'm pretty sure he's gonna want to settle that ivor in the south and probably put uh, well might actually want to put another city here towards uh, france i would imagine he will need to negotiate the placement so they can share this territory the forest and the hills uh, southwest i do see three campuses wait spain did get uh, one two three yes and he's going check this out he's actually going for this wait currency in two turns when is he finishing this one he's not finishing this one guys oh no Oh no. So round, right now the ratio is one district discovered, one district type discovered, one campus built. He won't get the, uh, if he discovers currency, it will change into two types of discovered with only one built. So yeah, no more. No more discount. He said something before he left. Uh Parel. Parel. He said Parel. There is, uh, this is a no discount challenge for everybody. Yes, Alex, to found the five, basically. Well, it is what it is. Wait, it might be funny, but uh, Macedon might actually get the discounts, guys. I know it might be funny, but Mason is definitely going to get the discounts, at least on a campus, right? He's going to get a plus three, a plus two campus here to the east side. Easy, easy to improve. Easy to get. Uh, Timo Archer, can someone explain me this discounts? Yes, there is a mechanic that allows you basically to catch up in the game. The... Um, well, it was meant to allow you to catch up in the game. Uh, there's two numbers that you need to keep in mind. First is the district types that you have discovered. That means uh, if you discovered in the civics or text um, uh, entertainment complex, uh, barracks, uh, sorry, encampments, uh, campuses, commercials, uh, theater squares, all of those are district types. Uh, how many you have discovered versus how many districts you have built in total? 
So you have, uh, and that's why I'm taking a look at the direct numbers. You have uh, three campuses. Okay, you discovered one type, so you can get um, three of them built in your early series, but you need to be careful not to discover something else because otherwise you don't get the bonus anymore. That's the problem. You need to you need to pay attention and uh, play a little, a little bit on the waves uh, with the technologies and the civics so you get the perfect timing for those uh, distinct uh, build orders. That sometimes is a bit too much of a sacrifice, though, for the discount that you get. But anyway, it is what it is. It's a commitment. And wait, I think I needed to finish my uh, sentence. Uh, the, um, uh, whenever the number of uh, districts built is uh, bigger than the numbers of uh, district types discovered, you get a discount, basically. If the amount of districts is the same enough, uh, no, you don't. needs to be bigger stronger faster or at least i don't know actually that's a good question alex to find uh, i know i said it with uh, such conviction but i'm not so sure now, right now thinking about about it like trying to uh, i don't think i know how to say a scenario of that no okay we got a team plus here From both teams? Ranash? No, that's one team. Ranash and Gabzu. They're on uh, Lucky Nuke. We need to see Golden Age uh, starting off. Oh, I think the Destroyer has arrived. Oh, she's gonna be popping in any second now. Any second now. She's been very, very rude in the last days. Very rude, I gotta say. Well, we do have uh, Egypt is still two turns away from getting uh, that Temenankin. I do see uh, the builders are coming out of his series and needs to improve uh, some more of these uh, rice tiles. Definitely has a lot of food that is, will be gathered with a lot of production there. And uh, we also need to follow up uh, the information on Macedon versus France. Looks like France already is starting off on his uh, slinger spam, getting archery next turn. While I do notice uh, Gabzo is going to go for iron working in uh, three turns. Whoa, this is actually quite a interesting commitment here from Gabzo to go towards uh, iron working. This will allow him to get uh, Hippastis, which is a strong unit, especially against cities, uh, but uh, it's kind of a late unit uh, usually. And uh, of course, because of the lack of uh, iron on your team, you don't really want to go that way unless you fully commit with drums of war and he already opened up with initiation right so it's kind of feeling like he should actually get monumentality i don't know it looks like it's a bit mess of, a bit of a mess over here one of the um, other uses of faith for example if you don't go monumentality you might just get enough faith to buy a build uh, to buy a sorry um, um general or a writer for example they're 450 there's reasonably enough faith generated with units to get to 450. Uh, so districts get more expensive with more districts discovered uh, so district the districts any district will get more expensive with uh, more um since the discovery of, uh, so you discovered the district let me actually i'm, I'm uh, trying to actually phrase this in my mind and i'm failing um so whenever you discover a district it starts off with a default production whenever you discover other technologies or civics after that uh, discovery of a district it will increase its cost per each technology and civic so you uh, increase your uh, civics and uh, you increase the cost of districts uh, very very quickly if you have a lot of science or culture at the beginning of the game and uh, the players are trying to somehow balance that to not grow that fast but also get those uh, district discounts and the ban and the try to balance out in their minds if it is worth to get the district discounts over the direct stats uh, and of course if they have enough production to actually make up for uh, the discount yeah, they get more expensive with every new tech civic. Yes, this code is an on or off thing. You can either have the setup to get the 40% or you get nothing. Yes, basically, I like 2005, very correct here. If you, there, it's basically a discipline. You can't have both. Like, 
you cannot have your cake and eat it too and it's quite a commitment especially at the beginning of the game but anyway uh, let's see we do have a few more uh, governors chosen magnus is establishing in the city of rome we do have washington getting magnus and i probably will see magnus here in in um, madrid we do have tamar going for moksha makes sense extra culture faith uh, we do have uh, kumasi oh, i should i should say uh, mashad going for magnus as well uh we do have uh, moksha establishing in france and i do see moksha establishing in uh Macedon's capital pella also liang over here chosen by uh Egypt. Well, we do have him with uh, quite a few builders coming around to improve his territory, and definitely he needs a lot. Uh, he's getting another one from the city of Rakedet while he's improving his copper tile, getting that uh, boost there, uh, improving a mine. Not bad. What, what was the boost for? This one, will, right? Minor resource. Yeah, there we go. Now we do have him also trying to chop the tile uh, that will give him a plus three campus over here to the northeast of uh, Thebes. And we don't need to see, yeah, he's opening up campuses actually, one and a two. But he's late on this, as in uh, he's he's quite late on building them. 11, 11 uh, 12 science already and 10 culture. That means he's uh, going to discover those uh, civics and technologies very, very quickly. And you kind of run out of options actually uh, to uh, try to discover something else at some point if you go too fast. I'm a bit surprised he's not going for uh, commercials for here, but I guess it is what it is. Now we do have uh, Basilic Pates coming up from Macedon. This is actually a very, very good production number. Basilic Pates uh, making, uh, being built in three turns in a uh, second city while he's getting uh, the same result in the capital. You do see him uh, improving his iron tile soon and uh, will get the boost for iron working uh, while uh, Ola Catalamigo is going to go for irrigation here. Now we do have... Uh, I would say uh, we do have to take a look on the other pantheons. Whoa. Monument to the gods? This is a very underused pantheon. This is the one that gives you the production towards wonders throughout the game, right? But it's not all wonders. Isn't it only uh, ancient and something? And monument 20% production towards wonders okay it's not um, no need to ancient okay i mean 20% production doesn't sound that bad but is it that important on georgia i guess he really wanted that he really wanted that you know right uh, georgia is making right now 16 faith a turn and we do have him only on six science and nine culture but that's kind of normal for a faith civilization to be honest 16 faith a turn is going to allow him to uh, catch up uh, relatively quickly Okay, horseback riding in three turns from Linxia. It's not like he can. Well, he could try to go against America. I doubt that he will. And he's putting down his commercials. I do notice the first one. Again, no district discount. He didn't get the discounts here. Yeah, that's a six turn commercial that he's building in Ostia. And this is a four turn commercial in Antium, in a city that he uh, is working 331 tiles. That's a lot of production in, in waste there. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we do have uh, to see what's going on. Uh, we do have the iron improved here on uh, Pella. And I do notice Archons are starting to come out from France. Uh, I do also notice he's uh, getting his barracks in his uh, territory here. And uh, there are only five more turns remaining for the players uh, to get the era score. Even though I I'm pretty sure everybody will get it. We do have uh, Gabzo here still needing three points, but of course he's going to finish the Basiriki page and he's going to get that uh, bonus of plus four of a unique building. It should be fine. Uh, Wonders Pantheon was so bad, uh, so it got buffed both in percentage and to help with Wonders. Thank you so much, Nutria. Yes, plus plus. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, when you accidentally send a, w a message with only one word, <laughs> kick. Yeah, the, okay, no uh, god of open sky or even passions. Wait, yeah. Oh right, oh right. This was a match made in heaven. He went city patron goddess. Interesting. I guess uh, he wanted the discount anyway. It is what it is. Well. Commercial hub investments already starting to come out from his empire. He will have Zankian as the next uh, merchant and he's going to get that. While he is going to get a builder to improve all of these passions. I gotta say a builder earlier would have been amazing for the capital city here of Mashad. Uh, to get all of those uh, extra production tiles on the sheep tiles. Especially over here. Wait, is this a non-freshwater city? This is a non-freshwater city, Susa. 
Is he preparing to put another city in the tundra, maybe? This is very surprising that he got this. Mostly because it gets capped at uh, the second population. It cannot grow into the third one. Um, or it grows extremely slow. Yeah, and, um, unfortunately, the whenever the city is going to run out of housing in your, for your population, it's going to put a lot of penalties on your city. Not allowing it uh, to keep growing with uh, using the same uh, tiles. And this is actually quite a problem. Um, maybe you don't... Um, immediately notices the problem but uh, i do have to say more population is better if you can uh, manage it uh, the new golden era delegation is very good for macedon yes it is extremely good for macedon because he's gonna get all of those uh, extra um, uh, iron points on his empire and i don't think he's gonna receive a lot of help to get the iron points uh, you do see that he went for hippastis first right so he has already the upgrade button on the hippastis he needs uh, the iron to and the gold to get it and you do see he only has four iron in total right now and nobody on the opposing team has uh, iron only wait where are the horses on uh, France? How are they not making horses? Is anybody getting horses here? Right, this is the pony police. You need to pull over, pull over, please, please. I mean, where are the ponies? Why are you not educating the ponies into very good studs? What is this? Oh my god. Wait, what is Rome? What is Rome doing? Rome, tell me you're gonna improve a pony. Links here is not improving ponies. Uh, I mean, his pony is kind of in a weird position. I can't really fault him for that. Look, look at that pony. He got stuck between the mountains. Yeah, not good. Okay, Mashad maybe? Pony? He has a pony. Yeah, he has the pony. Okay. So who's next? Uh, France. Why is France not getting the pony? He has an easy pony to improve in ruin. It's already in his borders. He never got there. He's improving. I guess he does want to make his people happy to improve those amenities. And I do notice uh, he is going to improve his iron tile. But that's kind of an exposed... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the forward archer. What is this guy doing here? Oh, my God. This, this guy, I think he read a few too many books. And then he was like, oh, I'm going to get him, boys. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, been training for this for 10 years. Let me add him. You know, you know that guy who always goes first and he's the first one to be taken down? Well, this is basically that archer. Yeah, no strategics on Golden Age yet. Is great news for Macedon? Yes, it is. And we got the first he passed this already getting upgraded here. Gab Zoo is going to move forward with a very strong unit against uh, the units of uh, France here. I, I do have to point out the, all of the units of France are going to benefit from an extra plus three from his extra intel on opponent's movements that can only be countered by a spy, by getting uh, your own printing and so on and so forth. It's going to be a while until um, we're going to see those options on Macedon. Yeah, Persia has 18 horses stacked up already. Yeah, they, they must have not shown because of a trade or something. Yeah, bye, France. Magnus already calling it out. Bye, France. Bye. <laughs> uh, Sergey, good evening, sir, and welcome. Machiavelli, good evening, sir. I would like to congratulate every freshman with... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Let's not, let's not do this, Machiavelli. Oh my god, I stopped at the correct moment. Come on, Machiavelli. I'm... Uh, Magnus, uh, yeah, bye bye, France. It is what it is. I uh, don't really want to comment on uh, on that subject. It is what it is. Uh, people are doing what people uh, want to do. Uh, and, uh, we need to leave it with now we do have um, the traders coming up from Thebes and yes uh, Pingala is establishing in that city center yes I do also notice uh, his campus came out of uh, the city of Thebes and I do see Iwuno is going to get that plus 5 to the west side uh, we do have Edemenaki finish so he's getting all of these beautiful upgrades here on his tiles the extra production the culture the science it's all amazing here in the city of Rakedet uh, we uh, also need to take a look at his uh, total production here I'm actually very curious of this number 49 
39 points of production actually he's the most productive one even more than uh, baptiste which is on four series soon to be five series no it's just four series okay well it is what it is i do notice he's also building the pyramids here in uh, kumasi one more turn until the golden age we do have uh, gaps of getting the points everybody in the game actually did manage to get the points over the threshold we do need to see macedon getting another one of these going while he's getting his encampment training project from his capital he is gonna get that um, general <laughs> yeah this definitely is gonna happen here you know do have france also trying to get there getting a project of his own while he can chop it next turn i do notice he got his governor plaza to the southeast of paris and putting magnus in the northern city of rouen well, we're going to need to see how things will evolve here. Definitely that he passed this is going to be a much uh, harder target for the archer to attack into. While I'm pretty sure um, also when those uh, Hetari come out from Macedon, he's going to get that pressure on his opponent with them. A horse by riding in two turns, military uh, tradition in one. He already discovered the maneuver card. And now I think it's uh, the biggest choice of them all. What is Gabzo going to choose? Is he going to go Drums of War or is he going to go for uh, Monumentality? Which one is it? It's very important. He's he's not actually making that much face. only on 5 face at turn. But he can definitely have a lot of chops here. He needs to keep getting units and get the chops going. I'd also notice he's taking the chance of getting another settler in two turns and Pingala in Metho. Interesting. Wall of in four turns from Pella, still building his Basilic Pace. Looks like he's more defending with this Hippastis than trying to push France here. Uh, while I do see him on 10 science and 19 culture. Drums of war, ladies and gentlemen, get your nachos, get your sauces, and let's see what Alexander is gonna do against a big boy France here. Uh, Stonewall, do you uh, good evening, sir. First of all, do you think Lucky Nuke have realized that they will be in control of the ocean so that Macedon can settle on the coast? Yes, I think they realized. Yes, plus. I, I, I'm pretty sure they know with uh, Spain on the west side, I'm pretty sure they know uh, that they control this. You see also Spain uh, did manage to discover quite a bit of uh, coast here to the west side. They know, they know, they definitely know. Uh, also Machiavelli was, uh, that is the nicest, uh, yes, I know. I, I know what you said there, Machiavelli, but it's still a stab, bro. It's still a stab. I, I know what you said. Uh, does anyone seriously have nachos as their favorite snack? yes i have nachos what you don't have nachos <gasps> no i actually recently started to find the nachos in stores so i um you know i'm, I'm going through that phase the nacho phase you know, let's see catherine de medici also drum for, uh, drums of war and plunder um drums of war <laughs> sorry uh, we do have him with 13 science and 18 culture with uh, 39 uh, production points we do have him in oligarchy and he just upgraded his first swordsman and recruited the general hannibal barca is going to help him deal with the threat and we do see uh, of course uh, his uh, swordsman is going to be alone here for some time well he's does he want to get another wait oh yeah he wants to get another general kick he wants to get another general it is what it is yeah, we do have uh, Orval also with a Monumentality Golden Age, 10 Science and uh, 20 Culture. Well, also, he's in a Monumentality Golden Age, getting Hanging Gardens from the city of Zugdini, while uh, he did manage to get his Governor Plaza in Tbilisi. I do notice uh, right now with 36 faith a turn, he does have uh, Settlers in production and, uh, quite, uh, and a few builders here from Pony. I'm very surprised that he actually is choosing to build builders and not buy them. I would have imagined he wants to get another city, another Settler from Pony and not actually uh, get another builder but anyway it is what it is you do have uh, magnus also establishing zugdini giving uh, the option to orval to chop uh, hanging gardens next turn he would have actually two chops here one on the stone and one on this he did go for monuments of the gods for a pantheon getting him bonuses towards uh, building wonders well we do need to see how quickly he's gonna get his uh Cavern plaza specializing building because i'm pretty sure he should be in political in um yeah he should have discovered political philosophy right he's on oligarchy autocracy oh oh i see he's in autocracy so he's trying to get all of the bonuses for that wonder yeah there we go it switched from five to three turns yeah yeah, yeah. he's gonna get it quickly this is massive by the way for his empire so much housing and uh, extra fertility on your uh, cities and there we go there we go he's uh, chopping it out with magnus and uh, it's only one more turn or a sliver of production uh, we do have also later shark was working in three turns in the north uh, getting his uh, granary in the city of susa and thou shall be knighted primer colorado 
There we Thank go. You. Almost forgot it had ended. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for the prime. Much appreciated. Also, perhaps you would ought to put on those Mexican hands to go along with the snack of your choice. Yes. Get those sombreros going. Get those, uh, you know, like the lines over here. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Can you imagine? And I do this all over the time and you can hear. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you would say nacho favorite snack. Bada doom. Old triangle. Good evening, sir. A stab. Why? I really don't know. I'm very. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. 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 Man, okay. I stand correct. Okay. I stand correct. Um. No. Would... Oh, no, Jerry. No. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for the prime. That oh, should be knighted indeed. primer. No, Jerry. Pop. Well, we do have uh, neither shot, right? To take a look at 16 science, 22 culture, and 5 times for an ancestor hall to come out of his city center. And I do notice settlers coming out also from Pasa Garden. Three times he definitely wants to get pyramids here in Kumas. He has been building it for some time and needing to defend it. That one uh, random desert tile is giving him the option to get one builder charge on all of his uh, builders. After this, not to mention he's gonna get a free builder. And we do have Macedon putting the pressure on uh, France here and forcing him to get a few more armies. Of Although France is kind of wasting his chops on these uh, generals, he definitely wants two of them, and I guess he does want the south and the north protected, but at the same time, man, he needs to be careful. There is the Macedonia Hippastis, if they get next to the city center, that city is in trouble. Well, we do need to see a lot more units coming out, and uh, as you can see, Macedon is preparing for a massive uh, chop 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 getting more expanse to the southwest this is also going to put him a little bit of in front here later on we do need to see him uh, defending that way this france the scouts are leaving they're moving out wow okay i guess he didn't want uh, any part of the action here now we do have uh, Rome also with 20 iron science and 24 culture. By the looks of it, Rome, five cities already getting his extra settlers and putting down more campuses. While he is getting uh, two turns for a settler, uh, for a builder in Kume, that city will have major problems with the food. Uh, he's getting a few more traders and opening up with uh, campuses and now following up with commercials. I do notice uh, the moment he only has a single trade route and that's moving from uh, Antium to Rome. We do need to see when he's going to get some more because I'm pretty sure Persia wanted to get the first merchant and he did manage to get Zankian for an extra trade out capacity and while uh, i do notice the next one is uh, Coleus. We got Macedon getting drums of war and uh, we've seen him uh, pressure his opponent here right next to uh, the capital. We do need to see when he's going to finish all of these units and the settlers. How is he going to try to push uh, into France here? He is right now benefiting from 46 production points. When I do see Ola Ketal Amigo is tied on 46, he's actually going to start putting a bit more pressure here on France. Well, that uh, swordsman not only has a promotion, but also is in a 45 position defending the iron from these uh, pesky he passed this i'm pretty sure if you don't hit it three times or if it's with three units i don't think that's gonna go down and i meant uh, three units not uh, three times anyway uh, we do have uh, jeru also with 21 science and 22 culture on the other side of the coast philip the second did uh, choose uh, penbrush and voice and he's now managing to acquire these uh, scientists i do notice hypatia has not been picked up first and i do notice euclid is the next one america is going to need uh, to actually pick or pick or pass here now we do have him getting another wave of settlers, uh, three of them coming out of his city centers while he did manage to get uh, quite a few of these uh, campuses improved. Uh, we do have uh, Ranash also on Abraham Lincoln with 17 science and 23 culture. Uh, Ranash is going to be next to uh, Spain and I do notice uh, he's going to need to hold Rome. We do have him with Ancestral Hall in one turn. He's a bit late on his settlers, but he's going to get them going. And I'm pretty sure one of his priorities is to get the industrial zones as quickly as possible. He did choose to go for Divine Spark as a Pantheon. And uh, we're going to need to see if that is actually going to help him uh, secure these very, very good scientists. And of course, uh, the engineers. Uh, we do need to move forward Ptolemy, cleopatra already big bonuses 35 science 26 culture fourth city to the east getting uh, sources out and putting down his ancestral hall in two times he snatched oh my god he actually got it he got it from persia neither shah got duped over here we got egypt finishing up pyramids to the south of rocket i mean it's fitting right egypt needed to have it i right, come in come on 
Come on, it, you gotta admit it. Ne Egypt needed to have it, right? Historical accuracy, guys. Historical accuracy. The Macedon seems to be seeming more than actually trying to run France down. Yes, yes, Macedon does seem to be seeming here. He's still not warning, uh, not one turning Hetaris, though. This is oh, he did just one turn them. Maybe it was a bug. It is what it is. I need a second. I need to open up uh, the door to Athena because she's going crazy. She's meowing at the door. Yes, Athena. Yes. How have you been doing? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Let me let me pull the food somewhere else. Please. There we go. The little kid is here. Okay, so Petaris are coming out of the cities of Macedon. We do have him with a builder that could help him uh, chop. And I do know that Spingana has established there in the city of uh, Methone. Uh, every time he actually pops out a unit right now, he's going to get a science. And uh, that is going to be very important for him to keep up with Olekatala and even uh, try to make more science than him. Uh, we don't really have for right now that big of an economy on either with Gabs on only six uh, points at, uh, of GPD while Olekatala is uh, on 12. It looks like also Orval is going to have uh, 12 points there. Come on, come on, not that. Oh my god, okay, it is what it is. It's, uh, she's exploring again. It is what it is. Well, on the western side, it looks like uh, Euclid is uh, going to start off on his uh, discoveries here. Ariabata is going to be the next one. America did not choose to uh, pass this. Uh, so, yeah, neither Hypatia did show up here. Looks like it might actually be the last 30-point um, scientist that he's going to get. Yeah, looks like. Okay. Where is uh, where is more Hetari? Where is more Hetari? Okay, two more Hetaris coming. I mean, this is look look at the unit spam. The unit spam. I think it started. We do have him with those Hetaris actually having the ability to move forward. You now we do need to see when they're gonna cross the rivers and uh, how quickly actually France can get the uh, units to block this with the city of AI guy. He could actually hit the city of Lyon using these uh, floodplain tiles uh, next to the river Loire. Loire, Loire, Loire. I think it's Loire. Uh, we learn from history don't we yeah i mean some do <laughs> i would say some do learn from history um the france doesn't do a manual all over again contrary to popular it was quite effective however in the wrong place or not long enough i mean they couldn't really have predicted that their opponents are uh, their, i would say neighbors are gonna get attacked and smashed you know he they did what they could on their side now it was up to their allies to do something on their side and they didn't uh old triangle thank you so much for the prime thank you sir well we do have uh macedon here still needing to get his attacks going man athena okay she wants uh the thing thing i see okay take the thing thing come on come on come on there we go. Come. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. No? Okay. You don't get duped like that anymore. Okay. I see. Yeah, she got bigger. She knows more. Okay. Well, no, we do have a few more archers also coming out from Alexandropoli with uh, Magnus establishing in that uh, city center soon. He's going to have the ability to chop a little bit more efficiently. We don't really have the Setaris moving out of their borders at the moment. While uh, he's going to go for machinery in eight turns, uh, we do need to see um, when he's going to start pushing. This uh, All of this time is actually giving uh, France a bit of a uh, respiro moment to get his uh, Wall of Strong built and also get more improvements going. Uh, finally, he's going to get his horse down. Now we do not uh, we do have uh, Olaketal managing to get iron, Orval is getting iron, Baptiste is not, while Linksia is also getting his uh, iron uh, turn here. Is this a forward settle from Rome right in the face of an America that is gonna get the free units? <clears throat> this kind of looks like that, right? This is Rome, Linksia actually putting a settler right in the face of Rome. Hey, 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 look, take this, you see. Yes. 
Okay, I do see a bad start coming out from the cities of uh, Rome, and yes, I do notice uh, we do have him uh, getting his markets out. He is getting a uh, heavy chariot from Antium, so maybe this is the start of him spamming those uh, out. Uh, we do need to see if that's uh, gonna happen. Now, Pingala is also establishing the southernmost city. Okay, uh, Hetaris are starting to cross the river to the west of Methone, uh, getting uh, in the face of an archer, and I do notice uh, he can push back the general from that uh, swordsman, uh, so he doesn't get the extra plus 5, that swordsman is way too strong for these uh, Hetaris to push through, uh, while uh, Macedon is uh, gonna need to get a second general of his own it doesn't look like he's flexing his uh, muscles here anymore uh he well somebody else did get a general egypt did manage to get a general very interesting that egypt actually got a general here now we do have him uh, with uh, pyramids coming out here Iwunu is gonna get his campus pillaged i do see um and there is a possibility for the Persian uh, scout to actually get that settler and we're going to need to see where Egypt is going to send his own scout, his first blocking the movement from the north but I'm pretty sure Persia could just go around with the last move, first move here we do need to see the synchronization of the um, shift enters, if that's going to work, already 10 pop city, Iraq at that very, very big, very big okay, Hetaris these are not enough Hetaris I gotta say, not enough Etaris. He's trying to go campuses here. Uh, okay, well. Did he get... Okay, he got another city. So he's gonna be on five cities. Okay, and uh, Etaris, Etaris, not even chopped in one turn? What? Not even chopped in one turn? Oh my, that, that sounds terrible. Like, usually you do get to one turn Etaris. That sounds terrible. He didn't do something. He did get World of Throne and he did get Drums of War. So I guess he did what he could. Maybe he doesn't have a Maneuver? I, I hope he does have a Maneuver. He does. He does. A Gogi, Conscription and Maneuver. Oh my god, that's a pretty poor government. Okay, let's see the seamers. Do we have uh, enough gold on them? 46 gold per turn from Baptiste. We do have uh, Jeru also on 25. Ranash on 22. While time to throw is on 17. Definitely would need more gold per turn here. But I wouldn't really say he's a seamer right now. He's kind of close to Macedon. And he's going to need some defensive units. We do have a few Hetaris actually going towards the south. And I'm pretty sure Egypt is going to have the production capabilities to get uh, some units here in Shedet. I don't understand the position of Shedet though. I, I guess he really he wanted another city here he really wanted another city in between all of his other cities because shedded i mean it would have been much better on the main style for the defensive um, posture against macedon yeah why does macedon have three military car slots that's uh, macedon being massive hey. macedon being massive Receive an extra military policy slot after re researching the political philosophy civic Wait, Egypt is with Macedon? Oh, this is worse actually. Oh my god. Wait, really? This is actually worse for France. Oh my god. I thought actually France... Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, my total vision of the strategy here is changing. My total mental image is changing. We might actually see a f um, time to throw over here just to take over Olaketalamigo from a southern... with a southern attack while a Macedon is keeping his busy on the east side. We don't need to see how quickly though. Egypt did manage to get the general and of course he's gonna get those uh, knights much much faster than everybody. I do see him going for military tactics though on five, in five turns that kind of slows him down from getting his uh his knights his stirrups and i don't think actually wait a second is it a viable option yeah i don't i don't think uh, this is good land to pass so many times through this is not good land to do that you need the uh, you need the coarser extra movement or the heavy um or say uh, heavy cap extra movement Anyway, uh, let's see. Rome, audience chamber of his uh, choice. Marcus Ricinus Crassus for some free tiles. Uh, did we have Hypatia yet? No, still no Hypatia yet. Looks like uh, they're starting to pass Ariabata around. In the first uh, great engineer, we do have Isodor of Miletus giving, him, uh, giving them those extra bonus points for the production. Georgia did start off on his great writer challenge. He did manage to get Oracle and uh, he's going to put Pingala in that city center, getting him a massive boost of uh, writers. We do have a theater square in there only a plus two but that's more than enough he could get much a picture for a lot more uh, adjacency 
uh, getting more of series and uh, finishing up the tickets in them also more setters in the training queues as you can see right now orval is on 44 pay to 10 with 21 science and 30 culture i want to say those are very big numbers but they're definitely going to go quite much much higher next uh, next up uh, we do have uh, also macedon starting to uh, get a few more units on the front line while uh, they, he still doesn't really have an eye I would say a choice to go against the swordsman. I'm actually very curious. Oh, he found he found the weak spot. He found the weak spot on the west of I guy. And why is he going towards Armak? Is he wanting to help Egypt actually take that city center? Or does he want a city center there? This seems kind of a waste of units from Gamsu when he could just take Lyon. I'm pretty sure he could just take Lyon. There's no Is Lyon gonna die? Is wait. I need to put a prediction here. Is Lyon gonna die? Okay, let's, let's get it quickly. Let's get it for like two minutes. Let's see the points. High rollers. Let's go. Let's go. Those Etaris are probably to take uh, armor. Yes. Yes, looks like. Also, Rafael takes it like some warfare. He would, well, yeah. Not uh, here though. We do see Hypatia has been picked up by Ranash and what is unbelievable forward setter from Rome. Unbelievable forward setter right in the face of his opponent here. No respect for Ranash. And I gotta say, we see some Aqueducts being put down here from America, but he still needs to get apprenticeship for those industrial zones. It will take some time, but he is preparing his territory for that. Oh, Gabzu got overly excited here, and instead of uh, waiting for all of his Setaris to hit the city of Lyon, he, he, he just went in and then ran away. Oh my god, this is like, you know, in high school, in, uh, how to say, kindergarten, when you go to poke somebody and for fun and uh, make fun of his reaction because he doesn't know where he's getting poked. This is basically what happened over here. Gabzu, boop, boop, meow, ran away, exit, stage right. Well, we do have uh, also a Temple of Artemis coming up from Methone. That is going to give him quite a few amenities, not to mention the food and the housing in that city center. And Egypt in the south is trying to uh, see also what's going on here. He's going to meet one of the French horses on the battlefield. Both of them do have generals, not that big of an issue. And I do see he's working on getting a bigger economy. With 42 science and 31 culture, he definitely has quite a bit more than Olaketal Amigo. But I gotta say, Gamsu is starting to run behind here. We do have um, Catherine de Medici, 7 turns out from getting castles while he is trying to get more libraries to discover that faster he's also getting a few new horses uh, getting him a coarser technology and extra diplomatic visibility over Macedon will unbalance this uh, encounter between them and I, I find it incredible by the way that Macedon is not uh, attacking to Lyon with uh, these uh, Hetaris he could have crippled over here France this is such a massive city for France plus six campus Plus six campus over there. Not to mention encampment. But anyway, it is what it is. He probably didn't uh, find a way. But didn't he see that it's empty? That nobody's there? He saw, right? Anyway, it is what it is. He doesn't have his units uh, prepared. Uh, God of the Sea also has, chose, has been chosen by Spain in in his empire as a pantheon we do have him putting down more harbors and i do see him uh, choosing to go for his aqueducts here uh, that also means he didn't go com oh my god he went commercials into harbors okay that that's slow that is very slow anyway we do have him uh, we, we do have uh, also georgia finishing up uh, more theater squares and it looks like he's gonna try to go for a very quick culture victory or as quick as possible culture victory and while uh, france is gonna be the tip of the spear here i don't really see uh, egypt going against uh, his next door neighbor against georgia anytime soon he's uh, probably still gonna focus uh, full on uh, to france and finally we do have the hetaris uh, starting to come out from the city of i guy with the possibility to take out the encampment very very quickly in the city of Neo, it is too late there is a horse in there and the damage that these Hataris will take on the turn will be quite massive uh, to take that city down he would probably need to sacrifice around five Hataris it's still probably worth don't get me wrong Hataris are expendable units you can just get a lot a lot of them just to make a train of them and just send them towards your opponents every time you build them you get some extra science it is what it is right Apprenticeship in two turns. I do see builders coming around. He still didn't finish uh, Temple of Artemis, but he did manage to get to crossbow technology, allowing him to do more damage against the French units. And 
Uh, is he gonna try to go massive? Yes, I think so. I think so. That that is kind of look uh, what his empire setup is looking like. Massive next free inquiry. Uh, not while building, while killing units. The profit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Not while building. Not, not sure what you're asking me. Uh, Egypt is still not okay. Those satellites are probably to take armor. Okay, time to throw, but not uh, for time to throw. Yeah. Uh, yes, and he should be. All of the rough riders fought in the Spanish American War, didn't they? Uh, die in the near future. Macedon is trying to just poke France and not committing the war. If he can do it, should work well. Well, yeah. Let's see. Because it looks like he gives more time to France. And because he gives more time to France, France is scaling and able to defend himself. And this is usually the issue if you hesitate and it looks like uh, he hesitated so much that france is taking out his uh, units here that is quite unfortunate Macedon did manage to get another general but that's timor that's not uh, one of the correct units he's gonna get also apprenticeship next turn and he needs stirrups for the knights for the extra unit technology Looks like Athena is holding my phone. Anyway, a uh, great bath coming out from Rana. Uh, he is uh, starting to get his uh, industrial zones. And yes, I do see that Rome is getting uh, knights right, heavy chariots right in front of his face. With also Governor Victor establishing in that city of Putoli. Trying to get more defense and maybe even some promotions. Uh, we do have uh, to see how quickly Washington and how many units Washington can get out here. Now, he does have a bit of a problem with the population in his city centers. And uh, we do need to see how many of these uh, cities he did actually wait. So, for example, in Charleston, he shouldn't be able to get an industrial zone until he hits seven pop right that's quite a long time at least san luis can get an industrial zone new orleans will need fourth pop uh no no he didn't actually make a district he didn't commit to a district in new orleans so probably that's one and he did manage to get the first plus five unit here yeah first plus five unit Armak has been taken down. Gamsu is uh, benefiting from another city. He is starting to actually push through the French units and now he is actually managing to break them, especially with the help of a crossbow. Uh, we do need to see if uh, Ola Ketalamigo is going to stabilize this with castles. He first needs to do a lot more units and he's starting to want the horses out of his cities. Uh, we do have uh, Macedon also getting a few new crossbows and uh, pushing in France with all his might and power here. And we do have uh, multiple archers and the crossbows that can attack into that one single source one even though i kind of believe he's gonna switch it last second here with another one. Oh my god athena stop clicking on my mouse oh my god <laughs> athena hey yes 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 Okay, uh, we do have uh, Magnus establishing in, uh, uh, established in Alexandropoli, allowed him to get a few new um, chops and of course uh, crossbows already are on the way towards the west. Macedon is starting to get through the north as well as uh, trying to see what's going on uh, next to the city of Lyon. Uh, we will have Egypt also need an army because I'm pretty sure um, French units, if they're not going to need to do something against uh, Hetaris on the east, they could just upgrade into courses and try to do some poking at Egypt's uh, territory. Uh, we do need to also take a look how quickly they're going to manage to get their golden ages in seven turns. There's another age start in the medieval era. And uh, we do have uh, Ola Ketalamigo still going dark while Orval is uh, going to get his golden age points already. 66 out of 58. We do have Baptist uh, 37 out of uh, 42. And I do notice uh, we're also going to have Ling Xia on 56, 66. That's uh, 10 points out from actually getting um, the golden age options. He still needs to get quite a few of them here. We got... Uh, the campus is coming from Aquilea. I do notice industrial zones. That's going to be an easy plus six over here next to the city of Rome with Magnus in that city center, allowing him later to uh, get that vertical integration going. Now we do have on him also making uh, 40 science a turn with 56 uh, culture with uh, 125 production. It looks like the production numbers on Golden Ages uh, Seamers uh, look much better than on uh, Lucky Nuke. But uh, thanks to Throw does have the better stats right now. We're going to need to see if he keeps on getting them. And of course, uh, what's going to happen here between Ranash and uh, Rome? This is uh, quite important. With only two knights, uh, Linksia might not actually get uh, the result he wanted against uh, America.
Uh, we do have the first uh, win over here. Maceron does manage to get the title of the item and it looks like, whoa, he killed another unit and he did manage to get the science points going. Uh, and of course, you do see the other Hetari being uh, put down on that tile. Castles in two turns is very, very close for France getting his Corsair and uh, the extra spy ability that he's going to have against France here, against, uh, sorry, Alexander. We do have stirrups coming up from uh, Gabzu and I do see he's getting another encampment training project while he is training more crossbows he's gonna want to upgrade uh, as many of these satellites into knights as possible egypt is getting pretty huge yes yes Yes, uh, didn't Mason already have knights upgrade button on uh, hetari uh, not yet next turn yeah stone wolf also good evening sir oh i do need to uh, check something okay we're fine i think we're fine we are fine yes now uh, who got temple of artemis that's a good question let me see uh not here where was it built wait wasn't it in um here yeah here who got it actually who got it oh it was here built in persia persia is also getting big two four six eight nine cities here he's also getting big trying to build more commercials getting his aqueducts for the extra production and housing in susa i don't notice he does he didn't really set up his empire for production centers like you do see he doesn't have that many of these um, setups like you've seen wait let me actually show you a good setup uh, not this one where was it not here here in lincoln's territory i believe i saw it right no he also doesn't well i guess this one is a big one and i guess this one gets some bonuses but it's not that big okay knights able to go and attack the city of cincinnati before it gets a unit and uh, yes he doesn't have an industrial zone uh, committed there he could try to get one when he hits the fourth population but already the knights are there and able to attack into the city center while uh, some of these swordsmen are actually getting out of uh, the cities on the west they will need to scramble to get into um, the defense of the city of cincinnati which is trying to get an industrial zone in five turns that's a long time uh, we do have uh, this one uh, the as you can see the setup but this is not really ideal either like the aqueduct would have been needed to be here anyway it is what it is this drone do something yeah semi semi did something here he got he got some points he definitely has some some plus seven industrial zone with another plus six industrial zone that's pretty pog in my book okay is gabsu getting knights no Already not yet. More of these Macedonian uh, crossbows are coming onto the field, and he's starting to get uh, right next up and personal with the French series, but a bit too late, unfortunately. We're going to need to see him uh, upgrading these uh, crossbows, uh, promoting these crossbows, and uh, managing to get the extra points of damage against France. While, of course, he's going to get spied on pretty soon here. Now, we do have uh, Catherine de' Medici also needing uh, quite a bit of gold when he's going to get his uh, course, uh, his uh, castle timing. He right now is only making 10 points of gold a turn, while Baptist is on 76, Linksia is also is on 43. Okay, Macedon. 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 Wait, are these actually trying to be defensive units against an attack from France? Oh my god, look, look how quickly France can actually get an attack on Apu. He could just demolish Egypt over here. Well, now we do have two members over 100 production now. Jeru got 118, Ranash got 100. Uh, looks like in the era score points, gaps are going dark. Jeru is uh, going to try to go for a golden age, but he requires 11 more points. Ranash needs 10 more points, while uh, time to throw is uh, <clears throat> 55 out of 63 needs eight more points to get to that golden age another knight appears uh, next to the city of cincinnati i don't believe rome can actually attack uh, into that city center and take it down nor can it put it in siege and uh, yes he's getting his builders out of there uh, he would have needed at least another knight here to put that city under siege he needs to have another one here on the 2-1 so this attack even though it was well meant it looks like it's over before it started <clears throat> he only got a builder a two chest builder and that's about it well unfortunate unfortunate uh spain had a setup spain had a setup let's see yeah yeah there we go this is the perfect setup spain actually has a setup 
You can get uh, two uh, industrial zones between two aqueducts. Yeah, this is the one. The one and only. Uh, I see Gally is coming around. Wait, he didn't actually build boats before? Wow. Okay. Uh, what is happening in the city states? Who's keeping what? Fez is being kept by Gabzu. We do have Fez actually being kept by Macedon. Whoa. Uh, wait, where is Fez? Fez is here. Why is Fez not dying to Persia? Oh, uh oh. Well, I guess we're going to need to see if Persia is going to start investing. That city center already has walls and has a lot of spear of a lot of swordsmen. I mean, to be honest, this is kind of a perfect levy option here against uh, Persia. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you get many times upgrading to Persia's territory. But anyway, now we do need to see the gold per turn here because that's going to be massively important. There's a lot more gold in the bank for uh, Golden Age. While we do have some in Lucky Nuke, it looks like they're spending as much as they're getting. Yeah, we do need to see if they're going to manage to upgrade what they need here. And of course, a lot of uh, hard builds are going to happen. We already have some heavy chariots coming out from uh, heavy chariots, some uh, Mariano chariot archers from uh, Thieves. And uh, we do have some uh, horses also from Racket Dead with uh, more builders coming out from Iwuno. Massive that he is managing to get an extra, um, uh, how to say, an extra charge on each of these builders. This is helping him improve much, much cheaper everything. Okay, kind of giving up on these tiles though. Pillaging the iron, pillaging the bananas did uh, do a hit against France, but it doesn't look like he's uh, managing to outpace France here. Uh, it is what it is. We got knights coming out from Alexandropoli and Methone. Uh, these, of course, are going to be stronger. Some of them are already on the way towards the French cities. And I do see they can actually trade into the Corsair quite nicely. But this is before the extra diplo visibility from the spy. Macedon really needs to click on... Um, his own printing to get those uh, extra plus three points and i do see uh, gabzu is not spending any more time going into the units of his opponent and uh, doing as much damage as possible uh getting that science for his uh, empire well we do have uh, france with the uh, option to retaliate here that hetari was um i would say uh, sacrificial unit oh wait what wait Oh, oh, I see, I see. He chose to upgrade units and not uh, attack into units. Okay, because these, these knights do not, or should not actually take Cincinnati. Is, is this actually going to happen? Is this actually going to happen? Because he could hit that city. And he, oh my god, Cincinnati might die. And I gotta say, we need to finish the previous prediction. Please put up a game prediction. Okay, okay. Yes, I will. I will. Let's. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I did something bad. Sorry. Uh, disable. I, I'm sorry. I clicked the wrong button. Uh, okay. No. <clears throat> Looks like. Uh, yeah. Twenty thousand points. Twenty thousand points. We got some high dollars there. Let's go. Uh, let's go for also who will win. <clears throat> we do have on the left side the uh, Golden Age, and on the right side we do have uh, Lucky Nuke. Uh, 10 minute submission period let's go i do need to put it up on youtube as well so give me just a second here so i can do both setups uh put up a q a put up a poll actually not a q a who will win golden age oh my god cincinnati is dead mm. oh my god that city is dead gone deleted from the game i can't believe they actually pushed through this city should not have died i cannot believe the knights were allowed to do it like you've seen the damage counters these units definitely would have done the damage against the knights but that city is gone dead yeah not gonna be back f big f yes okay now let me finish this on uh youtube lucky nuke yeah start the poll so there you go Welcome back, Athena. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Yes. No, oh, she just wants to uh, stay here. Have me have us in the vision, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, Cincinnati looks like uh, it's going to be taken last second over here, or at least a little bit before, so he can actually raise the city. He's probably worried that the man at arms and the horse is going to attack, but to be honest, they do not have enough movement to do that. He might as well just uh, take the city right now and um, delete it, raise it to the ground, not to mention uh, set up the shift enter so he can get those units out of there. Table. 
massive attack from France into Egypt and it doesn't seem like Egypt is ready for this at all. We do have uh, Egypt with uh, castles coming up next turn and he's gonna get his own uh, horses into Corsairs. He is uh, gonna need to hard build quite a few of them. Uh, thank you so much for the follow also. Yes. Yasushinu, good evening sir, welcome, welcome. It's dead but it costs three knights, look at the unit count difference, maybe America can push to for Puteoli after. Yes, I think so, I think so. Uh, let's see the production here, oh, Linksia going for settlers, I see. Well, that's uh, not gonna allow him to get reinforcements in Puteoli anytime soon, and with men at arms already upgraded and 60 strength men at arms, that's uh, gonna be quite nice. Where is his general? And oh, he never went for a general? America? America! Well, he never went for a general. Yes? Okay, there we go. City got raised. That's the first victim in the game. And we do have him going behind enemy lines here in the city of Charleston to get the pillage on the commercial. He keeps on doing damage against uh, Ranash. Did we have any more movement here? Masson getting the knights in. And it does look like all of the French units uh, did go towards uh, Egypt. And now, of course, he's going to need to fend off Corsairs here uh, from Egypt. Uh, definitely, France has the upper hand here with more damage on his own units because of uh, the general. And I don't think they have enough gold, do they? They do, but it's on Ranash. Time to throw doesn't have enough gold. Well, anyway, he's gonna get the ancient walls next turn and uh, in two turns and by the looks of it um, He should be able to withstand a few more attacks here. Can this one go here? No, he needs to upgrade He needs to upgrade if he doesn't upgrade He's not only gonna lose these units, but also gonna lose the positioning and uh, will not able to stop the pillaging That's gonna happen from uh, the courses well, that came at the sacrifice, though. Macedon is managing to push towards the city of Paris, and even though uh, ancient walls are going to go up in one, of course, he's bringing catapults on the way uh, with uh, more knights uh, coming in. This is going to be a danger for Persia also. It doesn't look like France is managing to get new units out, and this is actually quite surprising. I would have expected him, uh, especially in the face of all of this Macedonian army, to start building more units. Uh, well, we do see him with a decent amount of courtsards here, which are taking damage every turn from multiple crossbows while the Knights of Macedon are pushing directly into the borders of the city of Paris. He's uh, quite confident the walls are gonna hold for a decent amount of time, but I guess he didn't see the catapults yet. Okay, pillage, pillage, okay. I see one single knight got taken, by the way, the other one is still alive and kicking. I don't know how they didn't take this one down, but it, it, they didn't, they didn't. So, yeah. Links here will need to uh, pillage the commercial and, get, uh, and then run off. Go somewhere else. He could take a builder, for example, from the southeast of Los Angeles. Kick. Okay, more knights coming in from Rome. He's getting his intelligence agency. We do have one more turn until the next Congress, until the next uh, era. Dark Age for France, uh, Golden Age Orval, Baptiste, uh, Golden Age, Golden Age on Linksia. Not a Golden Age, not a Dark Age either for Gabzu. And we got him on a normal. Gerud did get his Golden. Looks like also Ranash and uh, Time to Throw did manage to get their Golden Ages. Hey. Anyway. Okay, so more uh, experience from these Macedonian crossbows against the uh, defensive uh, units, uh, the defensive structures of uh, France. While I do see uh, France, uh, yeah, we'll get to push. Egypt didn't get his money. Where is Egyptian money? Where the money at, bro? He needs to upgrade uh, as soon as possible these units in a line. And but this will stop. And by the looks of it, there's only. The only one tile that this Mariano Cherat actually is on, it will be need to be replaced by a Corsair here soon. Oh my god, Apu got taken down! Wait, he didn't, he never improved the horse, right? He never got it to a Corsair strength? Oh, kick W, man. It is what it is. Another victim. One less city for Lucky Nuke to use against their opponents. 
while uh, they're getting finished by Linksia, we're gonna need to see what Baptiste and Orval are gonna do. Of course, Orval going for a quick culture victory. He's on 63 science and 121 culture. Uh, we do have uh, pen bashing boys from him, Classical Republic, a second pen bash from him in the Classical Republic. And uh, by the looks of it, he's uh, starting to make uh, only 34 tourism per 10 with 88 faith. Catherine de Medici did go for uh, Dark Age Drafts of War. Baptiste freeing Curry Golden Age. He's on uh, 92 science with 49 culture. Culture. not that big but i guess well it is what it is now we do have links here also with 90 and 41 on a pen bash and voice gold and it's definitely a lot more science than his uh neighbor there we're going to need to see him uh, putting up a defense input early and uh, try to hang on to dear life uh, from being attacked by these american units and we do have also Gabzu with 35 uh, science points and 25 culture points. I do see him on 97 production and pushing into Paris so strongly. We do need to see if he's going to manage to keep on pushing uh, after the cities of France are going to go down and uh, meet the Persian uh, army on the battlefield. Uh, we do have Jeru also with 95 science and 33 culture. And we're also going to have a pause in two minutes uh, for two minutes uh, during the World Congress. I'm going to leave you here with... Uh, in the very capable hands of uh, Athena, or I should say, in the paws of Athena, of Athena. Be careful. Give her cookies. She's gonna be fine. Two minutes, and we're coming back. What did you do? Okay. I guess uh, she was fine, right? She she behaved. I hope she behaved. Uh, Fortuna Rip, uh, hello there, sir. And welcome, it's dead, but it costs 3 now. Okay, that's a smart move by Rome. Go behind to force America units to go back and prevent an attack. Yes, yes. Okay, so Paris is getting hit by catapults, and it does look like Massena is starting to acquire more tiles. They're even pushing from the south to east. We do have uh, the first city uh, taken out from uh, Egypt, and Egypt looks like he's going down under here with uh, the courses able to take Thebes uh, quite quickly. We do need to see if um, you know, France is going to choose Akhetatan or Thebes. Uh, it's going to be quite hard for him to go against Rakhetet, but that's not impossible either. Uh, there is a Corsair that's coming out there, but too late in two turns, unfortunately. Uh, we do have uh, also, to take a look here, more knights and catapults coming around from uh, the Macedonian cities. While in the World Congress, we did have Mercury granting no amenities, Monarchy gaining a wildcard policy slot, and Philip II getting uh, two Diplo points. Uh, looks like Nader Shah also. Let me actually take a look here. Nine cities, 44 Zed population. Linksia Singh cities, 45 population. And uh, Zuver Lessig, uh, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. And wait, a Golden Age Easy Dub. dub, dub. Uh, let's see. Well, Golden Age over here did some, uh, some moves. 
a lot of gold pattern from uh, Jeru and Baptiste. Both of them are actually uh, relatively close in uh, science and uh, exactly on the same amount of uh, production out of their empires, 163. While we do have 156 on Ling Xia, he did manage to jump up over 100 science and he has more, a lot more uh, culture than uh, Ranash here. We do need to see if uh, he's gonna manage to get a good defensive force against an American counter-attack, which I'm pretty sure is gonna come out at uh, musket timing. I don't think America should push before that, but to be honest, right now, Ranash, I'm not sure what he is up to. He's getting a few of these pikemen and mixing them up with men at arms, which I'm not sure if the, it is uh, the correct thing to do here. I would have imagined a more concentrated force and not a defensive. This looks like more of defensive force than an attacking force to me. The positioning of the units and also the lack of a general here uh, does uh, give me that readout. Even though his units are majorly overpowering his opponent, Ling Xia. Not to mention, I think even his production capabilities should uh, be on point there. Oh no, he's actually quite low. 119. Wait, how am I desyncing? What? randomly desyncing in the game wow did everybody desync was this one of those turns everybody started desyncing because of something you know what i didn't get right i didn't get my coffee Whoa. well it's good guys with uh it just takes us 15 seconds to desync it's fine i can only imagine how fast this game would be if they would actually make a multi-core support for it. That is unbelievable. No, I don't think the players would handle it. The game would handle it, but I don't think the players would handle it too fast. Way too fast. Okay, Knight still getting some uh, pillages. Another mine is uh, gonna get down. And it looks like uh, those Knights paid for themselves. At least uh, 200 gold got acquired here. You know, not to mention a city center. Now we do have uh, Paris also slowly taken down, the catapults are doing the damage and uh, they're gonna need a promotion here because they're very close to dying, if not even dying here. Is this archer? Yeah, this archer could take down the catapult. It does have the movement, but he's not taking it. He doesn't want uh, to take the risk of another catapult taking its place to hit the city of um, Paris. Or a crossbow though, for that matter. Both of them could do damage. Slowly but surely the city is going down. It's just a matter of um, taking down the walls and allowing these uh, knights to start doing the full damage and not to mention uh, he is uh, starting to wrap around it from the south uh, able to do the damage against that level 2 archer which is uh, such a valuable crossbow by the way he needs to put that in the city and protect the city center uh, if he does manage to get the level 2 upgraded that uh, might actually help him uh, change the tide of war here well one unit might not change it though it's still it is what it is it's very strong unit uh, crossbow level 2 Let's see what promotions he got. Uh, Garrison for the plus 10 and Volley. This has a plus 15 on it. If he, if he is shooting from a city center or a defensible uh, district. Or a district actually for that matter. If he would have been on districts, he would have uh, been able to do the damage. Okay, another city goes down. Unbelievable that Olake Talamigo is managing to get two cities from his opponent. While he is sacrificing his uh, queen over here in the city of Paris. We do have him uh, pillaging as many times as possible from Egypt, doing that uh, damage against the uh, Empire of uh, Cleopatra, slowing him down for the next part of the game. And um, Ola Ketal is asking for a countdown. There we go. Zero. Minus one. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> you know, I, it is what it is. You know, it is what it, they said. Uh, hey, nobody said zero is the end of the line. You know, nobody said zero is the end of the line. They need to be specific. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 
Okay, let, let's actually see what's going on here in Palace because this is uh, quite important. Looks like Macedon is managing to get those units right behind the defense of Paris and uh, crossing that river forward with uh, more units is going to allow him to attack the city center from uh, multiple sides and put it under siege. Uh, we do have France actually managing to get, I don't know how he was left uh, let, uh, let to do this. He upgraded his uh, level 2 crossbow, which uh, I got to point out we do have uh, oh four wow four racings i didn't notice there were so many racings anyway now uh, we do have uh, the crossbows here already doing 55 damage and not in um in um city center they would be on 65 damage guys that's a 65 damage crossbow against a unit that is why i'm saying it might actually turn the tide of war because th this city is getting to incredible uh damage uh does france have an escape settler yeah the capital of egypt he's gonna he already took two cities from egypt and the battle of it he uh, is uh, going for the capital now but that capital did manage to get the walls he's gonna go and pillage the, as many farms as possible doing more damage to cleopatra already cleopatra actually uh, shaved off like half of his stats here he's on 69 science and only 38 culture in a free inquiry golden age 132 production good thing is he still has a temenanki of course in his capital uh, and the sister hall to pump out a few new settlers but this was critical damage i would say that was done to uh, time to throw Uh, he has walls, yeah. He has walls, not units. He has walls. Uh, they're talking about the uh, uh, relobby next turn, not this turn. And uh... we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, Gabs was making a bit of a pun, and I'm not sure what he's uh, saying here. Do we want this, uh, the moves uh, on the turn? It's hot. Lol. Okay. Also, where does where is the Spy of France? Oh, no? Oh, Spy of France is in uh, Necken. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, Egypt just cannot attack into the French units. When is his uh, printing done? In two turns. When is... Uh, oh, never. Oh, now I get amigo. It's one turn divine, right? Okay, walls are gonna be uh, quite heavily damaged here by the catapult. It looks like Paris uh, did manage to get the Corsair um, upgraded there in the capital city, getting a bit more defense. It would have been so nice to have a heavy unit there from the beginning. Uh, the word is the word from not not uh, wait 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 not hot but kind of difficult oh the word is the word for hot but that, in that sentence it means difficult oh really really hot and difficult are uh, okay interesting in some cases are interchangeable interesting and the word short yes 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 I I gathered as much yes uh, also scribbles good evening sir. Let's see them uh, putting up the re-lobby. Oh, they did? So fast? No, I think this was the previous lobby. Wait, can I... What? Let me actually get the lobby of my own here. Refresh the things, the files, the everything. Okay, this is weird. Error joining? What? I think I'll restart the game altogether if uh, this doesn't work. Yeah, I'll restart the game. Maybe there was a ninja update or something. Downloads. No. Okay, let me restart Steam. It should only take a second. Okay. 
well, a few seconds. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, I didn't get any update on Steam, but to be honest, uh, sometimes it could happen uh, faster than I could see it. Okay. Okay, it's worked. Fixed it. Well, at least I hope so. Yeah, connecting to players. There we go. Hey, good morning, Alex Fire. How are you doing, sir? We have a hell of a game here, I gotta say. A hell of a game. Macedon getting big. While France is getting attacked, he's also taking cities and pillaging his other neighbor. On the other side, of Rome is fighting America. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Simmers, uh, Nedersha and uh, Spain are getting bigger. We're going to need to see how they're going to come in and clean up. Oh, there are, there are all zero MSRs. What is this? What? Oh my god, this is a very weird lobby. Did the lobby just get uh, effed? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not only me. I'm going to create another game and try it. getting in or no Well, let's see. Let uh, let's let it uh, run for a while. I don't want to stop the process because otherwise I'm gonna need to restart the game again. Hmm. It might be faster to restart the game again. Huh. Okay. I'm running out of patience. Wait, so I need to uh, let it run, connect into place. Okay. Woo! Okay. Wait. Okay, they're disconnecting. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe it's better that everybody uh, purged the previous settings and uh, we're going on the save from... Uh, only the host maybe that uh, issue with the desync is fine
Oh, I can't believe uh, Tina is actually sleeping. Whoa. So early. Uh, to be honest, she did play uh, all day with uh, the big one. So they, they ran around over here quite a bit. Uh, who is winning so far? That is a very interesting question. I would say Golden Age is ahead, uh, but there are a few options that uh, could be played out by Lucky Nuke to try to get back in this. But unfortunately, I have um, I have to point out time to throw because he is losing a lot of his um, stats over there. He's going to have a hard time coming back into this uh, and not a lot of production to work with. 131, he dropped down to 131, losing two series here, especially his uh, third series on the e side that was critical for his uh, empire health we do need to see how he's gonna try to get back good thing is he does have some advantages first of all uh, that is Bede Menanki keeping up his capital great uh, pyramids to get uh, more of these builder charges and of course Liang in that capital for more builder charges uh, he's not gonna need to spend that much but unfortunately probably these tiles for the fines will get pillaged here uh, dropping down significantly <laughs> not to mention he is gonna get um, to give a lot of health back to France with this yeah, we do have uh, Paris about to be uh, smashed here. I do see Macedonian knights are uh, crossing the river towards the city of Lyon. And uh, it does uh, look like he's going for the heavy chariot pre-builds in the back line. Uh, he wants to take out those units before they turn into knights of their own. Uh, while we do have Macedon still uh, needing to do the damage, he's prioritizing the units over uh, everything else. And of course, trying to get stronger units on the front line. New knights are pouring through with new crossbows and new uh, siege units, the catapults. He's gonna need to get one into the forest. I'm actually quite surprised he didn't get one into the into this one tree before. This would have uh, had a lot more defense than this tile on the item tile. Uh, I'm not saying not use the item tile. I'm just saying why didn't he use both or uh, prioritize the one tree over that? It is what it is. Min maxing. Uh, okay, put early put down an encampment. I do see uh, he still didn't get counterattack here by America, even though, uh, well, right now the damage counters uh, have changed a little bit. America doesn't have that much more damage against Rome anymore. Uh, we do have also Ignacio's own logistics coming out from uh, Rome. He is eyeballing Isodor of Miletus for a great engineer, and uh, that's only going to be 60 points. That's kind of cheap for the bonuses he's getting. Yeah, Spain on the west side is uh, pulling down as many of these campuses as he possibly can and he is already on 141 science with 40 culture only uh, getting the city parks also for the extra um, uh, science and culture and the amenities in his city centers we do have him uh, adding a few more trade draws to his empire and uh, starting to put Liang in the city of Valladolid uh, he did get his setup going with uh, industrial zones over here between Seville and Toledo. Pretty good ones. We got a plus 7 here and a plus uh, 6 over there with uh, already 270 production. Well, we're going to need to see if he's going to manage to outsim his uh, opponent here or direct counterpart uh, Persia. Well, we do have uh, Persia at the moment, uh, only 130 science with 64 culture, but he does have more production than Jeru on 191 and uh, 159 gold per turn. Okay, looks like uh, the great burning of the farms have started in the borders of Rakedet. And while uh, France is trying to pillage as many of these tiles as possible, Egypt is building one unit at a time to try to fend off attacks. With a plus six intel on opponent's movements, the Corsairs are very, very, very strong. Uh, Egypt uh, just doesn't have the opportunity to attack into the Corsairs properly with uh, those units. Uh, he won't say golden age is ahead, but that's because he refuses to accept it. Wait, I did say. What do you mean? Alex 2005. I said it. I admitted it. What do you mean? But there is a there are chances for Lucky Nuke to still get back. And I think it all depends, first of all, on how fast Egypt can uh, recover. <clears throat> because uh, otherwise, well, there are three civilizations pumping from uh, golden age and only two from uh, Lucky Nuke. I wouldn't really say Masson is going to be pumping, but he is definitely going to put a lot of pressure on Persia next after um, France is going to die. Persia is trying to full seam grid this out uh, towards the cuirassier timing and uh, try to get a, a strong unit that will fend off any attack from Masseron. And while to be honest it does seem like uh, Macedon has uh, quite a few chances over here to overwhelm France in his series, uh, pick them off, but uh, he didn't want to trade his units.
Oh my god, this this crossbow, this one crossbow, man. This one crossbow is unbelievable. Getting the timer going. Not enough minerals. Oh my god, let Prof. I need to actually shout those out because uh, I don't think I linked them anymore. I need to link them. I'm so sorry. I need to link that uh, plugin. Since I uh, had a new installation of Windows, I didn't get to link those. Okay, so Egypt trying to uh, stop over here the movement of these French units and I do see him uh, putting one of his uh, courses on the front line. Well, he did manage to take down one of the courses of his opponent, especially since he didn't have general bonus. And I do see Ola Ketaramigo is retreating. He will lose the city of Paris uh, and by the looks of it, um, alongside with that level 2 crossbow, we do have him uh, next turn losing the city center while also he's going to lose the encampment. He's going to flip to uh, Massanon and uh yeah the, even the archer inside is gonna get, just get deleted now we do have uh, macedon also um getting a few more victims here next to the governor plaza and the campus of his opponent while uh, he did manage to recruit a few new generals he has excelled uh, timur and uh, hannibal varka he did uh, keep on building his courses and in the total time he does have a decent amount of science with culture acquired throughout the game not that bad for uh, only 38 science and 25 culture a turn you know, while i do see um, america is gonna manage to get the uh, new industrial zones here he is gonna also manage to get new settlers trying to put the cities um and recover he's only in a two four six cities at the moment definitely wants another two while i do see rome is doing the same thing here he's going to be on two four six eight eight cities only eight cities on rome that's not that big to be honest he has so much territory to the west blocked by the mountains I guess uh, nobody on the other team has that many cities anyway. And uh, Persia here is going to be the simmer, main simmer with uh, 9 cities and 54 population. He's doing quite right. Uh, Jeru will need one more city there to match up that uh, city count. But I do see the population is equal, bit almost equal actually between Papist and uh, Jeru, 54 and uh, 55. Uh, campuses, more campuses coming up from Spain. Give me a second. I do need to get something really quickly. Good. Uh, he could move the crossbow out. He could. He could move the crossbow out, but he, he didn't. He's actually going to lose it there. Unfortunate. He could actually move it to the south or something. Okay, doing more damage. These are the last seconds. Wait, was that an infinite turn as well? Well... Uh, definitely France is not going out without a fight and he did move out the crossbow from inside of the city center giving these Macedonian units another target I do notice uh, the moment uh, these knights from Macedon are now moving and we do have the the full retreat of the French units uh, coming back to the territory followed by these Egyptian units uh, doing the damage against them <clears throat> we do need to see if Egypt is gonna switch right now to getting his uh, units uh, his cities back or he's gonna try to keep on pushing against France we do have France with another spy Antoine is arriving in the city of uh, Rouen and he could deploy towards Macedon. Now we don't need to see when he's going to plug that in. Unfortunately, he chose uh, to attack Cleopatra, did a major damage against Cleopatra, but at the same time gave up on his uh, capital defense, or I should say underestimated uh, Macedon's resolve here. Uh, France is now dealing with a very angry Egypt. Yes, uh, he could move the crossbow, but yeah well he did he did it's fine and uh, let's see is all like tal amigo we're gonna get a nice next turn are those gonna be strong enough to withstand Macedon? probably not we need a lot more units from Macedon to keep on pushing though and i do see oh france did actually plug in a spy in uh, eye guy never mind never mind i'm wrong about this he probably moved on from neken at some point i'm not sure when but he moved on from neken Uh, 
uh, I, I always wondered is the science this total science number with the um, extra science that Mastodon gets from building the unit and uh, acquiring the science from killing units I don't know if that's uh, going on does anybody know here do we have any mother that uh, can answer that question is Poesia going to give uh, France uh, some uh, help I hope he will because right now he's not moving an inch he's not moving a single muscle to get the unit out on the east side this actually concerns me as well because uh, Macedon is just going to keep on u making units. This is basically the Macedon way, right? You don't stop. You keep building. You keep doing them. Yeah, look at it next turn and we can see. Uh, uh, look at what? Oh, uh, in the total tab, 853. No, I don't think it's getting it. No, it's it's not getting those numbers. So Gabzu should be way ahead of his opponent right now. It's only getting the passives and uh, the yeah the passive signs. Where is he in uh, text? He's twenty one text while Oriketal Amigo is nineteen text. Yeah, he's ahead. He's ahead of his opponent. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got it. I had a, a little bit of a brain fart there. It is what it is. Anyway, it looks like uh, the majority of those uh, courses did manage to make it back to the city of Lyon, and they're putting up a wall of units against Macedon's attack here. And while uh, we do need to see him getting a few more crossbows, we're going to need to watch what Egypt is going to do. Still building up the, his Corsair count and trying to go for calves here. He's going to try to finish this with the calf technology. And to be honest, he could actually just go towards Tushpa instead of going towards France, where already France is kind of dead to Macedon. Uh, we do have uh, also to the southwest uh, to see Rome, what Rome is doing. He's just defending his of Putoli, trying to get some extra experience points on these crossbows and uh, managing to acquire Isodor of Miletus in the city of Ostia. He's putting down the bands to get uh, the extra GCC towards industrial zones. That's a 10 pop city without an industrial zone. Well, okay. Well, I guess he didn't lock the production in. It is what it is. We do have uh, universities here. He's gonna get also his diamonds. I do see a uh, two uh, two turn spy in Antium, and uh, quite a few new builders coming out from his Sulky territory. Boy 69 has joined the round table. Sulky boy 69. Hello there, sir, and thank you so much for the follow. Uh, looking at the west, we do have uh, these campuses finishing up on Spain. He's going to jump up uh, quite nicely in the science. He's actually leading in the science department for some time, but he's not putting up uh, the defense against the culture. And Tamar is managing to acquire more tourism points, not to mention has a lot of culture to discover those later on uh, uh, civics. We do have uh, way too many points acquired by Georgia here. 12 great writer points a turn with uh, 8 great artist points and 4 great musician points. Georgia is uh, swimming in those uh, books. Uh, we got uh, Egypt also getting, getting, getting those units on the front line. Still keeps moving against uh, France here, but you do see he doesn't really do the damage against these Corsairs. Uh, we do need to see a lot more units from Macedon if he wants to keep on pushing into France, especially with this semi-circle of uh, area over here. They need to nibble off the edges and take out those units. Now we do have uh, multiple units following up from Macedon. He's finally getting the intelligence agency in three turns, and that will give him the option to get a spy a free spy into the cities of his uh, opponent you see uh, Athena is watching at the game and uh, just uh, yawning over here what are these uh, just Macedonian units where are the Corsair where are, where are the cuirassiers the calves the tanks the everything yes yes Athena that's that's it yes we're helicopters oh man if, if they would have let me in the game helicopters were my specialty yeah, it is what it is. What can I say? She likes helicopters. It is what it is. We do have uh, universities coming up from Rome, and yes, uh, he's going to need a, quite a bit more science. He's only on 128 right now with 89. I do see him uh, keeping up his advantage against Ranash, which is his direct opponent, and not to mention in the production capabilities of his empire, he significantly has more production, 210 versus 164. 
Yeah, while Orval, Orval is on 102 faith, he also has 158 production in his empire on 2, 4, 6, 7 series at the moment. Uh, did manage to get Stonehenge and his uh, religion is Jesuit education with papal primacy and crusade. Wait, who is he gonna crusade? Is, is he gonna actually crusade Egypt? Because he's already crusading Egypt. Look at Aketaten. Is he already crusaded that city center. Can he get some more? Oh, they're slowly converting. But he's not moving a muscle here. It's actually Egypt putting a little bit of pressure on him with a knight. Might even get a drop on that campus and pillage it. Okay, Lyon is going to get the walls next turn. And that encampment is very, very surprising that nobody actually attacked into it. We do have uh, France getting the Corsair attack against the city of Aigai. And uh, he knows that uh, there are quite a few pillages that can be done there. Not only that, but also there are no defenses. Now we do have uh, France, 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 managing to save one of his units and uh, getting the walls in his other cities. The uh, city of Lyon did get hit a few times, but not enough damage was done to the walls to uh, to get them down. The trebuchet will need to get their attack, uh, hit its attack run soon. <clears throat> he can't raise capitals. Yes, he can't raise capitals. No. Yeah, yeah. Now why is Macedon raising the cities of, instead of uh, taking them? Oh, well, he didn't really raise the city. Yeah, okay, follow-up question. Uh, okay, Nader Shah getting Colosseum in the two turns in the city of Susa. Nobody contest contesting that Colosseum. There could have been uh, maybe a contest here on Spain, but it doesn't look like he chose to go for an entertainment complex. But I gotta say, I'm uh, a bit worried about his happiness level. He cannot get the plus three going, and uh, that is going to be a problem later on. While I'm pretty sure uh, already we do have plus three over here from Nader Shah, and he's going to get the um, ecstatic bonus. We do have uh, Baptiste Rhino, 165 signs with 91 culture, 230. 33 points of production while uh, i'm pretty sure he's gonna uh, get a lot more science you can see how many of these campuses are coming out of his empire he's uh, gonna quickly go for uh, the libraries in them and uh, get them bigger get that number bigger while jeru i think he's getting to the limit right he already built quite a few campuses one two three he got the universities in them as well these one need two more universities three more universities that's it. He, he can only build three more universities and that's it. Four, four more. Four more universities. He already got the campus as well. In, uh, look how many districts are coming out. This is a plus two. Uh, Tushpa is a plus one. No, plus two. <clears throat> and another one over here, a plus two. And he's going to get, of course, uh, the libraries in them and everything else. Uh, Fez is still being kept by Gabzu? Is it? No, it's Orval now. Okay, so uh, it looks like Tamar did manage to get it. That's pretty important for uh, Tamar. Actually, for the whole Golden Age team, they're going to have uh, that science boost from the city center. It's from the city state. Uh, trebuchets. Wait, did the trebuchet die? I think it died before it attacked. Whoa, that is a massive win over here for France. But France is starting to run out of units much quicker than he can uh, get them back. Uh, I do see also he did manage to take out the city of Macedon to the south of Methon. The, the one city that could have done the damage against Leo but chose not to. Uh, we do have uh, counterattack from the knights. Uh, but unfortunately that's also going to be a trade between uh, crossbow and a knight. And I do see Oleg Ketala Amigo is uh, down to only 6 units while he has uh, 2 armies worth of... Um, units next to his borders uh, Rome getting his encampments down I do notice America is preparing a massive uh, unit wall okay why is he defending like the why what is he defending is he defending his empire is he defending his uh, ally here Spain is he defending against because he's defending well I guess it is gonna try to defend Spain here he's not pushing at all and this is going to hurt quite a bit uh, later on in the game. I Even if I do want to say, okay, Jeru might actually get um, uh, something like a victory condition. His options are kind of limited over here unless he actually wants to spam helicopters, go for, um, uh, how to say, spaceport and try to go to space or um, yeah, go for GDRs. I guess those are probably his uh, only options, uh, his only three options that he has right now. Jeru over here might not get to space 
as quickly as the culture victory on Orval is gonna happen. Like, look at Orval's scale. He's um, 119 science with 174 culture. He's um, getting so many of these books right now, and uh, he also spent time to get uh, more adjacency towards those um, theater squares. Not to mention, he has the faith generation for the later on uh, spamming of, um, how to say, uh, rock bands, and uh, he's not gonna be pressured by anybody. Uh, he's still safe. Uh, Egypt is definitely not gonna get at him, like with uh, only 74 and the 20, uh, like 41. Not to mention he doesn't have an economy anymore. That's not gonna happen. Uh, Jeru is the only one actually making some gold points on uh, Lucky Nuke. Are the are there Tamar units north of Spain? North of Spain, uh, three of them, yes. But they're uh, Levy, then they're not really doing anything. They're just sitting around. Okay, more knights coming up from Rome, putting down his encampments. He's getting up for a total warfare against his opponent. He's probably wanting to defend first against America. He's probably both of them are thinking of defense here. I do see uh, Lyon has been put under siege, and yes, we do have the Macedonian units uh, that will do the damage next turn or this turn. I can't see the damage counters, but I would imagine it's not enough to go through the wall defense plus uh, the city center defense. Some trees going around. Macedon uh, is. Gonna need to stomp these units next. <clears throat> then I do see um, he still is training quite a few of them in his uh, empire there. And yeah, well, let's see. Yeah, he doesn't have enough damage. 49 against uh, 39. Okay, what is Egypt doing? Egypt is trying to get an attack going against uh, Georgia, but he kind of gave up his hand when he. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! my god oh my god guys what's missing from here what is missing from here graph is also good evening sir Uh, hello there, Victor. Good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, I should say. I click like a new competition when I uh, tapped in. Now I'm forced to cheer for them before I see the game state. I see uh, your audio and the chat is different from your older VODs uh, from a few weeks ago. Um, takes time, so I'm getting used to it. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to need to uh, take... <clears throat> no, there's no GMC here. There's no GMC here. Bex, bom dia, senior. Hello. But yes, there's no GMC on Tamar, and because of that, Georgia is not going to have enough production to pump out his units against his opponent. Uh, we will see Cavs coming out soon, and you'll already see the first one upgraded. And the Cavs actually have enough damage to punch through the Kevsurs. This is going to be a problem for Olvar. Uh, the walls, of course, are going to stop the units from actually doing uh, or taking cities, but uh, he can just keep on pillaging. And there are so so many tiles that could give uh, so many gold points to Egypt. Uh, does Spain have a GMC? No, 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 no. He didn't even build his second uh, specializing building of choice. He only has Ancestral Hall. Uh, he's trying to get uh, Forbidden Cities, though. Okay, another city has fallen, the city of Lyon, while we do have only Rouen and Rennes, it does look like uh, France did not manage to get a safety settle, and that is going to be unfortunate. Can we get a safety settle for him? Wait, no. Oh my god, France is going to full die? Oof, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. France full dying is going to be a problem. Can actually Persia get... Uh... Actually, an army? Why? Uh, this is very surprising that Persia is not getting an army, especially since France is just a few turns away from uh, dying. Oh, he's trying to get the safety center from uh, Ruan. He probably wasn't expecting to die as quickly as he did. I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting it. We got uh, Macedon getting to calf technology, and uh, these guys are going to hurt France so much. There's no more um, counterattack from the French units either against the Macedonian uh, calves way too strong is there a general for these yeah no kick he doesn't have a renaissance general this is a medieval renaissance oh oh these are industrial sorry these are industrial the calves and the um, cuirassiers
Yeah, uh, though maybe not, uh, Spain doesn't. No, Spain doesn't have a religion. Actually, the only religion in the game is on uh, Tamar here. Neither Cleopatra got a religion, neither Spain got a religion. I guess it wasn't really mandatory on Spain to get a religion. You can play it without. But it's not like he has anybody to go against right now. Uh, Tamar might be a prime target, but that's later on. Oh wow, the city of Ren is gonna die so quickly. Does not have a builder to chop? No, does he have the tiles to chop? We do have uh, Macedon still needing to uh, do at least uh, two more attacks against that city center to take it down with the calves. Meanwhile, I do see uh, Macedon moving towards the city of Ruins borders and uh, I don't think he actually saw the settler. I don't think he saw the settler, but Kabul is over there in the north uh, being kept by Ola Catal Amigo as a safety uh, a safety net. And we're going and also giving him the bonuses for those upgrades, making those uh, units much, much better. Okay, Ren is, uh, Ren is being taken down. Okay, France lost his uh, last courser that took out that Macedonian city. And I think Mastodon is quite happy with his endeavor here against his opponent. Uh, we also have uh, only a few camps getting upgraded and being sent to the <clears throat> lands of Egypt while Egypt is getting uh, pillaged over here by the Corsairs. Uh, sorry, uh, <clears throat> not Egypt. Uh, Georgia is getting pillaged by the Egyptian knights and Corsairs. We do need to see uh, how much damage he can actually do in how much time. But I, uh, he just found out the secret of uh, Tamar. No GMC. No GMC. What is going on? No GMC on Tamar. He got greedy, wanted to actually keep as many city states as possible, roll those points in of influence, but unfortunately that also takes away from his defensive capabilities. I love uh, Tsajeri position with those lakes. Uh, Tsajeri, 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 Tsajeri. Oh, oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, Persia has started building a few heavy chariots here. Just a few, just just a few. But he's getting ballistics next turn and nationalism. And I gotta say, he does have uh, the gold per ten to uh, up, you know, upgrade them. He has uh, 270 gold per ten. While it does look like he's gonna have strong units over here, I gotta say the calves are gonna be same uh, technology tree than uh, the, uh, the cuirassiers. And I'm pretty sure Macedon is gonna have a lot more of them in a quick enough time. There are no pre-builds here for Filikan. It takes him five turns. Oh, whoa, 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 Tushpa, what are you? doing here uh egypt is like oh tushpa 30 strength oh don't mind if i do can i have a beer in that city center please i'm dying for a coffee <clears throat> is egypt going to uh, persia yes egypt is going to persia and Macedon is going to persia and everybody's going to persia while uh, france is trying to get his uh, safety settle out to the north he only has a few tiles possible to settle here he might actually just settle non fresh water and be done with it but that's still gonna be in the reach of the macedonian units we do have uh, also Macedon sending a galley to the north to discover what's going on there and I do see the first uh, cuirassiers are starting to pop out from Persia. Uh, well, we do have Egypt invading the city of uh, Persia from the south, uh, not being bothered by the encampment in Sajeri. While I do notice um, a few of these heavy chariots from Georgia did come out to play against the Corsairs, doing quite a bit of damage but also taking a lot in return. A uh, lot more knights coming out from Rome. He will want to keep on pushing against America. I would say uh, this is probably and this is impossible to push now. America is just uh, bunkering down and is not going to allow his opponent to push him whatsoever. Uh, we don't really have that much of a uh, technological advantage here from uh, Linksia, and I would even say that uh, he might actually get pushed. No, he's not going to get pushed. These muskets just don't have the damage, man. It's just too late. Too late too late way too late way too late way too late okay is tushpa gonna finish walls next turn or he's gonna die it's either finishing walls next turn or dying there's no other option like maybe he could save that city if he moves this immortal here and uh like denying an extra hit that's not gonna happen is it no, it's not gonna happen. 
Okay, Ren got taken. Rouen is the last city remaining here for France. While he has uh, that safety center moving towards the north, we're gonna need to see if he's gonna manage to put it down. Five more turns until this uh, medieval era is gonna finish. And Dushpa did manage to get the walls. Okay, time to throw. Time to pillage, I would say. Not throwing, pillaging. Everything. Okay, well, Baptiste over here is uh, scrambling to get the defense on uh, ruin for his ally to remain alive and in, in kicking in the game when i do see gabzu is still getting his uh, metal casting in six turns he's gonna require the boost i do notice he's actually putting these units in the front line as quickly as possible and uh, getting uh, closer to the promotion points of these uh, he cannot really push directly into the purchase uh purchase cuirassiers and that is something that he needs to work on i'm pretty sure he will need his own ballistics if he wants to keep on pushing definitely has uh, the crossbows to upgrade wait only one of them remaining oh only one crossbow oh my god he didn't take care of his archers man man those guys you need to take care of them really nice you know with gloves and stuff anyway carefully i would say uh, really carefully we do have uh, campuses coming from Butoli, more science forbidden city in antium in six tens wait wasn't forbidden city being built somewhere else i'm pretty sure it was building yeah here is seven seven turns with emotep whoa that's a long time and i know what i sort of did terracotta he did terracotta okay antium might actually have a chance i don't know we'll see emotep doesn't really put a lot of production into forbidden city unfortunately can he get another one though oh wait he's actually waiting for uh, mausoleum with halicarnassus to finish in five turns to get uh, extra charge on emotep or yeah yeah i don't know about that boy let's see well he's trading same continent here with uh, spain yeah well seville to san luis seville is here yeah same continent keep it Tima. oh i have to this route okay this is what it is okay. Uh, is coming up from Macedon. He's uh, gonna need to actually get uh, some bombards if he's gonna keep on pushing into uh, so high strength uh, cities over here. And I do notice Athena woke up and uh, she was complaining about something. I don't know what. We got uh, Cav managing to get uh, quite a few uh, sneaky pillages here. Uh, he got uh, the builder out from uh, underneath uh, uh, Poesia and by the looks of it, he's also getting into the other tiles. Uh, Georgia even, whoa, even Georgia trying to get in there. Trying to get in there. There's so much happening in Nadershah's territory. He's probably so annoyed of everything happening around him right now. Uh, we do have also to take a look at how Cleopatra is going to try to follow this up. Looks like he's putting heavy chariots towards the northwest and getting a lot more knights going. We do see some calves are coming from the south cities and getting a spy in two turns we don't really have him with that much science but because he did, was in a free inquiry golden age he still managed to get 118 science points Olvar definitely getting bigger and he's getting out of control here with 172 science and 228 culture. He has a 68 gold per 10 with 179 points of production and 118 points of faith. But I gotta say, doesn't look like at the moment he's... Um, shining in production anyway now we do have also american uh, line infantry is coming around these will have enough strength to attack into the knights of uh, rome but those are gonna turn into cuirassiers pretty soon and uh, i guess it's gonna be a matter of gold here we do have uh, baptiste uh, making enough gold for his uh, for himself and i think also for his team and actually looking at this golden age does definitely have an advantage when it comes to the gold per 10 ranash and gabzo are both uh, negative while time to throw is on 32 now uh, i guess uh, the total gold per 10 is around uh, 121 uh, versus uh, their opponents golden age uh, that do have more than uh, 350. oh oh Settler keeps on going. He keeps on going for the silver and for the thingy. Hey, what happened to uh, the Montingi? Oh my god, wasn't. Oh, it is what it is. 
Okay, Egypt, Egypt just getting into the main tiles here. He's getting into the meat of the Empire of Persia, doing as much damage as possible, slowing down his opponent just as he was slowed down by his opponents. It's a circle. Okay. Looks like uh, Egypt, um, I would say France is going to keep on uh, the Bastion of Ruin for a little while longer. We got uh, some line infantry coming out from Macedon, still not strong enough to push into their opponents. He definitely needs uh, a lot more ranged units, not to mention some um, siege units to break Ruin's defenses. Oh, trader line, trader line. We got Egypt going into the trader line. Woo! Look at these traders, man. They're gonna be free pillages, free gold. How did they get in so, so quickly? Wow, they're running everywhere. Oh my. This is like letting loose a lot of rabbits in your house. They just get everywhere. Uh, Spain, is America getting a general anytime soon? That's actually a very good question. Let's see. I would say a big no. He's on two great general points at 10. Wait. <laughs> Guys, is, is he working the card? For uh, 300 points? No, he actually has an encampment. Okay. I, I was uh, like, oh, yeah. That, that, no, I don't know about that, man. But it was still funny to say, I gotta say. Two point, it was still funny to say waiting over there like in that meme you know he grows old he has a stick over there and he was like i've been waiting for the last hundred years to get this general and his units are like yes we can die now <laughs> that's it uh do we have newton picked picked up no no newton Oh, no, no, no Newton, no Newton. Oh, wait, wait another, wait, a religion from Macedon? Siddhartha Gutarma is uh, picked up there. Did he manage to get it? No, he just uh, denied, denied the great prophet. He's just keeping it here. Oh, 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 wait a second. He got pillaged. The holy side got pillaged. I see what's the problem. If they don't do anything for 150 turns, I get a general. Yes. <laughs> you know? yeah 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 okay so i, I guess this is some kind of sort of explanatory what's happening over there there's a lot of boom boom going around against france and we do have egypt uh, to show us how he's gonna tickle persia over here is he actually gonna press on the correct buttons to tickle persia the wrong way i mean he already pillaged uh, quite a few like a commercial zone and another commercial zone he pillaged the market in this one a mine another mine another industrial oh that's the entertainment complex oh actually that's hurting uh, so much he went down in the city of susa from uh, being uh, ecstatic to zero okay at least my is on six let's uh, let's see his yields 168 science 107 culture definitely slowing him down jeru for example did go up to 242 but it's not like they can scale next to him and the uh, tamar is definitely the bigger of them the biggest thou shall be knighted primer trap underscore underscore tupison uh, travel Chupisson, thank you so much for uh, the sub, much appreciated for the prime sir, thank you, thank you, merci beaucoup Okay, what's going on here, diplomatic quarter coming up from Ruan, we do have uh, more damage done to this uh, calf, the lonely calf to the north of Susa While, uh, yeah, it's, it keeps on moving, so it pillages, he found a coal tile next to Hermatana that he only knows about, the, of course, the... Um, I would say the uh, mine uh, while i do see uh, persia still needs to get a few stronger units to defend on his e side he started counter pushing or getting some units uh, to defend the uh, ruin i do notice Macedon started to run out of gold to upgrade his units oh no he just doesn't have the technology that's the problem he went for uh, calves and instead of going for cuirassiers where he does have the major units to upgrade from you know we do have the calves also getting uh, east side north of paris and thus uh, need to uh, wait for the siege units to actually get Get, uh, back on track so he can uh, do the damage against the city centers without uh, that much return um, damage on return i mean we got some units from persia trying to push spain that's not gonna happen the spain line infantry is ready to uh, fend off the attack and he does also have a trebuchet there just uh, you know doing a little bit of scratching forbidden city is gonna finish on the city of seville 
yeah it is antium is a uh, one turn too late on this so there we go we got an extra wildcard policy slot available for spain to use and he's also gonna get the mausoleum at halicarnassus in the city of madrid soon we got field cannons and cuirassier cores coming from rome these should be strong enough if they're insufficiently big enough numbers to uh, take on the american army and we're gonna need to see if america is gonna manage to uh, fend off this uh, attack we do have uh, america on mercantilism that means he's not that far away but not that close either to uh, uh nationalism we still don't have him with a general uh, but i don't think rome got a general either he has ethel fled that's not good that's not good that's not good where is his general rome is only on 93 points and seven points a turn it's very far away from getting one anyway uh, attack has started, Macedon is pushing through, he got an encampment and now moving towards the last bastion of France, which of course is trying to get a safety settler here. He's uh, two turns away from uh, settling and we do need to see if Macedon is going to manage to break that in the next two turns. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. You would have needed uh, a few more trebuchets if you wanted to break it that quickly. And there is a bombard coming up from the city of Paris in uh, three turns, but again, that's a bit too late. What's going on here? Okay, another uh, two calves have been taken down. It looks like they stopped the bleed here in the cities of Persia, but at what cost? Linksy is going to get his industrialization in two turns, while I do see Ranash is going to get in two as well. Gabzo is nine turns away from ballistics, but uh, uh, the more units he's taking out, the more science he's acquiring from taking out those units. And, and of course, uh, closer to ballistics. He's getting closer to ballistics every time. Every time and every time. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's just Macedon being Macedon. Uh, okay, do we have any movement here? Not really. Not really. Nothing's moving. Nobody's moving a muscle. Oh, we got a religion. Eastern Orthodoxy, Zen Meditation, and Eternal Preachers. Okay. It's just gonna try to spread that happiness all around. Mm hmm. Well, Egypt still didn't manage to get the second wave of units. When I do see um, we have a few more units from Georgia. Well, he did manage to push them back until uh, he hit the Egyptian borders. We got the spy coming out from Tsukumi. While I do see uh, field cannons are getting into the build queues. So when it does not benefit from a lot of production there. And not, I don't think it's enough production. But I guess he does have the science. So let's see. Let's see what's, uh, what's up. Ah, lol. <laughs> oh my god, the city. The city in which he has envoys for so long is stopping France from settling where he wanted to settle. And the city of Ruin is getting hit. Oh no. Is that city? That city is still not going to die in uh, enough time. Maybe if he attacks with all of the calves. Like all of the units, just keep on attacking. Try yeah, he's gonna attack with all of the units. He has a chance actually to take that city if he attacks with all of them. A slim chance, but he has a chance. <laughs> uh, wait, he used engineer before getting a free charge. Yes, did he got vision of Persia? Yes, yes. Uh, he probably did get vision. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, since Egypt is running around, uh, the busy also would uh, like to wait until 1080 to get my religion yes <laughs> i mean uh better late than never you know Yeah, he definitely needs to hit that city and hit it now. If he doesn't hit it now, that that other settler is going to settle. Well, I guess it all depends on Kabul, what Kabul wants. If Kabul, the the life of Ola Ketal Amigo is all in the hands of, well, not anymore, actually, in Kabul. But it's not, it's not. France actually levied this city, so he moves away the source one. Kick. Oh, my. Hit it! Hit it! Wait, is it enough damage? It might be enough damage. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, World Congress. Okay, 
two minutes. We gotta pause for two minutes and then uh, we go for the um, next one. Let's go preserves here. Ooh, we got a plus five congress, boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, coming back. Two minutes. Okay, so we gotta see the World Congress, what did they choose, and we gotta see if uh, France is gonna manage to get that safety settle. Now, I'm a bit, um, I would say, uh, concerned that he didn't hit with the last calf here, Macedon didn't get uh, the last hit on Ruan, and that might not give him enough damage. Yeah, the city on Bamboas got uh, settled, and it will be enough damage to take the city, okay, it will be enough damage. Okay, more science, four turns away from ballistics, uh, we do have industrial zone getting 100% production, and I do notice uh, towards that district, of course, and MIDI units losing five combat strength, that also will open up the doorways to Rome, uh, for Rome to actually start to get into the American defense, we do have the Philly cannons actually starting to move first with 73 damage against the 70 defense of America, you can imagine that's a bit too tough uh, for his opponent to handle, we do need to see what uh, his unit, his city are gonna do but it looks like it's gonna be industrial zones while uh, Baptist is struggling to get his um he even factories done oh my god he's gonna be outproduced so hard in the next part he's gonna be outproduced so hard here 135 science while Linksia is on 211 we got 72 culture versus 61 okay they're not that far apart from each other there but it looks like the economy is definitely telling a different story minus 78 gold at 10 on Ranash while Linksia is on 68 we do have um uh, still all like Catalamigo staying alive keeping that military alliance uh, bonus against his opponents and uh, will need to bunker down in the city of Amboas we do need to see if uh, Persia is going to manage to keep up uh, the defense against Macedon since Macedon has only one target in his mind make units destroy opponent make units destroy opponent uh, we do need to see also if Orval is going to manage to get that uh, juicy tourism going only on 89 on 1073 that is not that big even if uh, he did manage to get a lot of these writers he just couldn't acquire the direct tourism from them or enough tourism to actually put uh, that much pressure on his opponent only seven out of 40 at the moment acquired in the empire <clears throat> We do have him on, also on 188 culture turn. Looking at uh, Egypt, he's uh, putting a few more units to the northwest. Lost his free inquiry golden age and now he's down to less than 100 science. Uh, we do have actually uh, also Ranash 157. Okay, that's not that bad. But now looking at uh, how much the damage of these coursers do, that is a problem. That is a significant problem. Especially since I see level 2 field cannons here. Like these are going to eat these American line infantries alive slowly but surely he needs a lot more though a lot more of them 
Okay, well, we do have uh, Jeru also with 150 um, gold per 10. That's not enough for his um, Empire health, unfortunately. He definitely needs a lot more, and he's uh, recognizing this, putting a few more commercials, getting those uh, traders that got finished back on track, and uh, doing the rounds. One, I'm pretty sure he's gonna start switching to external slowly. Yeah, we do have uh, Jeru also with 312 production, but I do see Links here did manage to get to 389 and Baptiste uh, to only 278. Uh oh. Well, Spain over here is uh, out simmed, but now I do see him getting his factory, so maybe it's just a matter of a few turns difference here between them. To be honest, I think it is a few turns difference uh, between them. I guess the question is will Lincoln with philip the second and alexander managed to get back on this because egypt right now to be honest the only job egypt should have is to get economy he needs to put down more cities get the commercials get economy if he doesn't get the economy i don't think they can uh, keep up with the necessary needs like first of all they need to upgrade the macedon against uh, persia they need the tanks on macedon of otherwise it's gonna be way too slow to hard build the tanks to attack into his opponents they ran out of the pillage options that he had uh, taking away the gold from his opponents and in the bank they only have like maybe a thousand that's like what three tanks upgrades two tanks upgrades uh yeah three normal tanks four i think four no normal tanks actually yeah one turn too late yeah, uh, Persia has uh, training units for three turns. Is brutal. He left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, not enough production here. He's getting a wave of campus. Is trying to pad those uh, science numbers, and of course uh, that will help him out quite a bit. And I gotta say, Baptiste here has a chance, especially because of the economy of his opponents, to withstand this uh, next wave of attacks. And if he is not breaking, I don't really see who's going to break here, to whom. Like if Macedon cannot break uh, Persia, there is nobody that uh, will do the damage against their opponents anymore. Uh, Jeru will probably, his only option will be to actually go for space here. And yes, he does have quite a few. Oh, did he just kill a f his last remaining flat tile? No, he has another one. He has this one. This is only, uh, this is a flat tile. Okay. Okay. Uh, not sure if it's gonna go there, but at least uh, take a look if he has a spaceport uh, tile. I don't uh, really see Ro moving towards his opponent, to be honest. He just wanted to see what's up and then uh, got out of the borders. Uh, we do have uh, quite a big defense here, a lot of line infantry. So you could only break this with a lot of field cannons and he just doesn't have the numbers. He wasn't really prepared to poke his opponent properly. Yeah, we do have uh, quite a few units from Macedon going towards the north. They can uh, do a lot of damage against these levied the French units. And uh, they do probably know where France has his last remaining bastion. No, they don't. They don't know. They just saw uh, France has a few units in the north. But of course, uh, he shouldn't be that far away. Oh, wait. They might actually know. Wait. Yeah, they, they should know, right? It's this. You, you see with the eight, with the eight lens, if you press eight, was the loyalty lens you can actually see where france's loyalty is pushing the loyalty into kabul so this is macedon this is three cities from persia and this is catherine you can actually see it where it's coming from uh how to fix map pin bug i see qqk good evening sir uh do you mean uh, the freeze of the pin when you pin it the game freezes you're referring to that bug or which uh, map pin bug okay so there are a few steps first create a new gmail second create a new steam account third uh, log into the steam account on the same uh, steam app that you have your main account and then uh, switch over to your main account and family share your civilization 6 um, uh, title to that family shared account to the uh, newly account you made then start up save from the new account and poof pin bug is gone that's it that's all that's what you need to do you can fix it in like I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes.
Okay, we do have uh, Georgia over here managing to uh, get pillaged. Egypt is uh, sneaking in one of those camps and might actually uh, get a builder here. He might uh, also get the health back from the farm he's on. I do notice uh, he's also pillaging Fez, but again, not that big of an issue. There's, uh, okay, on the west side, we do have America actually trying to push into Georgia. Uh, quite hard though, these field cannons uh, do, well, uh, no, I'm sorry. That one field cannon of Georgia is going to stop America. <clears throat> he just needs to put it in the city and that's it. <laughs> I do see uh, Rome still not pushing, but he's upgrading a few more of these uh, units. Uh, those cuirassiers. Oh, I do also see they can also guess that France couldn't have gone far. Yes, yes, they, they definitely can guess. Now, I do notice France is putting a wall of units, just bad units. It doesn't matter uh, on the east of Kabul, trying to uh, give time to Persia, buy time for Persia to get uh, stronger units there. Then I do notice Massimo did manage to get his cuirassiers. Now, these units are going to be quite tough for uh, Persia to handle, especially when coupled with um, field cannons and, uh, hard, and uh, these bombards behind them. We shouldn't be that far away from seeing Persia get also his steel walls. He has refining in one and uh, he's also his ally is also going to get steel in two. Well, I do notice uh, Ola Ketal Amigo well, is very far off from getting something. Linksia is also going for tanks. Everybody going tanks. Oh, get the tanky tanks. Oh, wait. We still don't have an economy from uh, time to throw, by the way. This is uh, like only 56 gold per turn is not enough. Yes, he's scrambling to get more science. He knows he's far behind his opponent, but I don't think he can have enough time to be uh, relevant for the next part of the game. Like he's never going to be um, catching up to Georgia science, for example, or uh, Georgia's culture. But he could give Macedon so much gold that he might actually do enough damage against his opponent. I think that's the only viable choice here for Egypt. What he's doing right now is trying to catch up, trying to um, return in the game with um, the science that he needs to um, get to the higher technologies and uh, doesn't really put more cities oh he's getting more cities okay finally another city from edfu that uh, damage from france was critical two cities taken down a lot of pillages that critically hit over here uh, egypt and uh, yeah looks like persia might not have enough units like uh, from what i do see over here he might get overwhelmed uh, so many and this is the power of Macedon just the the ability of not caring about anything just getting units and more units and then what are you getting more units now we do have uh, Rome here on 500 production and I do notice Ranashi is not even uh, getting to 400 he's on 370 Jeru did manage to get up to 388 and that is with factories and I believe in when coal power plants no he's building them right now actually the first one is coming up in one turn we do notice the Statue of Liberty in the city of Madrid and I do, I do have to ask he has 9 out of 20 Diplo points okay so they have a win condition on them or a Diplo victory condition on them especially since they might take out Catherine de Medici, uh, they will take out an opponent that can vote in the World Congress, which is going to matter so much. It's probably going to secure them the victory if they do manage to do that. Well, I guess it's going to be a question if uh, Tamar can actually get the uh, culture victory before the Diplo victory activates. And looking at the uh, tourism, he's still on 89 with 210 culture a turn. He did manage to get still 7 out of 47. Uh, who's going to defend this though? Because Jeru is definitely not defending this. Ranash is not defending this. Gabzu is not going to defend this. And the uh, time to throw is not going to defend this. If Orval starts to roll those musicians and starts to uh, multiply his uh, tourism quickly, and that is, there is a significant chance that he's going to get the opportunity to do so, uh, that uh, culture victory might happen much, much faster than we're imagining. Okay, Persia got these cores that are going to be strong. Strong! But where the uh, Macedonian field cannons? He definitely needs a lot more. A lot more. Like, you would have needed like four. Uh, Black Queen Spies? Yeah, they're just sitting over there. I'm actually quite surprised why they're just sitting. They should be in their opponent's city stealing gold. Do they have no vision? Yeah, they do. Look at that. He could just put them in the cities of uh, Egypt and uh, get the gold. Or who's making gold from their side? Oh, it's uh, Spain, right? Yeah, and Spain is too far. And they never discovered Spain cities. <clears throat> not a single city 
So I'm not sure what these spies are doing here. Uh, barbecue busy on micro? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Too many uh, levied units to handle. I, it is what it is. Anyway, <clears throat> we do have full master managing to do more damage against his opponents, and I do notice uh, more of these, uh, quite a few more of these uh, units are coming from his uh, main side with a lot of bombards and uh, some field cannons in the mix. He's uh, gonna need to put them there in the front line and uh, let them get more uh, experience uh, shooting down their opponents. Uh, well, with I do notice uh, Georgia did manage to get to his own ballistics. We do have him also with steel walls going for refining in two turns, while Baptist is gonna get steel next turn. They shouldn't be that far away from tanks. While uh, we do need to see if Gabzo is gonna manage to keep up with that. Only on rifling does need two more tanks, three more tanks to actually be on uh, combustion. Uh, and especially since he's starting to run out of units to kill here, he might not get enough signs uh, from this. But to be honest, he has so many units coming out of his cities, though. This might be enough just because of sheer amount of cities he has everywhere. This is what it is. Totally forgot to put the chat properly. There we go. Uh, I uh, I'm a doubter for Georgia's culture victory. You need high roll musicians. Yes, yes, exactly. You need to get those musicians. Uh, you mean uh, rock bands, not musicians? Yes, you need. No, uh, I don't know. In this in this particular case, when nobody's defending, I'm not sure if you're gonna need all of the rock bands. Uh, yes, you can get it faster with the rock bands, but I think I'm pretty sure you can do it with just passive tourism against only like a hundred possibly culture defense. Okay, Rome has started building uh, Potala Palace, trying to deny his opponent from uh, getting that extra Diplo point. He will need to take out Noble as well. That's a lot of scientist points that uh, need to be acquired. And I gotta say, uh, Newton has been picked up by Spain, while we did have also Tamar managing to get Ip Khaldun for the extra happiness on his amenities. That's uh, pretty nice, but he... well, he is on a happy level. That's good, that's good. 220 science, 151 culture, while Baptiste is 260 science and 130 to culture looks like Gabzo with his 74 is trying to keep up there we do have um, also Mastodon getting more of these uh, cuirassiers to uh, and attack into his opponent's units and uh, slowly breaking down the defense of uh, Persia. It will take him quite a bit more time and of course Persia has a decent amount of production to uh, get more units on the front line and resupply. Definitely a lot more cities than France had at the same moment in time uh, when, when he started uh, fighting off Mastodon. You know, we do need to see if uh, the resupply of Amazon is going to be uh, sufficient to help him pr uh, push through the Persian city of Parsa where of course the first uh, bastion is um, established with uh, Governor Victor in that city center. Now, I do also notice on the west side we didn't have any more movement from uh, Rome against uh, against his opponent against America while the American units are dying one by one I don't know what happened with the Philly cannon but it is unbelievably surprising to me that it died or is not here anymore. Did that guy go home? Did he just said I did he just say I had enough of this and he went home or something? Anyway, it is what it is. He's gonna to need to get the E1. And uh, well, I guess that's the sacrifice you make when you go for Forbidden City. In, uh, for I'm sorry, for um oh my god, how do you call it? For a ministry, there we go. Uh instead of uh, going <laughs> for Grandmaster Chapel. Chapel. Uh Lucky will go for nukes. I hope so. Uh, he could just kill governors with spies if he can't steal gold. That works. Yeah. I mean, he could do a lot of stuff with the spies. Yes, everything works. Everything else works. Just put them to work. Get the promotions in. They, they, oh wait, they already have promotions. They never have been promoted. What? Does he even have a working spy? Any working spy? No? Oh, okay. No working spy from France. Oof. Oh, there is one. 
There is one in uh, Charleston. What's it doing? Gaining sources. Okay. Did he totally forget about his spies in Ambos? Like, th there is maybe that possibility. Did he totally forget that he had two more spies? I mean, can you miss this? I don't think you can miss this. I've seen two extra units uh, huddled together over there. Oh well, it is what it is. A Macedon Fear Cannon Core Spy with a level 1 promotion, 88 uh, tank strength against the Persian units. Persia will need to get those tanks up and running as quickly as possible. Two turns away from combustion, four turns mobilization. While I do notice uh, he's not doing enough damage against his opponent, and I think he just uh, realized he's gonna trade his units uh, for nothing. He just um, lost two units for one of the Macedonian uh, cuirassiers. Definitely not the best trade that he would have made. You know, we do need to see if uh, the south and float is also gonna buckle here because uh, when he's gonna get the tanks and he's gonna have the gold to upgrade them it is gonna be a problem for his opponents actually looking at the gold right now there's a, a there's a significant advantage here on uh, golden age but they're running out of units well i guess hard building them is gonna be an option anyway and we do need to see how uh, baptist has 340 production with uh, military academies did he finish them wait he doesn't have uh Oh my god, he doesn't have encampments. Kick. Oh, this is not gonna be enough production. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be enough production. How much does he have in a city? 70 production, 68 production city. Susa is 50. That's not enough production. Mm, yeah, and not enough oil either. Like he, where is he gonna get the oil? He has one oil tile. That, that, okay, that's plus three. Does he have another oil tail somewhere? No. Oh, here. They could get the one from Fez. That's expensive though. I mean, it's fine. They have the gold. He desperately needs this. He And he sees oil. He just didn't uh, go there. Well, I guess maybe there is some oil tail underneath one of his districts and we don't see and he has more than we, uh, we can anticipate. Mm. This is what it is. Uh, maybe he can move them. Ooh, copper pot. Hello there, ma'am. How are you doing? How have you been? You disappeared all together over there. Where have you been? How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. And of course, if you guys don't know copper pot, check her out on her stream. Really, really fun play over there. Uh, maybe he can move them because he has no intelligence agency. Yeah, yeah, that could be also a choice. Uh, well, Laurent over here is definitely having another opinion. He's saying, I'm a winning assignment. Give me something to do, man. I need to do something or I'm going to go crazy. In the thunder over there in the cold. Well, we do have uh, Masano still trading units with uh, Persia, and I do see that Persia is being quite aggressive for uh, units that will need to turn into knights, especially in the face of a field cannon core here that could just wipe off uh, the map with a cuirassier. Uh, you forced them to come here? Oh my god, welcome raiders! Yeah, yeah, she made us, okay, okay, Folibar, hello there sir, and welcome, Stone Max, uh, hello there sir, good evening, and welcome, and Sasu, bonsoir, monsieur, bienvenue! Uh, I do also notice, so you guys are uh, sharing over here quite a few uh, emotes, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay, got it. Uh, she has your family and cube. I mean, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, we do have Georgia with um, an attack against Egypt by the looks of it. He did manage to get Cuirassier armies. And I do notice he's uh, building quite a few more of them. These Cuirassier armies are definitely going to be stronger than the Egyptian defenders. And we do need to see if he's uh, going to manage to defend this while he's trying to get more science. You do see that uh, the moment... Now we do have uh, time to throw Barry getting steel in five turns and nationalism in eight. He doesn't even have the core up units here. Well, we do need to see a lot more field cannons also making their way on the front line because otherwise he's not easily going to break these units. Um, and of course, not the city centers either. He's going to need to get those artilleries uh, to attack into his opponent's city centers and uh, kill them. And while I do notice. Um, yeah, Persia is still moving around his uh, units. I do see him uh, crossing the lake, and he could actually um, appear Talon on the borders of Fasakarte to table. keep on going to the city of Amboise. Uh, Falling Bar, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Uh, also, bedtime in Denmark. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. 
Crispy chicken, good evening, sir, and welcome. I know it's an online game with online speed, but jeez, uh, how do Prepare they the grow and expand so taken. fast? It's all in the timing, sir. It's all in the timing. Thank you so much also for the follow, uh, Propindi, sir. Much appreciated, sir, and welcome. Now we do have uh, also the American army still uh, standing still against the Roman invaders. So we do have inhumane training projects coming up from Rome, and Linksia is going to try to get a few calf corps, uh, line infantry corps actually going. Interesting. Is he going infantry here? Is this a secret? No, he's going refining in two times. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I guess he does need oil. I guess, I'm actually confused right, yeah, right now. It wasn't this the minus five Congress? Yeah, the, it was the minus five Congress. There must be some special play that. Uh, we don't know and where are tanks wait that's a okay that's a tank and that's a tank that's it two tanks okay maybe three with the low one here okay three tanks this field cannon core does uh, does do decent damage and it does seem like the calves cannot um, actually cross on that um, other side of the lake that's unfortunate not yet though it will take them time and time is not on their side but these tank cores are definitely stronger than the units of Macedon, and uh, they cannot be hit anymore well, <coughs> we do need to see if uh, gapso is going to manage to get enough pillages looks like uh, poesia will need to wait for the new tanks to come out of his city centers quite a bit is uh, four turning five turning tanks from his cities that is a lot of time to get those units out now uh, georgia also not that far away from getting his own uh, tank armies to go against his opponent he's gonna start smashing through the egyptian defenses and gonna start taking on cities quite quickly here it looks like culture victory is not in the cards for uh tamar orval is gonna um, actually stomp his opponent down to the ground here egypt and uh, force them to cc this game leaving only america with um uh, Spain on the defense of the southwest. We do have uh, American line infantry, uh, infantry is actually uh, getting out here, and of course, they will do so much more damage against their opponents here. It doesn't seem like they are uh, taking down the cuirassiers, which I gotta say, it's unbelievable. Usually, the infantry are extremely strong. Well, I guess um, Rome did manage to get all the buck, um, belts and knuckles on him. Is that? I think that's the correct expression, right? All of the belts and knuckles on him um well i add them on steam because i can't play multiplayer any other way wait 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 what when copper bat first cpl yes copper bat where when first cpl game when when big one you see and sasu is asking all the right questions here <laughs> Uh, Rome is making military, Georgia is making military in Persia as well. I think Spain got the late game covered. Well, I I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. He is getting his uh, research naps. He definitely is greening that out. We do need to see if uh, he's uh, going to manage to get a significant advantage over his opponents. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, let's see. I think it all depends also on uh, how much uh, Baptiste can push back uh, Macedon. If, oh, low oil already so i guess i was right he doesn't have any other oil and, and fez managed to get the oil from him oh no fez what did you do bro oh my god anyway i guess uh Macedon is unrelenting and we do have him needing to cross uh, towards the northwest uh, i do see the city of ambos did manage to get the walls and these calves are not going to break it anytime soon uh, we do need to see what's going on here now these infantry corps should be well stronger than the roman units 104 strength against the line infantry is of 94 and that's even with the minus five from the congress yeah 104 against the cuirassiers 88 that's a problem that is a major problem ranash could actually push right now uh, tank armies from Georgia are going to go against uh, Egyptian uh, defenders and I do see him uh, one shedding the units across this uh, l um, river. He's also getting a lot more of his uh, tank corps coming from his cities, building them quite quickly. He did manage to uh, get the infrastructure done for this. One, two, three, four, five of these. Oh my god, a city and an encampment, a city and an encampment. He got everything he needs 
for this attack to uh, happen and keep on happening against uh, Egypt. He's probably going to clean up Macedon afterwards. Uh, just um, in time, Persia is uh, recovering his uh, strength here. I do have to say, Persia did keep up uh, with the science and the culture. He needs 300 science and 134 culture at 10, while he does have 300 gold also. And we do have uh, the gold disparity between them uh, getting uh, to new high levels. Uh, gold range has three members that are making more than 150 at 10, while Lucky Luke only has one, while the rest are well two are negative and one is barely scratching the surface of positivity there 27 points on egyptian cleopatra <clears throat> well sorry put all me cleopatra put all me cleopatra did i see that twice today oh my god what's going on with my neurons pew, 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 firing over there in the wrong direction what is going on man Oh, that's a bit too close for comfort. The level 2 field cannon is very, very valuable, Gabzu. You don't want to lose that. Yeah, there we go. Well, that looks like uh, France did manage to pluck the choke in the north. Uh, the Macedonian Cavs are going to meet uh, quite a few French swordsmen on the battlefield. And, uh, well, they're going to have a hard time pushing. We still don't have America pushing. Even if he does have better damage right now against his opponent, he can definitely stomp uh, some defenses here. Looks like uh, he's not taking Ling Xia seriously. He's getting uh, also quite a few aerodromes uh, coming out. Maybe he's going to get his advanced flight uh, faster. Then uh, Ling Xia can actually get a defense up. And uh, by the looks of it, he's building them in waves here. And I do see two of these aerodromes are coming up on the east. A third one in San Luis. While uh, he didn't get uh, Filippo Brunelleschi also to help him out with a wonder okay okay interesting that's a, a quick turn of events over here and wait where is he where is he he's going steam power so he's going advanced flight if he's going steam power he's going advanced flight he needs it so he got flight he needs steam power so he can get radio and then radio gives him access to advanced flight Okay. I don't really think a Maceron can push through this, to be honest. And I think he's going to start losing his army quite quickly by the looks of it. There's, uh, I think, uh, Persia will clean up Macedon. Egypt will uh, be cleaned up by Georgia. And uh, there's only going to be two remaining, but without a chance to get that Diplo victory. Now, if they lose two players, they're not going to have the chance of um, getting the Diplo victory. <laughs> and Georgia here is just from a few tens away from getting um, cities. He's going to just delete the units of Egypt and start taking cities quite quickly. Time to throw. Did manage to get his steel walls? No, he didn't. Oh my god, he doesn't even have steel walls. He's going for refining in two. <clears throat> oh my god okay that's that's so unfortunate so slow in timing another low oil roll wait doesn't he have military academies everywhere how is he low on oil oh he doesn't have military academies everywhere i see did i Oh, minus seven insufficient oil resource. Oh my God. Is actually Persia dying to oil scarcity? Lord. Uh, yeah, to be honest, he might be dying. I mean, he might be dying. He, his units might be dying. Kick. Whoa. Okay. Akitatan is not going to be... Uh, that hard for these units even with the minus four um, oil attempt to take over georgia definitely has the higher strength units over egypt we do have uh, multiple cabs also coming around to um, <clears throat> follow up the attack with uh, 
how to say helicopters which are going to be much much faster and efficient to take over cities and move around the map you know we do have uh, a lot of pillages that also need to be done and i don't see a settler coming up in tutors from rocket dead he might be looking to uh, send a safety settler somewhere maybe on the other side of the map now we do need to see also if Rome is going to get pushed or if he's going to realize that his uh, defense uh, against the uh, planes here, Linksia is going for sanitation and by the looks of it, that option gives him access to, of course, go for research labs, go towards the technology for research labs, which uh, is not going to be the same tech that he needs to defend himself. If he's, oh my. He's going to be desynced and uh, we might actually see Ranash with a window of opportunity of maybe four to seven turns, uh, between four to seven turns to actually get uh, the bombers in faster than Rome can actually react and get even his steel walls. This is going to be a major problem if Rome has that uh, here. The bombers are going to take out his cities and the fighters are going to make quick work of his units. <clears throat> and there are so many of these aerodromes coming and being put down by America. I guess it's a matter of uh, science here. Can he get to advanced flight quickly enough before Rome gets to uh, research labs and uh, goes back to uh, getting steel walls and everything else, refining, combustion, and so on? Uh, Mike MC Loving, good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, good luck, have fun. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, can Macedonia afford to upgrade his tanks? No. No. That's a, that's a big no. They barely have probably one upgrade or something like that. So, no. I also don't think he had enough time to build his own military uh, academies. But he has oil. Look, one tile of oil. Two tiles of oil. Oil. No more? That's it? Two tiles? Okay. Two tiles. I guess two tiles is better than no tile. Yeah, but it looks like Persia is stabilizing definitely stabilizing his uh, gaps is also 10 turns away from combustion nationalism coming up next turn he's going to get the core ability and uh, by the loose of it Macedon is uh, getting as many cuirassiers as he possibly can the problem is the gold they they just cannot get enough gold for him uh, first city center is going to fall here Egypt is going to lose Akhetatan quite quickly uh, artillery corps are making their appearance to attack into the steel wall cities of uh, Egypt and take those defenses down while his tanks are taking care of the units uh, half of the army of Egypt is already taking down while there are some resupplies coming in here it doesn't look like he's going to manage to uh, withstand the attack so many settlers coming oh my god is this a desperation move here having so many cities coming out maybe one of them is going to make it to uh, safety land okay Aketaton has been taken down we do have uh, georgia moving his army towards uh, the city of neken and uh, we do need to see if He's going to have more units uh, rejoining the fight, uh, joining the fight on the front line and finishing up his military academies for uh, the oil per turn while in his empire. I don't actually see oil anywhere. Oh, I see an oil tile here that, well, it will mess up everything with the farms around, but I guess it will be more oil. More oil? No more oil? No more oil. Oh, an oil tile here southeast of Zugdini. He needs a builder there. Did he stay in a golden age? Yes, but he went for reform the coinage for the extra gold per turn. That's something that uh, will help them actually outpace their opponents if they do manage to keep the gold per turn up and uh, manage to uh, upgrade their units and uh, fend off attacks. They should have an advantage. Uh, Linksia is two turns away from chemistry. While I do notice Ranashi still is working for steam power in one turn, it looks like he's going to be late on those tanks. That window I was talking about is not happening, guys. Not happening. He's at least uh, three techs away from getting uh, advanced flight. Like he needs uh, steam power one turn, then radio another like four turns or three turns, and then advanced flight for another two or three turns. And that's uh, so much more data. And of course, in the meantime, Rome is just going to put down a lot more um, of those uh, buildings. He's going to get the happiness up. He's going to get more science, get more culture. And uh, more production. Already I see him on 587 points of production. Okay, Kuras here getting caught up here by Macedon. Artillery is unfortunately getting hit from him. And uh, Persia, by the looks of it, manages to get uh, quite a few of those artillery cores and new tanks on the front line. Uh, he still doesn't have a critical number to defend against his own but it's more than enough to handle what Macedon has at the moment. We're going to need to see when uh, Macedon is going to get his tanks out. That's the moment we know. We need to see. 
Okay, another wave of attacks. Georgia taking down more units from Egypt. Rebuilds of heavy chariots. Some knights, which are not going to be even a match uh, for these tank armies. While the city of Necken does have victory inside of it, it's only a 63 defense strength city, which of course is going to be taken down very quickly by these artillery corps. Just needs more of them. Like, at least two of them. That's it. At least two of them. And he's not getting them. Military academies, I guess, uh, are... Uh, the priority right now so he can get that oil per turn yeah we got him on zero oil right now baptiste is 11 and links here is 11 as well oh persia not standing around moving in for the kill macedon is starting to bleed units over here and even if he's getting new units on the front line he still needs uh, quite a few more turns to get combustion if he doesn't manage to kill off units and acquire the science with that he's gonna rely on the, the building of units and as you can see the cuirassiers do take quite a bit of time you know even if they do have a good return on um, their science it takes them so long to get out of the cities here being trained Uh, but does he know what oil is? Yes, yes, he does. He does. With a name like Golden Age, you better not miss a Golden Age. I gotta say, yes, the Beasley. I totally agree with that. Also, don't you need plastic for the oil in the water? Uh, plastic technology? Didn't they change that? With BBG, didn't they change that to not require plastic for uh, the oil well? Wait, what is? Give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Refining. It's a refining. Wait, this is oil well. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I think it's rig, right? Oil rig. Maybe I missed. Wait, oil. Offshore oil rig. Yes. Uh, refining. Remove this also. It's a refining. I was remembering something, but I wasn't really sure. But anyway, um, we don't really have many more units from Egypt. Looks like uh, his cities are uh, going to fall to the concentrated power of the um, Georgian tank corps. And we do need to see if these artilleries are going to be sufficient to take down those cities in good enough time. I'd also notice he's going to also get uh, more oil per turn. While uh, Persia is breaking through the defenses of uh, Macedon, he's also going to go through the pre-builds of Macedon. And that's going to be quite a problem. Not that they have enough gold to upgrade them, but still they would have had a chance to upgrade them. Yeah, uh, that's also another advantage here. It, since they still have uh, France in the game, these cities can be liberated, and those are like 400 points that they could get from uh, liberating the cities of France back to him. Yeah, that would put them uh, definitely in the race, back in the race to uh, contest those. Uh, diplomatic points we do have uh, persia also managing to get these tanks in the front line but uh, waiting for the last moves or something he's not um, he's not attacking anything right now okay west side no movement we got aerodromes building these biplanes getting as many out as possible at least two of them that i can see and getting these uh, hangars going he needs uh, to get some airports for those um, if he wants to go full spam uh, um, air units he's gonna need as many of those airports as possible for the aluminium that comes from them well i do notice he's using gustav eiffel to get the rural valley in the city of uh, saint louis saint louis saint louis saint louis we do have uh, only four more turns until the next era switches and i do notice like linksia is gonna have uh, to pick up the space here to get the golden age while i do notice orval is also two points out from getting a golden age he's probably gonna get it now uh, we do have gaps going dark jeru is uh, again going heroic i do see ranash is going dark time to throw is going dark Is there a limit to number of liberations allowed or is that uh, per city? Uh, there is a limit for city states or um, uh, cities in uh, negative loyalty. You can only uh, liberate them once. Uh, but if you're... Uh, if you're... Okay. Uh, if you... If you allow the city to be taken multiple times while you are contesting it and you're not raising it, that's kind of on you feeding the points to your opponent.
Okay, Neken looks like it's gonna be taken down here quicker than I was expecting. There we go. Another artillery core attack next turn, and the walls are gonna be fully shaved off. Not to mention these uh, Georgian tanks uh, can do the damage against the city center quite uh, strongly, uh, sufficiently to take those down. Even with still walls, but it's only 68 garrison defense. That's the problem. Uh, pillaging as many tiles as possible to get the extra gold. As you can see, they are swimming in gold right now. More than 5,000 points are available for the gold just to uh, get their upgrades going and uh, while I do see Gabso is struggling to uh, get the attacks going against Persia we do have Persia killing off more of his pre-builds before he can actually get the science of required for combustion still five turns away from getting that well five turns away and a few science points I guess we'll see uh, if he does manage to get those science points from the Persian units mm -mm -mm okay well oh, georgia has so many pillages there so many pillages uh casa de constratación on rome oh triple continent split right so he has magnus on the other continent pingala on the other continent oh uh, victor on the other continent this is gonna be massive Th this is a very good wonder for him not only the government titles but also the um, the bonuses for these series production uh, Lixia is also three turns away from getting flight and I do see him on 300 science per turn, 124 culture uh, while uh, Ranash is a little bit ahead of him, he's three turns out from advanced flight oh no, Lixia actually considers it's a uh, good enough time to go for steel first, mobilization in four and try to fend off attacks uh, in the meantime uh, while he's going for his own um, uh, flight and getting the infrastructure done, he definitely needs to put down airports and start building those in and we're gonna see him uh, uh, get a lot more science per turn, we do need to see if that's gonna be enough uh, to put him on the same page as America here I do notice uh, Jeru did manage to jump up to 417 science and 100 culture with 529 production and getting more gold for his teammates. Uh, we do have him getting his intelligence agency in two turns and by the looks of it doesn't really seem like he's um, I would say he's gonna be able to get that uh, science victory here well at least not quickly enough I guess we'll see his allies are definitely dying, that's the problem, right? He's gonna lose Egypt and he's gonna lose Macedon. It is just a matter of time. There might be a chance that Macedon can come back. If he has enough gold and he can upgrade enough tanks, he might actually come back into this. But uh, looking at uh, how much Persia does, how much damage he does, and not allowing Gamzu to actually get those uh, extra science points, well, that is a bit of a problem. Just a tiny bit of a problem. <laughs> okay, Cavs going everywhere to pillage the tiles. Uh, Georgia is also keeping uh, Burika from uh, the cities of Egypt. And I do notice uh, Egypt is bringing some artillery hardware to the main front line. Man, these guns are gonna take out the tanks. Don't do you worry. And after the first shot was fired and the artillery is no more. Well, we tried, boys. Let's go back home. Anyway, now we do have uh, Macedon here starting to get his own artillery courts. And to be honest, those are actually uh, quite uh, exposed there. Now we do need to see if um, the extra range from the balloons is going to make sense here. Persia will definitely need a lot more artillery uh, to throw at the single city or a unit. And I'm pretty sure that's uh, going to be on his bill queues at some point. We do have him putting up more production in the bill queues and of course more gold per turn. <clears throat> 505 points of production is uh, making more than double than the uh, Gabzo is making not to mention uh, what four times that the uh, time to throw is uh, benefiting from now uh, we do also see him uh, keeping up with the production of uh, Jeru even if he was at war first helicopters also getting upgraded in the former lands of Egypt we do have uh, Orval with a mission in life oh my god he's gonna get so many cities here Time to throw is gonna have uh, no sorry is um, sorry Orval is gonna get like twenty cities here, so he's not only gonna get the Macedonian he, the cities, he's also gonna get the settlers. Wow, wow, so many free cities here. He managed to also levy the city of Engazargamo to see what's in the south. Doesn't want to let anything pass there. Rakedet is also already being put under siege. Oh, moves he got the moves 
Let's see. Who got the moves? Who got the moves? Uh, Raket they're getting taken down. Already 48 uh, damage shaved off. Uh, pillages on the campus. A lot of science acquired by uh, Ender Ghost, etc. got taken. Pillages on the Gavron Plaza. Getting as many of those uh, pillages off is going to be important for Georgia to clear off every, every tile of the territory of uh, Egypt. Pillage and benefit from every one of those bonuses. Uh, tank upgrade. We do have enough damage from these tankers to actually push against Persia. I think the problem is uh, the time. He needs five turns to actually finish them in his uh, strongest cities or uh, most productive cities. And as you can see, we do have a faster upgrades on uh, a faster build queue on Persia. And to mention that's benefit from more cities. You now we do have him also struggling to get his amenities up. Uh, while I do see him on plus three, he's still not acting. Uh, he's still not getting that ecstatic bonus. Still, it's good. I didn't, you know, still get, um, keeping up. Uh, getting planes aerodrome from Pasagarde in one turn. To be honest, he just needs to stay alive and let um, Georgia here take out Cleopatra in the south. That's it. Can he withstand Macedon? Can he withstand Macedon after Macedon got tanks? Well, let's see. That's kind of a weak tank. I think he can. I, he, I think he should be able to. He can definitely army up more. So, yeah, he should be able to. Yeah, Baptiste is also going to be first on fascism, even though he's not really close right now, because he's still on uh, mass media. He's not far away either. If he's on uh, mass media, he is uh, over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So he can go ideology and then into fascism. Not that far away. And he's uh, you do have Orval actually discovering fascism next and getting uh, totalitarian and some uh, civic. While well, he's going to get that extra plus five, and that is going to flex on his opponent so much. Uh, first by planes uh, deployed, we do have uh, Rome getting his steel walls and I do notice he's going back uh, for advanced flight, the steam power coming up in two turns while mobilization is finishing up in one. No movement from the units of uh, America going towards the north, doesn't need to uh, worry about that. But next turn, we do have uh, Ranash discovering advanced flight and uh, he's also gonna try to get as many of these stock exchanges as possible for his economy. It's minus 45 still unbelievable unbelievable how much uh, lack of an economy abraham lincoln has does he i mean he has commercials in every city and he's still losing gold wow kick w man kick w yeah macedon cannot push into this he's just gonna lose units all of his units if he does that so I guess uh, it is what it is. We're gonna, he's gonna wait for uh, the Georgian helicopters to probably get into the lands of Macedon and clear him out. While in the meantime, uh, Georgia is busy pillaging every one of the towns of Egypt. He's pushing all the buttons, getting all the cookies over here from the Egyptian territory. Okay, capital city of uh, Egypt has been taken down. We do have uh, four more cities that need to be taken down while, of course, an Egyptian settler is scrambling to go into the south. That is still going to be taken by Georgia. That's not really an escape city. We do need to see if uh, this one will ever finish. 14 turns does seem like an eternity when you have so many tanks bearing down on your empire. And, of course, the camps of Georgia are going to start to position towards the north, uh, needing to upgrade themselves in that uh, border city of Neken. Uh, while uh, I do see the Persian units are just making a wall of defense against these uh, Macedonian units, we do have the Persian artilleries with the option to attack from afar. And it does seem like the artillery corps are uh, doing quite a few holes in the Macedonian tanks. They're able to trade. They're actually able to do the damage. Very nice. That is that is very nice. That is very nice. If only he would have had like another two more, he would have uh, killed so many tanks here. Okay, fighter got upgraded. Fighter not really doing enough, but uh, he can pick off a few units here. Or at least uh, try to damage them. 
more signs available for Lingxia, 662 production with 439 signs and 143 culture. Uh, I do have to say, Jeru finally did manage to get a, more than 100 uh, culture a turn. While I do notice we're one turn away from getting the World Congress, uh, we do have Golden Age for all, uh, Heroic Age for Jeru, Heroic Age for Ranash, and a Dark Age for Time to Throw. We're gonna come back in two minutes after the World Congress is gonna pass and the players are gonna make their choices, and we're gonna need to see what is happening in the next part of the game Let me back. Oh man. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, so let's see. Great artist, no points. Fascism loses on a wildcard policy slot, and uh, Jeru loses to Diplo, so that's gonna slow him down a bit. We do have uh, 19 points out of 75 for all Val, but I don't think he's going for a culture victory anymore. He's just gonna go for domination here, or they're just gonna go for domination. 204 tourism points is still enough. Uh, Diplo points, we do have Jeru on 14 out of 20. And uh, it's, it's gonna matter quite a bit if he does manage to get uh, over here noble if he, for that extra diplo point. Now I, got, I do also want to point out uh, Persia didn't manage to uh, recover this series of uh, France over here. They're being held by Macedon and held strong. Uh, we don't really have Persia with enough capabilities to attack his opponent. And I do see him uh, still wanting to see more than attack. Getting his uh, biplanes up uh, so he, and he can turn them into uh, fighters later on. While Linksia is also getting radio in one. I do notice uh, Baptiste is one turn away from getting his uh, research labs. We do have the P51 um, Mustangs so starting to come out of the series of... Uh, uh, of uh, America and I do see anti-air guns are gonna meet them halfway in the city of Puteoli now that's also oh, wait a second that's also with governor Victor fourth he has the anti-air initiative for the extra 25 bonus uh, what's the faith thing now great people with faith uh, I think he's waiting for uh, rock pants to be honest but yes I guess uh, great people with faith if uh, he's paying something with faith I don't see him paying anything with faith. He's on 400, 1400. And he does have the ability through his, um, how to say, um, uh, religion to buy out units. Uh, units to buy out. Uh, faith, faith. 
Hello. What is this? What is this? Little fireball. Okay, we do have him getting his war department out from Tbilisi and I do see he did manage to roll the third musician while he is uh, still pillaging and upgrading his units uh, in the lands of uh, Egypt. He's, um, I do see Georgia over here is about to take over another city and he still didn't get to that uh, settler in the south. He does have helicopters moving everywhere trying to um, get the gold from the mines while I do see uh, Georgia did manage to get another artillery corps to bear against his opponent cities. Uh, he's managing to do enough damage. There we go. There we go. Another the city will fall this turn and for this time around that's also the city where he had the spy in lol anyway i guess it is what it is now we do uh, need to see also here if uh, yeah so the city of Bren is uh, getting attacked by the artillery it looks like it also forced macedon to get back uh, not take uh, too much too many hits from these artilleries against the tanks they definitely are uh, having a problem with the oil now Macedon does need the military academies or improving his oil tiles and he did manage to get uh, these to improve he's probably gonna get the third one soon right where was the third one did he he did have a third one somewhere right was it no no okay well he has two of them I guess plus six oil even though getting attacked by the tank armies is gonna go down that the uh, two remaining cities with a possible third one in the south it does look like uh, the cleopatra say um, fate is sealed we do have the first uh, sea, um, the spaceports coming around uh, here getting uh, built in the lands of spain while i do notice he's also getting a big ben i do notice he's going for more fighters to defend himself against a possible attack uh, we do need to see if uh, anybody's gonna get to nuke him but by the looks of it he's uh, still gonna get a few projects out now we do uh, need we do need georgia here to step up his game so he can uh, get into the borders if not spain might actually get that uh, um, how to say uh, space victory we do have him uh, right now with uh, 596 production 450 science and 113 culture now he's in a reformed Queenish golden age and he is uh, doing quite a bit of pro um, how to say uh, uh, quite a um, he's uh, gonna build quite a few of these spaceports didn't finish all of them though and he's getting a battle for armada okay what does he want with an armada He's the ally of Macedon, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't want Macedon in cities. Maybe he's uh, thinking that he might get a liberation or do something on the coast with it. Anyway, it's still good for the defense, I guess. It's fine. Okay, no way these P-51s are actually going to push through Roman defenders. You know, we do have uh, Roman fighters also starting to get out and uh, they're going to equal match the, um, the strength of his opponents. War Department getting out from uh, Georgia. He's uh, about to take over another city from uh, Egypt. Time to throw here. He's going to lose Iwunu. Still wish Tamar had GMC. Yes, it would have been so much more easier if uh, Tamar had GMC. I agree. It's not like he, you know, he's missing on um, envoys. Okay, more cities taken out, more faith acquired. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, okay, it's fine. You can, uh, you can use that. Your teeth hurt. Golden C. Hmm? Unbelievable, man. He's chewing everything. Come on. Stop chewing. Stop chewing. Stop chewing. Mm. You see? Directing the destruction. This is what I call it. Directing the destruction. You accept destruction will happen. You just direct it to something you, you can spare yourself with. Is what it is, man. It is what it is. Can you see her chewing? Yeah, you can see her chewing. Okay. Yeah. Snibbling. <laughs> 
Anyway, now we do have uh, Macedon having a bit of a problem. Georgian uh, uh, helicopters are getting in from the southwest and looks like his uh, tanks might have a problem with standing the damage from those. Uh, it does look like, of course, his cities are going to be well equipped to defend against this for some time and until those um, artilleries are going to be on the way. While we still need to see <coughs> Egypt being ta fully taken care of so he can uh, take out the military alliance from the game and also the option to vote in the World Congress. There still are a few cities that uh, need to be taken out and of course uh, Orval is just not going to get to fully deploy his army against his opponent here Macedon uh, feels bad Lucky Nuke didn't even get the France full kill before they getting beaten back hard uh, like this yeah I don't know what they do now here yeah I think well I guess that players are that Spain is going to manage to get this um the space victory and it I guess we're going to need to see if his if the, his opponents their opponents are going to figure this out Orval just didn't acquire any more uh, tourists. 21 out of 88 is very far, even if he did manage to get the musicians. Uh, okay, Memphis is going to be under attack and should die quickly. Sheret is uh, soon going to follow, while uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to also see this city in the south. He did discover that territory. It's just a matter of uh, that city settling. <clears throat> yes. We do have also Georgia benefiting from uh, more tiles from uh, his opponent. Uh, from, yeah, his opponent's uh, acquired cities. Of course, he's getting his campuses back. He's getting also more commercials. And I do notice he's using his military engineer to reconnect the pathways and uh, get the routes connected. And while he's deploying more units towards the city of Lyon, I do see uh, Georgia has a few problems. Uh, getting in and smashing cities he definitely needs more artilleries he only remained with a single artillery towards uh, the city of memphis and that might not be enough wait is he just giving up is he giving up on attacking egypt and wants to go macedon now giving up before he actually finished the job oh that's nasty wait no please don't do this please don't do this i mean i'm pretty sure uh, your ally can handle macedon you don't need to go there just finish um anyway it is what it is. <laughs> We've got more P-51s coming in. Looks like uh, the American units are moving towards uh, Rome finally. And uh, they're meeting a wall of strength here. The Roman infantry armies are much stronger than the American units can handle. Not to mention the American P-51 Mustangs are dying, attacking into the defenses of Puteori or in the units of Puteori. I do see new fighters also coming out from Rome to get on the front line. And even though they cannot attack properly against the P-51s, it's still a matter of uh, numbers here. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, Georgia hit by low oil, but he still does so much damage to Macedon. Well, of course, armies versus normal tanks. What would you expect? If uh, Gabzo did manage to get the science for his uh, troubles, he couldn't really get the culture for his troubles. The city of Ren is about to also be overrun here. It lost its uh, steel walls advantage, and I do notice, of course, the artilleries are going to keep shelling that. Now, I'm a bit surprised we don't have a few more, like at least two artillery armies here, but, or cores, but I guess it is what it is. Now, we do have Memphis still left open, and I'll share that it's still left open. The tanks of Georgia need to get the pillages and uh, get the damage done there, but it looks like uh, he's not really interested anymore he found a new toy to chew on now we do have Jeru also getting combined arms uh, next turn while uh, Baptiste did manage to discover his advanced flight he's also upgrading his fighters on the front line giving him a much much better attack uh, maneuver against his opponent keeping up the skies to delete his opponent's units he's also getting bombers out from the big uh, from the um, 
main series while uh, I do notice he's gonna start uh, chewing through the series so when he's gonna get those bombers uh, that uh, looks like it's gonna be at the correct moment in time when Georgia is also gonna take care of the Macedonian army or I should say well remaining units Yeah, it looks like America needed to retreat from the front line of Rome. Just cannot pass through that infantry course versus infantry course. Looks like Rome wins hands down. That's uh, how much? 109 versus 124 of uh, Rome. That sounds a little bit big. Anyway, now we do have uh, film studios also coming out from America, and I do notice a uh, big Ben is going to finish in Zaragoza in uh, five turns while he's getting his own fighters. He's also he also did manage to get a religion that's a shikism for work ethic and stewardship. I mean, he should have gotten stewardship a long time ago uh, if he wanted to get there. Uh, Aquarium coming out from Madrid, more amenities here. It looks like his cities are still at the content. He is uh, having problems uh, getting the happies. Happy perk there. I do notice he's also getting a few more spies and uh, switching to all power plants because he probably ran out of coal, which is a bit of a problem. I gotta say, you gotta keep those coal power plants running for the extra production. City. Uh, Naken is still not taken out. Artillery needs to do the moves. So we do have uh, Ren pushing back. I should say the Macedonian units are pushing back against that uh, Georgia helicopter, which is gonna die. Uh, it is what it is. He did have a promotion, but it was too late. Orval was a bit too late on the moves then. Uh, Ren is still gonna die. That city is gonna die. It is what it is. Uh, when the. Uh... Where are more fighters? He got uh, pinged. Yeah, yeah, boys. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Macedon, Macedon, Macedon. Still not able to withstand the two attacks of his opponent, of his opponents, Persia and Georgia at the same time. Rome is managing to keep out America. Nobody contesting, uh, of course, space victory yet. We do still need to see those projects going through. And uh, first of all, the uh, spaceports finishing is uh, putting them down and uh, working on them. Eight tends to finish from Madrid. Uh, we do have Madrid with. Let's see his uh, cities. 112 production. Ooh, I mean, that's low production. That is low production. That is so low production. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see if he does manage to get. Maybe he doesn't have vertical integration yet. Maybe he doesn't have uh, stuff, bonuses, cards put on, and so on and so forth. We'll see. He definitely needs uh, more than 150 on those cities. Yeah, we do need to see if, uh, there we go, the attack on Memphis has started, uh, under siege uh, penalty is already activated, we do have Orval with these tank cores and a tank, a normal tank to deal the damage, and I do notice uh, he's gonna also start to do the damage against uh, the city of Lyon slowly but surely, I do notice his uh, tank armies are more than capable of uh, punching through, while the city of Rennes is also gonna be probably liberated, so they will manage to get 200 Diplo favor points, which would put them uh, over there, competitive in the point screen, in the Diplo favor point screen with the uh, Golden Age. Yeah, this uh, looks like this army of Macedon is just gonna be uh, squished. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's dead. And these are normal tanks coming way too slow from his uh, lands, way too slow. Ren got um, taken back. It could be liberated. I don't know if uh, Persia is gonna do that, but of course it would be easy to liberate it. I think he's afraid of uh, getting his uh, units pushed. Weirdly.
Oh, there's also a great general for Georgia. He did manage to acquire Dandara. Napoleon Bonaparte is on Macedon. And did Persia did manage to get one? I don't see one. No. No, he didn't. Did not get one. Okay, airports coming up from Rome for that extra um, aluminium pelton. I do see he did finish Casa de Constatación. And uh, I do see him also benefiting from 300 gold a turn now with 741 production. In a normal age, he doesn't even have a golden age 44 in the coin age. Neither Shaw also doesn't have a golden age one. I do see Orval is in a two arms golden age for the extra damage against city centers. This is probably how he's doing so much damage against these cities with walls. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely that. Okay. Artillery is from Macedon, just uh, getting back into the city centers. I do notice Persia did deploy one single tank to defend the city of Amboise. Uh, looking at the uh, Georgian May production, he's going for a lot more helicopters to come out of his cities. While he did fend off the attack of America from his west, I do see him uh, just putting a few helicopters there for good measure, but he cannot really punch through the helicopter, uh, the infantry corps or armies, of course, of America. Uh, we do have him with uh, quite a few new writers and uh, still has musicians to work their magic but uh, still prefers to actually take down his opponents much faster than he is um... oh there we go that's the liberation on ren of course that city could just die right now the tank for of macedon should be able to take it back and uh, raise it to the ground it's gonna be very awkward if he doesn't get to uh, click on the raise button Oh, 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 oh my god, Persia would have handled that so nicely. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Persia just needs to uh, take care of the remaining tank corps of uh, Macedon and then move forward towards the main cities. It does seem like uh, Ruin is going to be a bit of a pain, but I'm pretty sure the bombers uh, coming out next time from Pasagarda are going to make quick work of that defense. Then, of course, he does have artilleries that could also do the damage. Uh, Lyon is also recovered. More Diplo favor acquired here. Actually, yeah, more Diplo favor on uh, Golden Age. Yeah, Golden Age. They have so much more Diplo favor. And they still can get more. Another 200 points from Paris and Rouen. Okay, this city in the south got taken. Georgia is moving his army towards the north. And it looks like uh, he's leaving the city of Shedet here. We do have a few tanks from Macedon on that uh, coastline next to Armag. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Spaceports coming in. We do have military engineers uh, building up the railroads everywhere. More spaceports, more spaceports. And he did deploy a few fighters towards the northeast. Uh, north, uh, yeah, northeast. While he, uh, I do see he is going to need to meet these anti air guns in the cities of uh, Rome. He can't really push in there. So I guess we're going to need to wait and see if they do manage to get those uh, technologies. Do they? Nuclear fission from Lingxia next turn? Yeah, I think they will. To be honest, by the looks of it, I think uh, Rome is going to start nuking faster than uh, Ranash can start nuking and Jeru can defend himself. Let's see. Let's see. Lingxia getting nuclear fission and uh, benefiting from uh, very, very strong cities. 140 production uh, in his capital. Ostia 106. We got Achillea on uh, 87. Antium second city is... How much is this? 146. Ravenna is also 50. That's kind of slow. Uh, Kume only 76. Okay, so these two cities are going to be the main ones. With uh, Achillea sprinkled in. Ooh, fighter, 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 fighter. Lots of defensive fighters, fighters, fighters. Uh, what is Persia doing? Is he getting his own... Go yeah, okay. He's going for uh, totalitarianism in four, synthetic materials in one. He is uh, probably going to get that um, bomber to attack the city of Ruan. And he's also probably going to need to pre-build a few more of these um, 
helicopters. He only has a single upgrade for helicopters, unless he's going jet bombers. I don't really think it makes uh, that much sense to discover right now this, but I think he's going jet bombers. He's going to want to finish off Macedon quickly. Uh, there is a safety setter from Macedon going towards the east side. Uh, yes, Egypt still didn't set. Oh, wait, what? What's, th what's this city doing? Oh my god, Egypt got away, guys. I just noticed. I couldn't see it because of the map. But look at this. What is this city doing? Just chilling, having a party, having a bath over there in the with the igloos and the penguins. Oh my god, the four penguins, man. They got here. Okay, my hat the project coming in, coming in. Oh, first, he's going for stock exchanges for the gold per turn. Okay, well, he does have same 154 points of production, while Jeru is also 728. But I gotta say, there is a difference in city count here. We do have Rome on, only on eight cities, while Jeru is on 11. Uh, not to mention, Jeru is in a heroic age there, getting the production of his campus adjacency. Uh, we got a few tank armies coming up from Persia, more spies also coming up, putting down his uh, industrial zones and finishing his uh, coal power plants. The city of Ruin is being put under siege and he's waiting to do the damage with his artilleries and the bomber next turn. While the units of uh, Georgia have started the positioning themselves uh, next to the city of Pari slowly, but surely he does have an artillery army on the way, able to take down those steel walls. Uh, totally ignoring the cities of uh, the remaining city of Egypt shared here to the east side while uh, he basically neutered Egypt he couldn't take out the military alliance advantage of his opponent's units okay let's see let's see Jeru is 16 out of 20 diplo 16 out of 20 diplo wait he got Potala did he get Potala wasn't it built Oh my god. What did he do for these two points? I don't see Potala. Did he Mahabori Temple? He did get Mahabori. Oh, I see. So he got Mahabori Temple for those uh, two extra points. Didn't he get Mahabori Temple before those extra two points? So wait, that means... Uh, wait, did he get Noble also? Oh, he got Noble. Okay. Okay. He got Noble and he got Einstein at the same time. Okay, well that puts him at a lot of science uh, potential, not really advantage right now, 465 points of science, uh, Linksia and Baptiste are both uh, ahead of him, not to mention they're uh, much higher in production. Uh, let's see let's see if jeru pulls this off computers in two turns scores 13 poor uh we do have uh, still america fighting off uh, the roman fighters not really fi uh, happening not really there's nothing really happening over there but america does have a chance of pushing through the georgian defenses on the west side of course with the p51 most tanks uh, securing the airspace around that city center i'm pretty sure these uh, helicopters are gonna die to them uh, not to mention these infantry corps uh, and armies can pass through now we do need to see anti-air guns and I do notice uh, there's a decent amount of production on Georgia to uh, get new units on the front line there and try to fend off uh, this attack but he does need anti-air guns in that city center if he wants to secure that city center. The P51, P51 Mustangs are going to make a lot of victims out of these units. Oh, we got an armada from Jeru coming up here. What is this gonna do? Okay, I don't know what's this gonna do. Just sailing away. Wait, can he trade? Oh, maybe he can trade with Troas, right? He's opening up the land to trade with Troas. No, they already know. They already know. It's fine. Okay, so they don't have. He doesn't have any more uh, Diplo favor because he's uh, too industrialized. I don't see Linksia has the same problem, but uh, in total, Golden Age does have more than enough uh, to secure the next Congress, even in a 4 versus 4 situation. 
you know, we do have the first spaceport coming around from Bilbao next turn and uh, one turn after that in the city of Madrid I do see Nikola Tesla is also there giving some points and uh, we do have Rome getting married Catherine Goddard for an extra diplomatic visibility over his opponents this is going to be massive uh, giving him the extra edge he needs to punch those uh, jet bombers through the defenses of his opponents and uh, nuke the main cities of uh, Spain here we're going to need to see him set up his infrastructure he did start off a little bit with uh, the railroads here but he stopped because of the Spanish air control we're probably gonna see a lot more units uh, come out to play against Spain when he's gonna want to uh, get the attack going uh, he also needs to set up his Manhattan project in his uh, cities right now he's working on lasers and uh, fascism coming out in three turns from him I would imagine uh, Manhattan project is gonna be built in more than four to five tens that does give him a good enough time to prepare his army with his other cities and uh, move uh, start moving them towards spain okay georgia okay. losing the strength of these cities but not really caring that much is um these helicopters do manage to uh, hold on the line in the infantries okay and i do see more of them are on the way uh, there's another attack on uh, the city of Paris. Ruan did get liberated. More Diplo favor points on Golden Age. Okay. Still ignoring of, uh, the city of Shedet and also probably the city in the south, which is, uh, yeah, not doing anything. Uh, why would they not liberate all of France's cities? They are. They are. And get the Diplo favor. They are. They are liberating everything. Look, Ruan. They're getting it. Okay, Jet Fighter is coming out from Rome. He is going to do quite a bit of damage now against these P-51 Mustangs if uh, if they do have anti-air guns uh, support. And as you can see, these Jet Fighters will make quick work of the Fighters of Spain much faster. Uh, we do need to see how many of them are going to get deployed to the west side. And uh, we do need to see uh, how quickly and when is he going to start on that Manhattan project with uh, fascism coming out in three turns. I would imagine he's going to wait on attacking his opponent those, uh, those few turns. He could still do some uh, clear pickings of the uh, fighters of, of these uh, infantry for example this one can be taken out uh, which one is uh, still uh, I think this one also can be taken out like one shot is that enough uh, range though how, how much range do they these have six tiles right two four six that is enough range so he could take out two units here next turn even with the anti-air gun anti-air gun support uh, two turning cap armies, oh my god, from the city of Ostia, we do have fishing up a stock exchange and five turning Manhattan project in the city of Antium. I do notice uh, coal power plants are going to finish also next turn and the uh, Linksia is going to get his um, uh, synthetic materials so also next turn for the upgrade for the um, helicopters. And while I do notice Georgia keeps on pillaging the lands of um, Macedon, Macedon has a big problem with oil, and as you can see, minus uh, five insufficient oil does not help at all. Uh, keep, uh, keeping up the damage against uh, Persia, he's gonna start retreating and try to bunker down a little bit in the city of Methone. His initial settles while he is getting a few helicopters out of his cities to um, try to do some pillages or maybe even take out some, uh, take back the city of France and uh, raise it to the ground now we do have uh, georgia also recovering some health in the cities he acquired from uh, egypt while well, i do notice uh, macedon here is uh, keeping something back to have shed it but not really doing anything anyway now uh, let's see this one didn't die no no we got a uh, jet fighter deployed to the west side he's meeting all of these fighters on the front line here but still if he does manage to get uh, more next to him he's gonna manage to take out all of these uh, spanish units oh and the air gun defense started uh, showing up his strength where oh he's attacking to a 50 oh my god it was too late oh no he did manage to do some damage here to a fighter did he take out a fighter he probably caught a fighter out of uh, position Or that was that a bomber? That was a bomber that attacked into something. I don't know into what, but well, it is what it is. Oh, he attacked into Akalkalaki. I get. It. I see what it is. Okay, in the east side. That's why the city doesn't have any more walls. Oh well. 
I don't see more military hardware coming up from Georgia on the west side, and he's also getting that happiness uh, from the sewers in his empire. Uh, we do have uh, research snipes coming up also from Tsukumi, while I do notice a spamming of tank wars from and tank armies from his uh, cities with uh, fighters. It's gonna, it should give him the edge he needs to attack into America. Now, remember, even if we do have a few projects coming up from Spain, he needs four projects, he needs technologies, and he needs to wait for that uh, spaceship to arrive at the destination, which, yes, he could help out, but that also requires a lot of knowledge, a lot of technology to discover the later later stages, the terrestrial laser station, uh, the laser stations in general. Uh, so what is it? Outworld exploration or off-world exploration, something, something like that? That's very far, very far into the tech tree. And he's only on 600 science. I know I say it's only on 600 science, but that is quite low. He cannot uh, one turn techs. Quite a few of these jet fighters of Rome are damaged. They're going to need uh, to repair their health and they do need to actually get back into their um, hangars to actually to do that. While uh, we do have him uh, still needing to deploy more units on the west side, he's uh, actually getting these military engineers uh, there with the Cavs defenses. Maybe he will manage to keep on building up that railroad and uh, keep going against his opponent while he is getting his uh, helicopter armies from multiple cities. I do see Manhattan Project finishing up in three turns. It's going to be amazing. Also, we've got uh, Shah Jalan here for the extra production towards wonders not really caring about that to be honest or is it extra production it's purchase production towards wonder construction at a rate of two gold per one production well that's expensive bro i guess they took all of the gold of linksia to not be um how to say uh incentivized to get that gold into a wonder I mean, who doesn't like Menashki Temple, right? You gotta pay for that, man. That is the best temple in the world. What, man? You haven't seen cheese coming up of the Menashki Temple as uh, you're gonna see if you pay with gold for it, man. Oh, man, it is what it is. Alexandropoli uh, getting that victor defense even though it didn't matter that much on the city of Ruin and both uh, Ruin and Paris now are now liberated and uh, got back into the borders of Ola Ketal of uh, France uh, Eras uh, talking about uh, technologies over here we do have Orval also discovering nuclear fission next end and he also has a decent amount of production to uh, get that Manhattan quickly uh, taking a look at how quickly he's building his tanks I'm sure he's gonna get the nukes going that's gonna be uh, two civilizations attacking him to uh, two other civilizations that are right now being left um, uh, relevant. Ranashi is two turns away from getting combined arms, which will uh, give him access to nuclear fusion technology, which of course needs to also be uh, discovered. He's also going for mobilization in six, and I do see that Jeru is going for his satellites and mobilization. We don't really see my had a project getting out of the cities of Spain right now, but I do notice he did manage to get his jet fighters in the north. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now we do have uh, two turns for launch a satellite. That's going to be the first one, uh, the first project out from the science victory and we, yes that will reveal all of the territory of the map yeah, Persia needs to get some airstrips here so he can move his bombers and also I see Persia going for not only nukes in two turns but he's going for a spaceport in seven so a third nation, three nations that can get nukes against uh, their opponents. Three nations getting nukes. Oh, there's another tiny city of France over here between his uh, big brothers. Oh, look at that, oh, the city of Nantes. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, no more units, Roma. Not... Oh, oh, I see. Wait, wait. Is uh, Spain... Okay, he's getting privateers, but it's not like he's going to do that much damage unless uh, these cities are going to be taken. I guess they will be taken. Uh, the biggest question is, can he actually get some... Uh submarines nuclear submarines to uh, delete the units of his opponents i don't think so right he won't have uh, nukes in time well i guess uh, he does need to get a defense going on land rather than anything else he does have a missile cruiser armadas coming from faradolid and sending more units to the west side wait whoa 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 so first of all yes armark probably at some point might actually get uh, liberated so that's a city that he might might that's a big might big question mark over there he might get to liberate it back yes uh, maybe he's gonna have the opportunity to do some damage against these cities uh, like uh, after they get uh, taken by his opponent but this is a major investment by the way this is a major investment of units and production to actually get there and secure that coast maybe it's just me but i'm not sure if uh, why is this an investment here is it to i mean macedon did get a safety settler right yeah he's gonna get it to the north here in cordoba it's fine uh so it is what it is he's gonna lose his capitals it's not like he can do anything about it nor france can actually move a muscle to do anything about it uh gold per ten here was Giroud did manage to get 567 gold and i do see him on 828 production that's pretty good right now uh we do have him also with uh i would say 611 science points not bad not bad not bad but might not be good enough let's see let's see maybe i'm uh, not a believer right now let's see if he makes me a believer uh is it me or macedon should have done a lot more chops uh, I mean, he he did have like, two more chops. That's about it. Because these uh, flat tiles, you don't really want to chop. You want to get some lumber mills later on. He had two more chops. This and this. That's it. He done. He he did most of the chops he could. I guess those ones he just didn't get to. Okay, okay, Alkalaki is still alive, and Yergan is still uh, kicking, helicopter army is coming in, uh, stronger than the helicopter, the infantry corps. Uh, we do have uh, some of these P-51s dying, and uh, we do need to see if these uh, Roman jet fighters are going to manage to get their promotions. I gotta say, he's keeping them like this. Does he have a uh, oh, supply convoy? I see. We do have uh, helicopters here on the west side starting to move forward while uh, his uh, jet fighters are fighting off the Spanish units. It looks like uh, both sides remained on two remaining uh, fighters in the air. Uh, launch moon landing is happening in four turns while we do have uh, multiple units uh, getting out on the land and on the seas of uh, Spain. He's trying to do a concentrated move of defense here of pushing his borders as far away or pushing the possible front lines as far away from his lands as possible. Now, uh, next turn we're going to see Manhattan Project finish in the city of Antium that will give uh, Rome the opportunity to use his production to get those nukes as quickly as possible. He does need jet bombers and he does need to be closer to uh, Spain unless he's going to start nibbling at the Spanish Empire a turn by turn or city by city oh lucky nuke Antanarivo I think this is a sign I think they're actually wanting us to nuke Antanarivo I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Rome is getting a message over here it's all you know nuke Antanarivo
Okay, well, Georgia did manage to get to the doorstep of the main cities of Macedon, and uh, slowly with uh, Persia's uh, units, he will probably take over those cities, no problems, especially with the bombers starting to uh, deploy over there on the front line. Uh, it's just a matter of time until those uh, steel walls are gonna buckle. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, looking at the southwest, we do need to see more fighters and more bombers also deployed from Georgia, getting them upgraded into jet fighters and uh, finishing up the nukes. Uh, well, we don't have that many nukes. What going on well rome does have a full 60 uranium but he didn't put a single nuke in his production queues he did choose to build up some more helicopters and jet fighters and i do see he uh, got a round of helicopter cores uh, uh, helicopter armies uh, built you uh, trained we do see that there aren't that many units from spain to defend the city of antanarivo nor is he actually making that many but he's gonna get machine gun at least in bilbao and that will increase the city's defense uh, higher well, it will increase the city's defense. Uh, the city of Cleveland is also getting um, <coughs> smashed here. How did it get to half HP with an entier gun inside? What? Okay, that's weird. This is what it is. This uh, Georgian fighter does seem like it's... I um, will say... Um, it's a sacrificial fighter. Uh, good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome. Also, good shoot. Boss almost you, bienvenue. Uh, can you show number of techs on whom? On everybody? Okay. Well, 25 on France. Tamar is 58. Cool. Um, Baptiste is uh, 62 on Persia. Lixia is 60. Gabzu is 39. Jeru is on 62. Ranash is 53. And then time to throw is 41. The sacrificial lamb. Yeah, yeah. Muzdrath, oh, it's Spain versus the world? Yes, basically, with a little bit of Lincoln on the side. It's Spain with a little bit of Lincoln on one side of the hamburger, and on the other side, there's, uh, well, <laughs> Persia, Rome, and uh, Tamar. Where are the nukes coming? Oh, thank you, thanks. Modern Armor Army is coming out from Georgia. I do see um, also more drums coming out of his cities and finishing up his bombers. We got a mass of bombers actually coming out of his cities but they first need to break through the air force of america and that's a not an easy feat also i'm very curious where are the first nukes coming from oh there we go four tens for the first nuke in antium uh is he actually gonna keep his uranium for actually uh, you know the big boys for the gdrs here he's getting kind of systems in one he shouldn't be that far away from getting uh, gdrs okay Eastern side, Alexandropoli is going to be taken out before the battleship Armadas actually can do damage. We do have a Persian fighter deployed into the sea, seeing those uh, battleship Armadas from far away. Now we do have also where artillery is. Where are only one artillery army? I guess it's enough to take down the city. It just takes a little bit more time than uh, you would want to. I don't see any suspense here. Golden Age should win this one it might be it might be yeah well to be honest it does seem like uh, it's a bit slow over here to get the projects but i do see uh, mobile sams are starting to come out of the cities of spain he's gonna try to defend himself on the coast with a missile cruiser armada some uh, jet fighters as well as on the land with mobile sams in his cities against those nukes of his opponent but still is it gonna be enough that's the question uh, these uh, roman helicopters are gonna start doing a lot of uh, chaos in the lands of spain pillaging tiles and uh, taking down you know, these uh, traders not to mention uh, taking out districts well we're gonna need to see if uh, spain will have enough units and enough defensive capabilities of withstanding uh, multiple opponents at the same time it's quite easy to actually just sneak a nuke over here against the infantry course you know just sneak it through bro he's not gonna know just sneak it through get it in there no just just a bit just a bit no okay well, it is what it is. Uh, GDR might change the situation. <clears throat> if uh, you mean GDR, if Spain gets it. And no victory in Anta? No, no victory in Anta. No, nope. actually, I don't think he has victor anywhere. Yeah, he doesn't have victor anywhere.
Okay, looks like uh, Jet Fighters of Rome are managing to win the game against uh, Spain and uh, yes, the helicopters are going to need to start uh, arming up and uh, going forward. They can definitely do the damage against the Spanish defenders. Uh, we do have uh, two Jet Fighters deployed on the west side on the airstrip. I don't see any Bomber getting there, but I guess uh, we will see it being deployed. Ostia has one, another two coming out uh, in... Uh, actually, yeah, another two are coming out in two turns. One next turn, one uh, the turn thereafter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Ah, I see. Okay, so Alexander Dropoli is on his last legs. Is this what's going to happen? Looks like uh, the Spanish destroyer Armada did go to the north there. And uh, I do notice uh, Peja's tanks are repositioning, uh, starting to uh, grab a hold on uh, Alexander Dropoli's uh, northern coast. Now we do have uh, Macedon also moving out his artillery, so he doesn't lose them, but I do see he's still going to lose the city regardless of what he's doing here. Uh, well, I do also notice on, in the lands of uh, Spain, we do have that uh, moon landing finishing up next turn, and he's, um, since he did lose most of his defense here in Antanarivo, I'm actually quite curious uh, how long that jet fighter is going to stay alive. He did get the mobile SAM, so the skies are safe for a little while longer. I think I jump in around. Anyway, uh, more helicopters coming out also from the lands of Rome. Uh, did he deploy a bomber? Not yet, not yet. He, when is he getting jet bombers though? Alexia getting satellites, Baptist's guidance systems, Orval is going uh, stealth tech, and globalization in five. Well, 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 well. He was also massively spamming out these bombers and uh, mo modern armor armies. <clears throat> It was a very good choice from him to actually switch towards building an army and an economy to go against his opponent rather than uh, going for a culture victory. I'd also notice Rome did get the four digit number of uh, production. He's on a thousand and nine points right now with 524 points of science and 175 points of culture. Definitely has the strongest economy between them. While uh, Jeru does have uh, 554 points, he's keeping up uh, all of his teammates here. Well, I should say uh, strongest economy. Um, well, it's not really the strongest. He has a strong economy, not really the strongest economy. I take that back. Okay, I take that back. You didn't hear anything. Okay. Orval uh, is uh, barely scratching this culture surface anymore. We do have in the Diplo screen 16 out of 20 points. So yeah, four more points to get there. But uh, like we've seen, there's way too much Diplo here. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Way too much Diplo, way too much Diplo, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I gotta say, he could figure out what his opponents are gonna vote. Uh, we do have three more turns for uh, this vote to happen and we're gonna need to see if uh, he's gonna manage to figure out what his opponents are doing. And he could actually get a Diplo victory if he votes uh, as his opponents are voting. Actually, wait. Yeah, he, it is what it is. Oh, no. well, no, no, no. Uh, that's one point. That's, wait, he's 17. No, he still can't wait. No, oh my god. I'm getting tired. Oh, for GDR got bot. For GDR got bot. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, well, that's a GDR for you. That's a one less uh, nuclear place. Uh, have you ever cast a game that went 250 turns? No, no. I cast a game that went 150 though. Like 150. Yeah, 150. That was the maximum. Uh, maximum because of the tournament design, not because of anything else. Also, impressive defense from America. Yes, Garu Gary. Hello there, sir. Good evening. Aluminium. He's losing. He doesn't have aluminium. Oh, wait, whom? Who doesn't have aluminium? Uh, bomber, 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 B-51, okay, both of them have aluminium, does this guy, does Spain have aluminium? No. I do see the plastics intel from uh, Rome, by the way. That's helping him out quite a bit. 
against uh, Spain. Wait a second, did he get converted? Oh no, he got converted by uh, Tamar. So now there's an extra plus five on Spain against Rome. Oh, that's massive. That's gonna help him out so much. Now, how quickly can he build GDR? Six turns to get one, four turns to get one? Okay, that, that kind of sounds like a uh, good enough time. But he still didn't manage to get his uh, third project. And I do see him uh, well, getting his composites in two turns. Managing to defend against uh, some of the Roman attacks. But to be honest, uh, these helicopters uh, might actually die next turn because of the jet fighters. Uh, looking at this, uh, another city has been taken down and it looks like Macedon is going to lose Methon soon. Uh, also, not to mention Armag is going to get cleaned up. I'm pretty sure that's just going to be uh, liberated and then attacked again. 100 Diplo favor, easy peasy. Wait, wasn't there a city here? Oh, he moved out. He actually moved away. He's sailing away, guys. Guys, this is this is not... Where, where are you going? Time to Where are you going? You're taking cities from Spain? I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Jabu, good evening. Diplo is uh, 16 out of uh, 20. 16 out of 20 on Jeru. Yeah, I don't think um, he can actually win even without... Yeah, even if I'm trying to do some over there, create some tension. No, I, he's not going to get the win. Uh, even if uh, he correctly predicts every one of the options his opponents are going to go for. Unless their opponents are going to go for plus him, which is not going to happen. Mm. Uh, that uh, That is a dangerous number. Yes, that is a dangerous number indeed. That is very, very dangerous. No, oh, we got some uh, units here from Spain managing to figure out there's a pathway in the north towards Persia. Maybe uh, Spain is actually going to try to do something over there on the coast, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, it is what it is. It's still going to force Persia to do some defense. And, uh, well, Spain at the moment will also require himself to defend him against um, Rome. Whoa, wait, he lost two turns of production in Bilbao? Wasn't he building it? in six turns oh okay he got it back it's fine uh cleveland losing uh, majority of his strength here but still has a little sliver of uh, the wall strength we do have a tank uh, modern armor actually coming up from georgia he does need to upgrade most of the others but he was start building a lot of them where did they go though i'm pretty sure there were a lot of tank armies coming out where did they go Southeast, northwest, no? East? Okay, he got a few of here. He cleaned up uh, Armag. Hmm. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what he got. It is what it is. I don't see them anywhere else, so I guess that's that's where they are. Well, Rome will need quite a few nukes, and he is starting to build those nukes. He is also probably on the path to getting his own GDRs. It's just a matter of time. While uh, the same can be said about Nader Shah going for his uh, nanotechnology and reform change next on KW, finishing up uh, the first spaceport, needs to catch up on the projects. There were already uh, two projects done. Yeah, two projects done by uh, Jeru. He needs another two and then uh, getting the final ones. He did stop a little bit because he got uh, fascism and war department is coming up from Madrid in two turns. When I do notice that the other spaceports are also getting finished. We do need to see how fast he's also going to get smart materials. I don't think he actually discovered smart materials. But anyway, we're going to have a pause for the Congress. We're going to need to see if uh, they do manage to uh, get this done. And I do want to put it to industrial city. -state. There we go. And uh, oh my god, something. Uh, nobody wants that. Okay. There we go. Two minutes and we're coming back to see the conclusion.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Why is it loose? Why is it loose? Oh no. There we go. Okay, we got them back. Ooh, 12 tens to build a spaceport. That's not enough, sir. We do need to see what's going on over here in the northeast of his empire because, yes, we do need to see if the GDRs are going to be enough to uh, deter us. Uh, Rome from attacking into him with nukes we do have the first nuke coming out next turn and we're going to need to see the destination i'm pretty sure he does need to get his own gdrs both baptist and links here on robotics in two turns uh philip the second did get uh, to lose to um okay okay i think his uh his diplo victory just went down the drain yeah he's still on 16 out of 20 so he did manage to um uh, know two of those votes but couldn't get the third one he just stayed there it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, Jet Bomber is also coming out from Georgia. Did he get his Manhattan project? I didn't see him get his Manhattan project. He just kept on building Jet Bombers. I didn't see him get his Manhattan project. And of course, I do have to say that uh, he's going to get the GDRs soon also. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for his own GDRs. That's going to be way too many GDRs than Spain can handle. He's just going to be overwhelmed, unfortunately. Anyway. We're going to get to see, first of all, America uh, trying to fend off attacks over here with a big marginal line that he created in Cleveland and Washington. What I do see, uh, he's getting pushed by multiple helicopter armies. We do have also modern armor uh, around, sprinkled around, while Orval did not get to upgrade these ones. I do have to say, uh, the second you upgrade them, you don't have a problem when it comes to the general. He has the general for the tank armies, doesn't have the general for the modern armor armies. Oh, there we go. Uh, back to my uh, back to my stuff. Nah, to nukes, 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 nukes. We're gonna see next turn. The nuke next to needs to come next turn. Uh, east side, Georgia's cleaning up uh, slowly but surely. Macedon still Macedon uh, got the city on the other side, so he's not gonna cl be cleaned up uh, entirely, but. You know, he still has these units here. He wants to do the damage. Now we do have uh, space ports coming around. First project is uh, very slow from Susa in five turns. It does need uh, the full production of Mashad. What I do notice, the first nuke has been delivered. Oh, Tony Spitzer is arriving in the city of America. And the capital has been taken down. Ranash loses Washington in one quick move of uh, Rome. He found the one tile that he, it was left discovered by America. The one tile. So another nuke will be out next this turn, right? So we're going to need to see another nuke deployed. Smart materials coming out from Baptist next turn. That means also Jeru should have it. Wait a second, does he have it? Whoa, 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 wait, bro science no he didn't get it oh lol okay interesting he's going for his uh, nanotech nano nano nanotech uh yield stab i do see jeru is on 626 uh, production while we do have link oh 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 delivery another special delivery in the lands of san luis we do have a uh, nuke being deployed I think uh, I'm gonna clip that. Yeah, yeah. Just the special delivery. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, Ancestral Hall getting built by France. Oh, he's, he has dreams of catching back. Okay, another city has been taken down. Macedon lost another one. And he's uh, struggling to get uh, new units anyway out uh, of the box here. We do need to see uh, how fast Georgia can actually take over the city of Cleveland. That has major advantages here with mechanized infantry already deployed. Uh, we do need to see the first... Wait, that's a bomber attack. Or did, was that a bomber moving? No. Uh, do we have 
GDR somewhere. We don't have GDRs anywhere, right? Washington got taken back by America. He's actually going to lose that uh, infantry if he keeps it there on that tile. It's uh, irradiated. The same can be said about the units uh, if he puts them next to San Luis. <clears throat> Don't really see. Okay, he's getting more bombs, more bombs, more bombs, more uh, jet <laughs> bombers also. Yeah. Robotics coming out next time from uh, Lincia. Baptista will need to. Wait, was he? Did he actually manage to get the robotics first? I think he did, right? He did get it before Lincia did. Hmm. Where are the GDRs? He's not building them. He's going directly space. They probably uh, did think that uh, they will need to slow down as much as possible uh, America and then push with uh, their own projects if um, the game slows down too much. Uh, GDS more GDS coming out from Spain. He's going to get another one in two turns and I do see seven turns here in the city of Cadiz. Three turning Mars Colony from uh, the city of Madrid while he is going to need to get a lot more jet fighters. I do have to say um, getting these mobile SAMs is going to help him quite a bit but uh, it might not stop the nukes or the GDS from uh, taking over the cities depending on uh, how many of those are you going to see and I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of them like especially over here this, this uh i'll say uh, georgia should start building them as soon as he gets the technology no not to mention uh we, oh okay so baptist did not get the robotics faster okay uh launch a satellite uh, next turn two turns for spaceport in the city of mashad was this cleaned up no this this arrives to its destination it's gonna be another safety settle we got la venta taken down wait where was La Venta? And, oh, oh, I see. Just Rome casually getting a GDR there and uh, one shotting La Venta. Well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, they could actually clean up entirely Maceron. If he gets a GDR there, he could just uh, take out the city. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, like deploy a nuke over here on the antiquity site and then uh, take over the city with a helicopter. Could definitely do that. There are two remaining cities of Macedon, and as you can see, Georgia keeps on pushing through with uh, the uh, units of Persia in behind. The observation balloons helping him to deal the damage from three tiles out, keeping these artillery safe from uh, counterfire. Oh, I don't want to. Uh... Share the clip. And Sasu, it is nuke time. Yes, it is. Someone throw in the towel. No, man. Uh, the, um, how to say, you know how in cartoons, uh, those uh, characters are getting their, um, how to say, uh, panties, their white panties, their whiteies off, and they're putting them on a stick, and they're like waving them. This, this is what they need to do, you know? <laughs> Okay, so Washington getting to block the northern side of his uh, city with multiple P-51 um, Mustangs. Nobody can get into uh, San Luis's uh, borders until, uh, well, we're going to see those GDRs jump. Uh, we do have uh, also Georgia needing to uh, clear off the units of America here, and it looks like he still has uh, quite a few problems pushing in through those uh, units. The infantry are a bit too high up in damage. Now, we do need to see how many of these jet bombers are going to come out, and uh, when is he going to get that Manhattan project? Because I'm pretty sure he didn't get it yet now we also need to see how many um, of these uh, gdrs will rome have uh, soon he's uh, starting to four turn them three turn them five turn them from his cities which is a pretty good amount of uh, production here being delivered into that he's also getting telecommunications uh -huh. oh oh nuke 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 uh knock knock who's there nuki and 
Another one. Well, it is what it is. It was a good city, but it didn't last long. Well, we do have uh, mobile SAMs also being delivered to the units on the west side. Uh, they're going to try to defend themselves, uh, fend off attacks from those jet fighters, actually making them uh, quite disincentivized from attacking into those tiles. And we got the American P-51s also attacked by uh, the jet fighters, and it looks like uh, they might take both of them down. They did. Now, we do need to see uh, also if Georgia is going to manage to push now through Cleveland, since these units are cut off from the mainland. And we also see Georgia did manage to take out another city in the south here of uh, Washington. I don't know how that was called, but that was the city center. Uh, is the Diplo win out of the table? Yes, not Jajaron. It's out of the table. It's still uh, 16. He still has 16 out of 20 points. And uh, looking at the score screen here, it's not like uh, they don't have points. Can they withstand? I don't know if they can actually uh, stay alive for another uh, 17. Well, Akima. Wait. Well, the American units did manage to deliver some uh, freedom over there on the um, on the helicopter. We do need to see if uh, they do manage to get their health and also reposition to his uh, core series because, well, he won't be able to stop over here the units of his opponent. Athena. Hey, what are you doing? I stick with we got uh, Akalkalaki also getting another jet bomber and I do know the San Luis is uh, getting attacked but the walls are back and uh, he couldn't actually push through with a helicopter and we do have uh, more of these jet fighters attacking and with the war department bonus he's getting the health back on them. Now, I do also notice to the northwest that the GDR has started moving towards the city of Antananarivo, where there are two GDRs waiting from Spain. Uh, he couldn't manage to punch through the city of uh, Alexandropolis uh, borders there, and I don't, well, maybe he doesn't even know about that city center. I'm pretty sure he will have the distance if he does manage to get a jet bomber on the west side to actually nuke it from La Venta, or he could have had that. Now, more GDRs are coming out from the cities of Rome, and it looks like uh, the capital city of Macedon has also been taken down Pella while we do have uh, one more city remaining in the north well there still is this one on the other side of the coast I do want to check the vision though yeah they do know about uh, this city they do know oh my god Athena okay uh, let's see what's going on here uh, Washington got liberated again, but, well, liberated, got uh, taken back again by uh, America, or was it Spain? Did Spain manage to get uh, 100 points? Because that would be very valuable. E they might have, actually. They might have. Okay, finally, Georgia is making some headway towards uh, the city of Cleveland, and we're going to need to see if uh, he's going to get to nuke it soon. And we do have uh, Governor Victor deployed there. That's going to be quite hard to move uh, air offense against it. And uh, I do notice he's going to have a lot of anti-air guns uh, for the counter if uh, any of those uh, P-51s are going to think of um, de being deployed. But I don't think he has any more of them. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, he lost um, the majority of his P-51 Air Force. We need to uh, click on click. There we go. Came at Elobutsu. Okay. Uh, Thanks from Macedon. Just uh, staying around there. Not really doing anything. Maybe going towards the city. Of oh my god. Is he going to take the city of Paris with a tank core? Hey, 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 look. You see? This better. This. Oh, yes, look. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is much better. Much better than wire. This much better than wire. I'm telling you, man, control destruction. I know it's gonna happen, but at least uh, maybe I can control the process. Come on. Angard! Angard! No? Anyway. 
We got uh, the tank armies uh, pinning next to uh, the city of Alexandria Taurus, but uh, without those artillery cores, it's going to take a little bit more time than usual uh, to take that down. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. They're going to get into range, especially with the balloon. Uh, we do have uh, also uh, these GDRs needing to get uh, more in numbers here. And of course, uh, both of them are uh, getting them done from uh, their cities. Now we do have uh, another wave of uh, GDRs coming up from uh, the Spanish cities. What I do notice is getting uh, mobile SAMs in each of his cities five tenths for exoplanet expedition it does seem like the time is uh, narrowing down here and we don't really have that much time uh, for persia or georgia or rome to react to their opponents they need to do this and they need to do this quickly now we do have uh, moon landing also coming up from susan next turn he did finish his spaceport from uh, mashad yes he did and i do see sparta working on one also uh we do need to see if persia did choose war department or he went for uh, the other building he went for royal society so he can use the builder charges to get more production towards the space projects entertainment complex also coming up from mashad looks like uh, that's he does 22 foods or you know, 22 population city hello Hello. Hey. 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 Fatima. We got builders coming up from the other cities to try to get that production going and it looks like uh, we will need to move away but my hand is stuck. I'm, I'm sorry but my hand is stuck. Okay, there we go. I got my hand unstuck. Uh, okay, the other hand is stuck now. Uh, we, let's see. Bro, bro, bro. Infantry armies should be strong enough to withstand the tank armies. Yes, modern armors uh, should be the ones uh, dealing with that. Rome is starting to also move uh, directly towards with his army towards the irradiated cities of America. And by Lucifer, some P-51s are still out uh, or going to come out from San Luis. Uh, there was a nuke that was uh, not delivered in the city of uh, San Luis. Uh, finally, somehow, I don't know how, that uh, nuke did not blow. How did it not blow? There's no defense here. How did it not blow? What happened? Kick. Like, really, there's no defense. How did that not explode? Anyway, it is what it is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, research labs. We got multiple spaceports also coming around here. And, by, and uh, two turns for that uh, moon landing to finish in the cities of uh, Mashad. But still, there's an advantage here for um, Spain. Did he actually finish? Because he just. Oh, he got Sergei. Oh. He got Sergei. Did he want in this? No. Okay. Wait. Did he not use a charge? He did not use the charge. That's every hundred, 750 production to space race uh, projects. He could he, sh he could one turn that um, last mission. Okay, question is, does he have uh, expedition? He's going for a seasteads in two turns, so he should have the old expedition technology. Uh, smart materials, or even more, he already has smart materials. Offworld expedition. Does he have Oxford ex Oxford expedition? He clearly doesn't have exoplanet expedition and he's okay there we go two turns uh, to finish exoplanet expedition he does have uh, sergey needing to get that uh, plugged in and i do see georgia has a spy working this rap rocket in four turns that's still gonna be f oh. oh yeah that's still gonna be faster than uh, he can get uh, the spy disruption mission it's good it's good one two gdrs Three, four. That's it? Four? Does he have a GDR deployed here? Yeah. Five. Okay. Mm, it does seem like uh, Spain is managing to keep up with the GDR numbers, at least uh, in the north. So it doesn't really have a GDR in the east, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We do have uh, Georgia pushing in and managing to do the damage against the remaining mechanized infantry. Of course, with only one and tier gun, now uh, the jet fighters will make quick work of the units around them. Hey. She's restless. It is what it is. She needs uh, to run somewhere. Go get your toys. Go get your toys. You have toys everywhere. Go get your toys. Go, go, go. 
not not that toy. Hey, 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 that's mine. That's mine. Oh, nukes, nukes, nukes. Oh, 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 oh. nukes from where? Nukes from where? <gasps> San Luis. No. New Orleans. Oh, he's getting the f fighters and the bombers. I see. Well, to be honest, it kind of felt like a waste of a nuke there. Was, was it actually something important? The great bath. That's the most important thing. I'm kidding. Kick. He wanted to nuke the bath. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you would ask many children, they would say, Ew, bath. No. Okay, Alexandria Torres uh, are gonna be taken. Looks like uh, the tank corps uh, should be able to take it here. They're probably um, a bit wary about the Spanish missile cruiser armadas that could. Oh, another one. <gasps> Cordoba got taken down. Okay, that's the first city that uh, Spain might lose here. Okay, we do have him uh, starting to do the damage against uh, the last remaining city of Maceron. And I do notice he will have another city to deal with in the north. Gamsu did manage to get another settler there. Yes, yeah, Smart Matilda is coming up in two turns from Linxia. Baptiste getting seasteads. Also, Jeru getting seasteads. But uh, still, that's going to put him on uh, 17 out of 20. Oh, he's going to be on 18 out of 20 points. Just going to need the uh, two points more to get that win. Uh, can he hold on another 13 turns? They need to kill him in the next 12 turns. If it goes to 13, it might be, um, well, it might be a bit problematic here with uh, how much Diplo favor they have. It's very close. Ce faci acolo? Pintate jos. My god. She's, she's trying to get through the, um, how to say, the support of the monitor and the support. There's like this big space and she's getting her head there and getting stuck. And then tries to use her uh, paw to deliver some distraction. Okay, where nukes? Where nukes? New Orleans got nuked. Okay, looks like San Luis might get nuked also. No, no, Toledo got nuked. That's a further inland city, further in city. I don't see uh, Spain is starting to put GDRs in uh, his uh, city so he can uh, properly defend against the nukes. Of course, uh, that uh, still is going to be just a matter of time until we might see some big boy nukes and more or more of these GDRs coming out from Rome to start doing the damage. Now we do need to see how quickly these American cities are going to be taken. Of course, it uh, repaired the walls, so he's still going to need to um, sustain damage enough to take down the walls back. Um, with uh, so many of these jet bombers deployed, I'm pretty sure they should be able to do it quickly. Oh, city got taken. City got taken. Bella, Bella is the last remaining city. No, no, we got uh, Dion also. And I do see the GDRs uh, could make quick work of that. The city is too far away for Spain to actually apply um, Air Force um, Umbrella. And of course, um, I do have to say that um, Rome could just go towards Cordoba next and keep going south. Not the chocolate. Oh my god, man. Come on. What am I going to do? Come on. Go to your chair. There we go. Mm. Nice clean. There we go. Uh, can you nuke your own city to wipe out the enemy uh, army in your land? Yes. Yes, you can actually do that. You cannot nuke your allies, though. You can nuke yourself, you cannot nuke your allies.
Anyway, uh, we do have uh, nuclear devices still coming out almost every 10 from Rome. And uh, yes, you did manage to recruit a few new uh, GDRs here. Uh, we do have the majority of them being sent to the west side where they are starting to take over cities. We do have also Athena starting to get all over the place. God. Okay, I'm sorry, Athena. You're going to need to uh, go in the other room. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, helicopter's going for the pillage, and uh, we do need to see if he's going to get the visibility over the other cities. He definitely sees the cities with the GDS inside of them because of the garrison defense strength. But uh, he's creeping closer, and he's going to start nuking uh, these uh, ports directly. So, for example, he could nuke the spaceport if he gets uh, close enough. He just took over the city of Cordoba and raised that. While I do see uh, and that's going to shave off quite a few stats from Jeru. We're going to need to see if it's going to be enough. Uh, Jeru still is on 663 signs with 710 products production and has multiple GDS coming in. New Orleans also got taken and uh, by the looks of it we might actually see a cleanup of uh, the American Empire here uh, relatively quickly. We still have uh, the city of Pella that needs to be uh, taken back. I believe they did manage to acquire Diplo Favor from liberating it. They have uh, significantly more Diplo Favor now than uh, Golden Age. So if th if this game goes to the, into the next 11 turns into the Congress. Oh my god. I see. I see. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It is what it is. Yeah, can you see me now? It's fine. I'm so sorry. The uh, Athena bumped your camera. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Athena does Athena things. Yep. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Brontron. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, Persia, 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 getting his exoplanet expedition in three turns. I didn't see the projects come out from uh, Spain, even though I'm pretty sure he actually finished the last project. We do have him on uh, one light year per turn. Jeru is going to need to get those uh, laser stations going. And he's, uh, I do notice, uh, well, right now he's cybernetics. Now, well, we do have all four expedition coming out from Baptist in two turns. He is going to get those projects rolling. And we're going to need to see if he's going to manage to get that space victory before it, um, before the call. Congress, uh, there are there is time actually there is time if he manages to get enough of these uh, projects going he should finish in like what five seven turns now how many space posts does he have one two three wait there was one here four yeah four okay five six yeah so six projects coming out seven actually seven projects eight with the spaceport okay eight projects that could potentially come out of his uh, empire this is what it is you want to check something give me a second Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. More nukes? No, this city got raised, and uh, of course we're waiting for next turn. Cadiz got raised. Whoa, how did they get here? They got a vision on it, uh, and I do see Georgia is gonna take it. We do have. Um, the GDR managing to take it before it got actually uh, raised to the ground, but that also nuked the spaceport from the capital. We do have another uh, takeover of the city on the east, uh, deletion of the city on the east. And uh, slowly but surely, Spain's empire is being uh, torn to shreds here. One city at a time. Washington is only going to be taken over this turn. Cleveland will also lose its border soon. And we do need to see how quickly uh, he can go through San Luis and also get those GDRs uh, fronting those uh, space, uh, those, uh, sorry, so also Spanish um, GDRs. We do have uh, quite a few more GDRs coming out from Georgia. While he did uh, prioritize getting uh, so many of these jet bombers, he couldn't really push through Cleveland with them. Uh, he started pushing towards Los Angeles and also will move forward towards Boston and Houston. 
Okay, Washington got taken. Uh, space, 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 exoplanet next turn. Uh, okay, that's an army of builders coming off from Persia. Uh, Persia is normal age. He does have democracy. And I do notice uh, still Spain is not getting those um, projects. He doesn't have the time. Three turns for, exo for off world expedition. That's going to be too late. He, uh, Persia is going to have at least two turns over him. And of course, uh, not to mention he has a problem with his spaceport needing to. Uh, be repaired to start the projects he only has one two three three spaceports remaining oof that's not enough yeah three spaceports versus eight spaceports Okay, Spice coming up from Tel Aviv. We do have uh, Georgia well, still waiting for um, some musicians to give him some prizes, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, he did manage to get through the remaining units of America next to the city of uh, Cleveland. And now uh, following on the footsteps of the GDR, he has started the attack on the city center itself. We do have uh, more GDRs appearing next to Antananarivo, while uh, he's uh, going to need to slowly go through that defense. We do need to see table. if um, these will break down. Uh, John D875, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Macedon is finally dying, is he? I mean, I don't know about that. Is he dying? Well, this city got taken down. Did he actually die here? Pella got taken down. Does he not have another city? Oh, no, he's here. Oh, my God. How did this city get here? <laughs> How did this city get here? Like, he, did he take a city? Oh my god, and he took Paris also. Gabzu just keeps on staying alive. He has another setter with that. Uh, oh my god, he's look at that. This is the resurgence of the great Macedonian Empire. One city at a time. Getting resurrected one city at a time. Oh my god, kitty hair all over my face. Kitty hair, kitty hair. <laughs> anyway. It is what it is. Where's, uh, where's the production on the projects? Projects, projects, projects. Baptiste should have finished off the, the expedition. So right now, after he finished all of his spaceports, he should start putting down the project. Come on. Come on. Let's see the projects. Let's see how quickly. Let's see them. Oh, there we go. One. He's going, but slowly. Okay, he's going, but slowly. Do we have anything here? Oh, nuke in Barcelona. Okay. That's another city center that's going to go down. Again, slowly working towards the main cities of Spain. Uh, taking these uh, fringe ones down first. Uh, the ones that do not have a GDR inside of them to protect them from uh, nukes. Okay, another nuke being deployed towards Bilbao. That's going to be defended. Or go... F oh, oh, Valladolid. No, again, defended. Defended, defended, defended. Yeah, yeah. The GDR definitely uh, is uh, getting his money's worth there. Whoa. Whoa. Did he just lose the bomber? I think he just lost the bomber to the GDR. Lol. Okay, uh, spy in Tel Aviv, more nukes, nukes, nukes coming up from Antium, Ravenna. Uh, we do have uh, helicopter armies also coming up from Rome to uh, get those fast units uh, to attack into his opponents. And Baptiste just... Uh, wait, what? Where did this uh, bomb fall? Oh, on uh, here, on Paris. Okay. Uh, bug... Oh, 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 it was a bug, a deal. Okay, they had a deal bug. Well, I guess Mazeron got the city of Pella back, and uh, well, it keeps on, they keep on switching. 
Let's see, the city only has two population remaining. We do have the GDRs of Rome uh, starting to get into San Luis's borders, and we do need to see how quickly they will take down uh, Barcelona. Uh, Valladolid with another GDR of level 3, that is a problem for Rome. Now, uh, we do need to see also the projects here. Two turning terrestrial, okay. He, he, she, he shouldn't have finished any project, no? No, neither of them have finished projects, but they're gonna finish so fast, so fast here. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's much faster than like it's probably like gonna be like what five turns or something to get the win for Persia. They slow down Spain quite a bit over here, so they could get the space victory. That was quite an effort. Quite an effort. Okay, trying to get the spaceport back in two turns. We do have uh, also Rome uh, managing to get that city down uh, to the north of Valladolid. And uh, by the looks of it, he's going to start uh, again, well, getting his uh, home on these spaceports to pillage them. Because they're not defended yet by these uh, GDRs. I don't think they do enough damage against the city centers yet. They do need um, promotion for it. That's not happening right now okay more dukes coming in every turn every other turn from uh, rome and i do see of course he has a lot of jet bombers to deploy them san luis is gonna lose his uh, borders next turn the gdr will make uh, quick work of it while uh, they kind of ignore cleveland here uh, rome still is doing uh, the damage with his gdr but he's taking time to break through the steel wall with 117 defense on it now uh, we do have uh, also uh, one two three Four projects finishing up next turn with another wave uh, in the turn there after that's gonna oh, wait one two three four five 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 projects finishing up next turn that's gonna be six light years a turn here uh, and then he's gonna roll other projects and keep on going this is a bit this is quite fast this is quite fast Uh, Golden Age should remain themselves to science victory deniers. <laughs> yeah, science victory deniers. Wait, 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 that's a nuke? That's a nuke to Houston. Okay. Is it? No. <gasps> They're going moon. Come on. Is that the last city of Cleopatra? That is the last city of Cleopatra. Well, taking him down and denying uh, the World Congress option of a fourth player, that is going to help, help them out so much. And that's also the first player to be taken out from the game. Time to throw. Left the game. We got Golden Age here with a 4 versus 3 advantage. They said GG. And Golden Age gets the victory over the Lucky Nuke. We do have them with... Oh my god. They actually like massing on pulled up an amazing feat over there on the right side. We didn't have Catherine de Medici taking out so many tiles from Cleopatra taking two cities as well. While he was dying, killed by Macedon at the same time. Unbelievable. We did have uh, Spain trying to go for that um, uh, science victory while Rome couldn't really deal with the armies of uh, America. They both traded punches until the end of the game and still America stood there with uh, quite a few remaining cities they were focusing everything gdr versus gdr action we got some nukes flying around amazing we did have a golden age get this victory on the board against the lucky nuke and we do need to hear a little bit from them i do want to say we're gonna be in the civil fires um, community so that means that they're gonna talk in french it is much easier for them and of course natural to talk in their mother language so uh, let's uh, jump in see what they have to say i'm i do have uh, to say i uh, it is quite good to have the opinion there are quite a few french viewers so they will understand this and will try to translate some but to be honest i don't always catch everything they're saying so uh, i don't really want to uh, spread something um, differently then anyway we're gonna jump in and see what they have to say let's go mais même genre quand même genre si enfin c'est un peu je sais ça me fait trop chier en fait j'ai pas compris pourquoi ça m'a empêché de prendre la ville sous Espagne bah, j'avais des prods j'ai des prods ouais, partout des prod. et normalement enfin c'est déjà arrivé en voir de prendre ville d'avoir des prods ailleurs et ça me fasse pas ça tu vois 
Enfin, je comprends pas. Pourquoi ça l'a fait là GG well played Yeah, thanks, thank you. Thank you. The cast uh, was okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You had some fun. I mean, amazing, amazing. Uh, you know, full real Macedon going into next door neighbor, France dying but killing uh, Cleopatra, then uh, nukes flying all over the place. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you were uh, so close though. Uh, Spain, Spain, man, Spain. It is what it is. Why did you remap the first one though? Why did you give up on big Macedon against two opponents? Because we didn't want him to get uh... to target. Yeah, to target. Okay, okay. The more target, the more target uh, he he does have, the more we we used to have their first pick. Huh. Okay. I okay. think he could easily. Look, uh... Even in this game. Even in this game, where uh, Macedon is uh, 1v1 France, and mm -hmm. it's uh, our best matchup, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, even though he full eyes. So I imagine think, uh, two people. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. I think the map was even for the two teams. This one? Yeah. I think uh, France would have uh, something to say about that. <laughs> well, actually, the, actually the, uh, I got killed, but I uh, I take down uh, Egypt with me. Yeah, yeah. I think one uh, of the problem of, of uh, our game is the uh, Egypt that uh, find uh, some utility with cavalry. And uh, PH a bit of Persia and, uh, and Tamar. Yeah. yeah, that was but, uh, probably uh, my bad, but uh, we don't really yeah, know. Mais... We could too, me and Baptiste could see the, the play, but... Uh, uh... Also, also uh, if uh, when I up Corsia, mm -hmm. I, uh, I think I can totally reboot Macedon and then switch to Egypt. That would have been uh, better. Yes. But uh, I was like, uh, he went for crossbow. With like two or three uh, courses and general, I can hold him and send uh, a lot uh, on south. But uh, he also upped a knight on the same time and couldn't resist that. You, you want to yep. keep uh, the, um, the tile of uh, iron too, 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 too much longer. De quoi? T'as as voulu garder. Je pense que je le faire trop longtemps. Trop, 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 trop longtemps. Tu dois la, tu dois la, la laisser cette euh, case. Et le, le taureau, tu voulais la céder, tu, tu te l'es fait tuer et enfin euh, tu t'es fait tuer ton unique. Ouais, non, mais oui, je sais bien, mais après c'est après c'est chaud de le voir ça pile au bon tour. Bah les crossbows, hein. Ouais, non, mais oui, bah il les a trop tôt. Tu, tu vois les crossbows, tu <rire> abandonnes cette case. Hein. Il les a super. Il les a beaucoup trop tôt, gros. Attends, on va aller voir. Overdose, la réparation, ça te prenait combien de tours Ah non, t'as jamais eu les murs dans Paris Si Euh. Mais là, je peux refaire. Paris, ok, ouais. juste c'est combien de tours là si tu fais réparation sur Paris mais je, je répare pas, j'ai pas de mur. J'ai 5 tours, parce que j'ai 10 de prod et c'est 50 mais de prod. Mais je pense que t'aurais dû réparer direct quand même, genre dès qu'on a libéré le. Mais, les il, mais, fois, mais Orval. Quoi Il a slam, hein. Il est deux, hein. Il le one shot mes villes. Il y avait les murs. Là, il y avait les murs. Mais il t'a pas à 95 que sur 40. Ok, ok. Il avait qu'un temps Il avait qu'un temps que j'ai. Il y en avait deux, il y en avait deux, il y en avait deux. Bah, c'est Enfin, je me suis énervé là-dessus, mais peut-être c'était à moi de pister les tanks, je sais pas, je. One last question, what is going to eat at me? Orval, why yeah. foreign ministry? What? Why ministry? Ministry of Affairs étrangères. Because I had uh, two CS and uh, Egypt got a lot of... Uh, how do we say emissaire? Envoy. 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 Yeah. I got a bit scared and uh, I knew uh, the game uh, is gonna... Uh, it's gonna be long, so uh, I could use my, uh, my faith to buy... Uh, Laboratory and uh, other stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. So I didn't want to uh, build units with my uh, faith. Okay. I wanted okay. to keep it uh, for uh, for late game, and I think that <coughs> it was okay. Uh... I mean, it, it, uh, Grandmaster Chapel would have stop would have helped you stop uh, the attack on uh, Persia and on yourself the pillage attack. Yeah, but the, the scaling was was. Yeah, really... it would have been slower probably. Yeah. I mean, I was, 
I so. was uh, afraid about the double amani, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to have a lot of invoices uh, fast. I don't know if you saw that, but I. Uh, you take I over the uh, phase? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I did everything very fast uh, to have a lot of invoice mm -hmm. in the game. Okay, well, thank you so much for the, the cast and GG well played. Yes. Congratulations for the win. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. So, there we have it. We heard a little bit from uh, Golden Age. We didn't have the lucky newcomers uh, actually get into uh, the chat over here. It would have been nice to uh, hear a little bit uh, from their side of things what did happen over there. Spain definitely uh, did uh, quite amazing. We did have uh, Gabs doing his best with Macedon to uh, keep pushing. It is what it is. Wait, did we? Did I? Yeah. Did we have a few members, but not all of them uh, join? I think we did, right? They did move uh, to the other channel over there, time to throw in the other one. We heard some opinions, but we didn't hear all of them. So, uh, thank you so much for everything. By the way, I'm going to close it here. We do have another game tomorrow. That's going to be 1800 GMT, a little bit earlier than we're used to. We're going to see uh, CV Ukraine uh, going against uh, Suomi for their um, relegation um, uh, for their advancements uh, actually in the divisions of uh, CPL Premier League and uh, that's going to be the first game out of a uh, best of three also I do want to thank everybody for the subscriptions for the subs for the gifts for the um, uh, how to say um, for the donations also on PayPal thank you thank you guys uh, so much and I do hope um, you did have uh, fun with me tonight and uh, we did have some quite a nice action over here at Civilization 6 um, uh, I'm getting my schedule updated on my discord as quickly as possible I do try to put it up on twitch and also on uh, youtube but it does take me a little bit more time so if you don't want to get the latest information discord is uh, the way to go there are channels uh, that are dedicated to uh, the games of course uh, upcoming game always this one is going to have the next game upcoming games is going to have a weekly uh, readout and i did put up a new channel a replay center which will have uh, also um, the gifs of the games uh, linked with the youtube video so you can find them quickly and also take a look at the actions here and uh, see if you would like to see that game or not i believe uh, this is kind of a sneak peek a teaser into the game uh, thank you so much for everything let's see each other in the next one have a good evening and have some fun with some civilization 6 gameplay bye bye, -bye.